goblin with the comedic timing there. Yes. <laughs> that was that filled me with life. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. The episode today. <laughs> oh, she's, she's been I got today. nothing. <laughs> I got nothing. <laughs> it's it's probably it's because so I rushed good. past her to go into my office. She was like, me. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Give me this life. We 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 did a countdown uh -huh. before we went live, and it was like five, four, four three, three, two, and at one we heard Goblin go. <laughs> and it was perfect. Oh, goblin with the, oh, the best comedic oh, timing, the it. best. God damn it, my cat! That's it. hilarious. It's so oh, good. I love her, man. We played before I went to sleep this morning, and like she was just going crazy. Her favorite toy is, get this, when I lay out towels on the floor, she likes to, like, spaz out on towels and flip around in them and stuff. It's very weird. She's a very weird cat. Um, so combine that with, like, a little teaser toy, and, like, she'll just start doing flips and crazy stuff. And her favorite thing to do is to, like, pick up speed and then, like, stop on the, on the towel so it slides. Like, she's very, very strange. Hi, we're we're live. Oh, that was we are great. live. Oh man, that thing we're doing, yes. Yeah. We're Hello, playing. chat. It's it's been it's been some time, but we're here with the Prince Division. Sorry, and thank you for your patience. I'm uh, sorry. Tech issues hate us. Our calls computer ex exploded. It did um, explode. In. So you it's know. like all the tech issues I've had, but for once it wasn't me. Yeah, it was a refreshing change of pace. Arkolf, finally. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> all right. Well, that's how this sorry, is going to go. Sorry, I'm not being mean. <laughs> Thanks for playing. This happened to literally everyone, I think, that's for the most part. So, oh man. But here we are. How? How? Ah, oh, Prince Division of Misfits. We got a thing to tweet. We're back. Even though, even though you said that you're happy that Cotter will replace me, it's fine, Sarah. Don't think I've ever. I'll, I'll forget I didn't that say one. that. You were, you were being. You said first. Mm -hmm. You said first, uh -huh. and I said that's sure. fine. I still have Connor to fall back on. I mean, to to comfort me. I mean, yeah. Hi. <laughs> anyway, Look, I'm so just saying. Yes. So, so as as also uh, whoever Sarah compared Caitlyn to tonight. being the Bosco of Gateway, that's messed up. Don't put that on her. Oh well, yes, Caitlyn is a ray of sunshine and rainbows, and we are um. I me. I have I have yeah. only experienced <laughs> Gateway through memes because the idea of Gateway is so I have a day off, so I don't watch it. Um, and I just look at the memes, and I, it's my favorite thing to try and decipher what the fuck happened <laughs> by just the memes alone, and it's a great time. Oh man. Okay, do, I guess we should go through introductions. I am going to make something to drink as we get started here. So. That's totally fine. So how about you do okay. your intro first? Where can they find okay. you? Uh, you can find me at Monty Glue on Twitter, where I post pictures of my fat frog, my cat that doesn't shut up, um, amongst other things. Um, I'm trying to trying to tweet more about like D&D &D and stuff, but I tend to just post about memes because, you know, old habits die hard. But um, yeah, you can catch me there. And then on Twitch, uh, twitch.tv forward slash Monty Glue. Tomorrow should be more Final Fantasy IX. Hopefully we canceled last week because I was quite tired. My sleep schedule is a little bit of a mess. Um, but you can also find me on Thursday now playing uh, Ocarina of Time. It's a silly adventure and I am not the hero that the world needs or wants or even asked for, but here I am. Um, we got through the second dungeon, so now we're on our way to meet the Zoras, which I think is a very long dungeon. The third dungeon is pretty pretty long for the child level. Like a third of it is just waiting for the king to move his fat ass. Oh yeah, mooey, mooey, mooey. Hey Monty, you know what else dies hard? <laughs> mm-hmm. Your dice. They do. I have more. I they sent me a lovely care package, so I have a new dice tray, which is amazing. I love this dice tray. I used it a lot yesterday when I was working on the Unexpectables. Um, and they sent me metal dice and stuff, so I'll probably get up and grab, grab more of the metal dice. But we'll talk more about that later on. With I was going to say, but if yeah. you are going to grab more metal dice, don't forget to use the promo code Expect Twenty Twenty One. Yeah, ten percent off. Changed. Unless it's changed. Uh, not yet. Not yet. One more day. Okay. Sweet. All right. That is it for me. Someone else take it away. Sarah. Dice. Huh? Where can they find oh. you? Uh, Someone's buzzing I again. Uh, that, that, it wasn't I me because I heard that one. Yeah, I heard oh, that, okay. so I don't think it's me either. Uh-oh. 
Maybe it's me. I think I we're good now. Sarah, do the thing. Monty, uh, go get I'm your at, water. And I'm we'll at play. the thing. The thing with the bird. It's at Sarah with an H and with an E, Willia. Um, yes, I did. I did. Oh, that. I see you're on Canary. Got it. <laughs> Yay. You're so funny. I'm so funny. Uh, don't have anything newish to talk about. You're not in anything? You haven't worked on anything that's come out? No anime? I've been working on plenty of stuff. It just doesn't come out yet. Gosh, you don't want to know that's a, that is our, I can't even be mad. Like, that's our lives. My, All right, my, well, my coming week is very busy. I, I bet it is. Uh, let's see. Who do we got next? Uh, I get now. Uh, I'm going to regret this. Arkov, where can they find you? You know, I haven't even started. I'm already fucking smiling. I can hear it! Stop it! <laughs> God damn it. Stop yeah. it. Stop <laughs> it. <laughs> oh, right. That ReZero game came out. I'm done. Oh, Jesus. Twitch.tv forward slash Edward Bosco. Oh, Christ. <laughs> We're going to watch Flashbang, the pinnacle of editing and storytelling on Twitch. Oh, Jesus Christ. I really like Basically, check out yesterday's VOD. Like yesterday's VOD. spiel. Yesterday's VOD was crazy. Anything else? No? All good? Well, you can uh, you can find me over at twitter.com slash Arkov and also on twitch.tv slash Arkov where I help that douchebag Edward Bosco record all of his matches. But I also play with the Murder Cave every Sunday. You should come by twitch.tv slash Arkov. And on top of playing with the beautiful codename Chaz, Grizzly Adams, and Shadow Dancer Bob, I also love tips and support and love from all of you. So please come share your time and all of your spare bits with me because I don't at all hate your patronage. I definitely appreciate it. Last uh, I was playing Halo Reach last time. I've been helping Colonel Shiru go through all the different Halos and we're on to reach and it's been a lot. It's been a lot of fun and we really appreciate all the support that yeah. you bring over to the channel over on twitch.tv slash Arkov. You know, another Twitch channel you should check out <laughs> twitch.tv slash distortion devil. In fact, you should check out distortion devil on all of your multimedia platforms because Connor's going to tell you about this thing called Deadhouse Sonata that the comment section of YouTube absolutely adores. So why don't you tell them about it? Well, um, First of all, you can find me on, on Twitter, Twitch, and YouTube.com slash Distortion Double. Uh, I stream Tuesday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Uh, Tuesday has been relegated to my uh, Warhammer 40k Kill Team night. Uh, although we might be graduating soon here to uh, actual 500-point armies of Warhammer. Ooh! Sorry. Yep. Yep. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> uh-oh, uh -oh, indeed. Yep. Uh... I'm 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 really uh, just trying to hold on to the kill team feeling, because my first army I made is custodies. So I have like five units on the field. <laughs> um, yeah, that's gonna be a lot of fun. Uh, my friend Luke joins us a lot, and we have some other people coming in as well. It's a lot of fun. It's, uh, Friday, Friday Fun House. We just play uh, whatever I feel like. Played some um, Beat Saber with special guest uh, Level 1 Eevee and Darko Draco as well. I'm waiting for the... Nerds! Boom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, that was a lot of fun. Uh, we also played some Cards Against Humanity. That was pretty funny as well. Um, I... That... It's just weird seeing the worlds collide without me there to, like, referee <laughs> your interactions so secret information doesn't get passed back and forth. But <laughs> I'm like, the moment you're like, yeah, I'm streaming with Draco, I'm like, do not listen to her lies. <laughs> like, she will poison your mind. She will. Uh, Saturday, I'm playing Yakuza Kiwami 2. Uh, playing through the entire Yakuza series, as a matter of fact. That's a lot of fun. Sunday, I uh, play some games with the Harbingers, the community over the Dead House Sonata Discord. And if you haven't heard of Dead House Sonata, <gasps> it's a Dead House Sonata. It's an action RPG <laughs> where you play as the dead to fight the living. As I try to grab the code here. Here we go. Uh, if you like ARPGs, if you like dark fantasy settings, if you like lots and lots of lore, uh, huge overarching worlds and stuff like that. Holy shit! Some people bought Founders packs. I just realized as I log oh, into my Excel account. Careful there. I know. I know. 
<laughs> I'm just saying there are a lot of people that are uh, purchasing Founders Packs at this link here. Dude, I want a Founders Pack. Well, you can get one if you follow this link right here. You can also what? learn all, you, all so, you need to know about Dead House Sonata, where to keep up with information and news about it as well. Uh, be sure to check out that link and uh, participate in the upcoming amazingness that is Dead House Sonata. Also, uh, be sure to drop by my uh, DMs Guild page where I publish subclasses. Coming out for February, I've got the Passion Domain Cleric. It focuses on buffs, debuffs, and uh, focuses out. around... Yeah, well, some of that. Uh, the expanded use of the ceremony spell as well. Uh, that's that's a lot of fun. Uh, be sure to be on the lookout for that coming out sometime in February. That's it for me. I guess that means I have to read off some bits and subs. Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, we, we we never actually we never actually plugged guys. The hype, I mean, hype train's at 69%. I just want to point this out. Nice. 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 Uh, you know what else is nice? Die Hard Dice. Uh, die hard... <laughs> Transition. Yeah. Die Hard Dice. They've got a I lot tried of... to plug them in a cool segue, but. Apparently... Yeah. Really, <laughs> really great stuff. They've got dice, uh, metal and polymer dice. Uh, carrying cases, dice trays that protect not only your dice, but your tables as well. Uh, so you can get the absolute most use out of them. Uh, and you can find all of that over at dieharddice.com. And if you use the coupon code, expect 2021 for the remainder of January, so like a like day and a half at this point, uh, then you can get 10% off your order price. And since... I know I probably shouldn't say the other code before it comes out. <laughs> yeah, I guess... I just want to point out that the hype train is at 496 yeah, percent, which is 69 flipped around. Whoa. And it jumped 400. Yeah. yeah, it jumped. Like we what? Passed, Thank you someone guys. Said, someone's like, we may not be at 69, but at least we passed 420. And I'm like, thanks. thanks yeah, but we're at 96, which if you flip it around, jokes. it's still 69. <laughs> Narcotics division. That make more sex jokes, oh guys. shit, we're nerks. I mean, narks. Oh. We're shit. Oh well, yeah. Um, dieharddice.com. Expect 2021. Expect it. Yeah, or don't. Thought, we could try to get it to 690. Ayo! Wow. <laughs> this You've is got like 25 time... seconds. Go, chat. This is like the time where I had a donation goal thing, and it was like a percentile, you know, like donation goal. And my entire chat rallied together to try and get it at 69%, but they 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 Icarus'd it, and they flew too close to the sun and immediately fucked themselves over instantly, and they didn't even get to 69%. It was very funny. Oh, damn. <laughs> so, question. Is it safe mm -hmm. to go into the bits? Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, totally yeah. All right I'm going to rap. I'm going to rap. Got it. All right, here we go. <laughs> <clears throat> C. Vanders with 500 bits back yeah, with our favorite officers and Brian JK. Just love you, Bosco. Eh, fuck you. How dare you? Uh, Stellar Kaya with 100 bits. New head cannon kill treats Neff and Amelia's soccer team to Sundays after every game with all of them chanting giant ice cream, giant ice cream all the way there. We got the Mad Monk Montage Tog de Gay. However, you say that. 300 bits tonight on Rampoon City News. Who is Vero Tannis? Tannis. Um. Uh, Kathin, thank you for the tier one sub. Monkey with 500 bits. Finally, to catch this live after catching up, currently making NPCs while listening. Next is Quartermaster, based off of Lord Shax from Destiny. Uh, sub Meow Meow Sheen Gun. God. Sub Meow Sheen Gun with a tier one sub. I actually got some <laughs> diehards metal dice from for Christmas with the promo code. Sweet. Uh, Sidonium. With a five tier ones, I can count five tier one subs. Give to the community, uh, like a tuba with 50 bits. What's up, tuba? Bunch of bits. Viridian Winter with 11 bits. Missed you guys. Welcome back to our favorite officers. Cosmosis with 300 bits saying, I'm a hype for Prince Division multi date night. Can't wait to see Kel and Breeze Rod blush in all the most wholesome ways. Draco 2306 with a Twitch Prime sub. Hope your happy corner has been, uh, binging Fallout 76 since episode one of Gateway. In fact, we'll be farming legendaries while listening to this episode, especially since I just got my hands on the Gatling Plasma and I'm currently chewing my way through anything. 
Uh, Mr. Crispy, thank you for the tier one sub. We've got Ash. Thank you so much for the 800 bits saying, quote, and tonight on the latest episodes of the Curse Division, our officers gotten past Casmodius's curse that they have been preventing the cast from playing. That's true. Tech problems, all Casmodius's fault. Can confirm. Mm -hmm. We've got Primordial Kitty. Thank you for the tier one sub. We've got Erwin Elf with the 10 bits. Now our favorite police and their sidekick or boss, Bryant. <laughs> Dude, the man with a tier one sub. Thank you so much. We've got Cheshire with a tier one sub. We got D'Angel with a tier one sub. We got Nia with 13 bits saying Prince Division is back. And so is Bosco and Arkel's passive aggressive shilling kindness war. <laughs> Uh, we've got free shavocado. That sounds terrible. Saying free shavocado. The... Come on, Bosco. Shavocado. That's what I said. Free shavocado. Yeah, shavocado. It's like an avocado, but shavocado. <sighs> ah. Uh, Maverick the Warlock with 100 bits. I'm loving the new Fallout stream, but I missed this campaign in the weeks it's been off. Y'all are amazing. Look, Kurt is much more charismatic than I am. I have to do something to stand out. Hellfang with 100 bits finally got back into Like a Dragon. And you know who doesn't die hard, Ed? Mabuchi. What a pushover. Fuck off, because you're not wrong. Arkov beat him with one guy. Everybody else was hard the whole time. I was so pissed off. I was just watching him destroy Mabuchi. I'm like, well, this is a great boss fight. I did it well twice, done. too. Yeah, I know you did it twice. Shut up. I was there I'm both sorry. times. Stellar Coyote with 100 bits. This campaign needs a bard NPC if for no other reason than to have Monty Singh, Ty of Nerdlandia with 10,000 bits. I'm on a uh, week eight of overtime. So here are my bits. Since I don't have time for anything else, hopefully we'll be interviewing for a children's librarian job soon. So if I could get some good luck, I'd appreciate it. Anyway, off to YouTube, bot I go. Good luck. Good. If they, if they ask you what books you've read, just say all of them and don't break eye contact. It's called a power move. It's really important to, you know, I'm just joking. Don't take my advice. Good luck. Solid. If you get that reference, you get points. It's a solid reference. <laughs> Zen Lido with 300 bits. More like Die Hard Nice. Redfield, <laughs> thank you for the five tier one subs being gifted to the community. Narco, uh, Narcotics Division with 420 bits. Narcotics Division is the best division. Harmless NPC with 500 bits. Travis A. Carey with 250 bits. Uh, if the Prince Division all stubbed their toes, would they be the Wince Division? If they all washed their hands, would they be the Rinse Division? Good luck. Roll the crit ones. Travis, crit ones aren't a fucking thing. Stop it. <laughs> Band Geek of Sax with 100 bits. Thank you so much. I have near landing. Yeah, thank you for the tier one sub. We got Blue Soul with 200 bits. Hello, everyone. I want all of your opinions on the concept of a fallen Azimar sorcerer in Arkov. You do a fantastic Megatron, yes. Fallen Azimar Shadow Sorcerer would be pretty hoo-hoo funny. Oh, I didn't know there was more to that. Sorry. Uh, no, yeah. I was done talking and the silence crippled me. Mm -hmm. I'm going to just keep drinking. Blackfoot Fair with the lead bit saying, welcome <laughs> back, folks. <laughs> Just kneeling with a 500-bit donation. Guys, don't you wish there was a spiritual successor to Legacy of Cain? I wish, man. I would love to play as the dead to fight the living. Like, that would be a yeah, blast. Yeah, that'd be great. One day, maybe. And Zako do will get to get tier one sub, but I'm not going to read it because screw no, <laughs> it's the narcotics division. Uh, all right. Okay. Are we good to go? We sure are. Okay. Oh, my God. It's happening. Give me like one. Google we're actually says. gonna we're gonna Let's play until Monty's like, give me one second, my computer froze. Hold on, hold <laughs> on. Give me one hold second. On. <laughs> <laughs> Gun noises, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't shoot your computer, Monty. The last thing we hear of Monty is just gobbling, going. <laughs> All right. Hold bit on, from Oathbreaker hold on. John. I miss the Prince Division so much. Well, thank you for being here. We miss you. Sorry, Roll20 again decided to open up every single folder I have. Why does it order. keep doing that? I don't know. It seems every Gosh, time they get update, it. it resets it. So, well, all right. So now we're ready to go now that I have what I need open. So, when last we left our officers, uh, you guys had completed your previous job, done a few side jobs for Lady Odelia and others, spent some time with individuals who you've met in previous work. But now today is a day of relaxation and fun. A local carnival and fair has come into the city um, offering a deal of a couple's get in for free. So it's like a two for one deal. Um, you guys were invited by Kostemeyer, but more specifically Taryn. 
uh, to go together to this event. Um, and you guys have collected your things, worn whatever outfits you want to wear um, to go to this carnival. You guys did your own little research on the carnival itself. Um, um, as Sorry, I'm still waking up. As opposed to like common knowledge, um, the carnival fair, uh, which is called uh, Fest Street, is what it's called. Also known as Festival Street. Um, is a once a year fair that comes through uh, to various different towns and cities, usually taking up the main road of a city. Um, and the one in Rampoon City is the largest and most extreme. Um, it's not like your typical fair where the games are rigged and the rides are questionable. This is a um, this is very substantial. It's almost as if like I, I don't I haven't really been to Disney, but it's almost as if Disney moves around magically. Um, it's a very magical carnival and fair that is very popular and one of the most popular fairs in the world. Um, so as you guys prepare for the day, what would you guys like to wear to the fair? We'll go down the line here. What's the weather uh, like uh, in terms of temperature? Just like the fair, it's fair. It's it's probably like partially cloudy, but it is clear and warm. So, uh, Kel, what would you like to wear to the mm. to the carnival? I think a good pair of jeans and a white t-shirt. Okay, yeah, easy enough. You put on a pair of jeans, comfortable jeans, white t-shirt, um, and you're good to go. Uh, Tannis, what are you wearing with your daughter? Uh, Tannis is wearing his usual, uh, sort of comfortable, um, low-hanging sort of, like, harem pants, uh, with a tank top and his usual jacket. Okay. As well um, as his, uh, as well as, um, some sort of lime green, like, converses. Okay. Uh, Brian, what are you wearing? T-shirt and jeans. Okay. Cool. Uh, and uh, Gibby, what are you going to be wearing? Uh, I think like some nice jeans and I, I like when I get one of them uh, black female button ups because I really, really like button ups and they look nice. Long sleeve, short sleeve? A uh, long sleeve, but maybe with the, the sleeves like kind of folded up to my elbows. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Easy enough. Can do. I like All it because right. it's casual, but it looks really nice. It does. You look like... In the right like angle, you look like you're going to a business meeting, but the other angle, it looks like you're ready to go have fun. It's like a perfect balance. Um, Cal, as you leave with your friend, uh, you're going with Breeze Rot. Uh, Breeze Rot yes. is wearing uh, like khaki shorts, like the cargo shorts. You know, the guys at university say, I'm not even cold, guys, like those style of shorts. Uh, he's wearing <laughs> like dad sandals, um, a band t-shirt, uh, and just kind of like a, a bit of an oversized hoodie. Um, and uh, you notice that he has like a like a chain that goes to his pocket where his wallet is. Um, Tannis uh, Nefine is wearing, you know, shorts, um, T-shirt as well with like a unicorn on it. Um, she has kind of a button up as well, but it's more of like kind of like a pink and, and purple and orange kind of yeah. button up. It's a little gaudy, but... She likes it, and it, it'll keep her warm. She also has, like, a little backpack <laughs> uh, just to carry, you know, whatever she needs at this fair um, on her back. Uh, and then uh, we'll skip Bryant for now, uh, and we'll skip Gibby for now, because you guys are meeting your, um, your, uh, your plus ones at this event. So Wait, where am I, where am I meeting tennis? Uh, ha, 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 ha. You're meeting him there. So oh, okay, cool. I just want to make sure as... my date isn't late. <laughs> Gives you time to buy him flowers. Yeah, sure. Exactly. Actually, yeah. Can I let me make sure I get him some nice flowers? What do elves like? Um, elves usually like. I mean, your assumption anyway, or the stereotype. What's the most is... stereotypical? Yeah, like if I were to go usually, like a really bad stereotype. Usually, elves like assumedly like very large petaled flowers not like the small ones like roses they want like the big ones like lilies that but it's all you know rumors and and assumptions cool are you buying flowers actually absolutely you... okay that'll be five silver cool done 
Yeah, this really gaudy, over the top orange and pink, like lily flower of some kind. <laughs> All right. So, using the subway, cars, or whatever you have access to, you guys make your way to the large carnival. You begin to see giant balloons hanging up in the air. The uh, city streets are actually like, you know, blocked off to prevent traffic from driving through. Um, there's a noise. You can see the rides swinging around in the distance. As you guys all make your way and meet up with each other at the front entrance of this fair of Fest Street. Let me know if it's too loud. Sounds Sorry. fine. Let's see. All right. So, who would like to arrive first? Hmm. Uh hmm. I'd say probably Kel and Breezeron would arrive first. I would say probably you too, yeah. Um, you guys make your way to the meeting spot, which you guys have designated, and kind of stand around awkwardly. There are a ton of people here, um, and of various different, like, species and humanoids and clearly glamoured, who knows. Um, but everyone seems to be having a pretty good time. Um, you see, like, two furbogs, like, swinging their kid between their arms, and the kid's just kind of running off excitedly. Decent amount of children, a lot of teenagers, um, and a decent amount of adults, too. Mostly people on dates, um, that you're noticing. Uh, as you kind of stand there, uh, eventually, uh, Kel, as you're standing there with Breeze Rod, Breeze Rod talks to you, just like, wow, this is, there's a lot of, um, colors and life. Uh, he just stares off like a thousand yard <laughs> stares forward. That is very true. Let me know if it gets overwhelming for you. Yeah, it's fine. It's, um... Oh. Hmm? And thank you for the present you left at my door. Oh, yeah. Thanks for being nice. It's a refreshing change of pace. Kind of nods. Kill will also nod. Hmm. Uh, Tan, as, as you approach the, the carnival, your daughter is just, like, hopping up and down. Like, she's, like, she's like a rabid animal ready to be released upon this carnival. And you're just kind of holding on to the child leash, like, no, 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 no. <laughs> uh, eventually, you see in the distance, he stands out. Uh, you do see Kel and you see Breeze Rod currently standing and conversing at the moment. Hello. Yeah, well. Ooh, hello, Vero. Hi, Cal. You see Nefine kind of look up at you. Oh, hello, Miss Nefine. How are you today? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing swell. I'm so excited. She kind of like wiggles in place, like side to side, <laughs> like kind of doing, you know, the kid thing where they put their arms down, they kind of wiggle their shoulders side to side. Yes, kind of. there is so much to do, so much chaos to be had. She kind of just looks up at you, Tana. She's like, let me go. And you're like, mm-mm. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Breeze Rock kind of looks over, kind of like leans over. He's always had this sort of Eeyore kind of um, movement to him as he kind of leans, kind of making himself known behind Cal. It goes, oh, it's you. Hi. Oh, hello again. Your oh, Breeze Rock. Rock. Yeah. Mm, I'm sorry, I forgot your name. Um, Thanos. Thanos. Kind of nods. Yeah. Uh, you guys watch as eventually arriving is Gibby. And, you know, Gibby's kind of fingering her collar. She's still got that medallion on from the werewolf thing, because, well, it was expensive as crap, but she also just kind of likes it, so why not? Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, yeah, she she's, she's comes up and sees them, because you can't miss them. Hey, guys. Hello, Lauren. It uh, is not weird to call you by your first name, is it? It's a little weird. Uh, I guess not. <laughs> I'm kind of used to Gibby by now, I suppose. I could call you Gibby if you wish. Um, do I, uh, she sort of looks herself, I was like, do, do I look okay? Hmm. Yeah, well, pantomime, a close examination like a tailor would. <laughs> Quick, roll for clothing. <laughs> what would you actually roll, I wonder? Roll for, uh... <laughs> roll, Give roll me something you... to roll. 
roll a d20. Just roll a d20. Actually, roll a investigation check. That'll be the ideal. <laughs> oh, is no. he doing or I'm doing? No, what if it's terrible? Six. Yep, we're in Sprint Division, all right. Oh, yep. boy. <laughs> yeah, it looks fine, you think? Fuck, what's fashion? Well, by the way, Mike, you might want to click into the game so that they can see Oh, the yeah. That is a very fitting like business casual. Very well done. Okay. Yeah, that's business casual. That's alright. <sighs> uh, you watch, uh, Gibby, as you kind of look behind Kel, you do notice uh, Breeze Rock currently, like, like just staring at you, not breaking eye contact. It's kind of awkward, but he's, like, stiffened, and he's, like, mm, kind of, like, tight in the mouth and just kind of looking at you, like... Hi. Nice to see you uh, again. Hi. He just kind of shrinks in place, just kind of hides a bit more, kind of hey. breaking eye contact at that point. Is it gonna be okay with me around? Yeah, yeah, you'll be fine. It's, um, just kind of puts a hand over his mouth, just like, mm. You feel it's a little insulting because you're just like, it's the same sort of thing someone would do if you like smelled, but you get the sense that he's just trying to be, it's trying to be respectful in a way, but it's, um, you know. I'm just gonna sort of gesture Kel to come over. Yes. Do, do you think he's gonna be okay with two princesses? Yeah, he should be fine. <laughs> uh, Kosti Meyer might be the concern. <laughs> she beat him up last time. Oh, right. I'll just have to watch them both, I guess. At this point, Brian, you arrive with your flower. It's one flower, but it's obnoxious. <laughs> I'm gonna walk right up to Tanner. Hey, you know, Tanner. You know, like when you get like a single, like wrapped rose. It's like that, but imagine if the rose was like f seven times the size. It's ridiculous. Oh that like frilly lace wrapped around it and shit. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna, wa I'm gonna walk up to. I'm gonna walk up to Tanner and be like, "Hey, Tanner." It's <laughs> <laughs> going to going to blink at him under his sunglasses. Tanny. Well, I, I, yeah, I got you something. And I'm going to pull it out from behind my back and be like, will you accept this rose? Or I guess it's not really a rose, but you know what I mean, right? Why, Michael, my heart's a flutter. Oh, dude, thanks, man. I appreciate that. I, I take the flower and I put it in Neff's hair. You watch as, oh, it's huge. It will not fit in your child's hair. <laughs> I will. Nefine, by the way, is looking at you, Brian. If a look could kill, if a child could kill, <laughs> right now. just she, oh my god! Can I just point like, out? I love the fact that I'm fucking with Tannis, and he's gonna get in trouble with his kid for it. I just want, I just want Nefin to be like, "What are your intentions toward my dad?" You okay? Okay, this is a wrestling thing. Remember that kid in like the audience giving like that like angry yes! stare at that? Yes. Like, <laughs> it's like that towards you, Brian. She's like. I like really pissed looking. Uh, it's it's kind of obnoxious. You could probably stick it in her backpack. Whether or not it'll survive is something to be you know something to be seen. Yes, because so. Tannis would be so broken hearted if something happened to the flower on the way. Well, what would I ever do? I know. <laughs> Oh no! Sorry, in my head, in my head, I just him. imagine in Nefane's mind as you put the flower in her bag, she just the the gears in her head start turning. She's like, "What if I how how much of an accident I could make it if I just fell on my back out of nowhere?" Like, <laughs> just um, wait for you guys stand there. Oh, sorry. Go just ahead. wait to get on the love boat ride and then dump it in the water. Just like, oops! Oh no! Over the boat! Oh no! What a sad turn of events. <laughs> oh, no. I'm, oh, no, just, I'm proud that I made Monty reference something from wrestling. That's how bad this has been so far. Yeah. Um, you guys stand around and you kind of shoot the shit for a while. Um, and as you guys kind of stand there for probably, I'm going to say about five minutes, um, you hear a voice kind of boom over. It, it's not super loud here, but there is definitely like chatter and people and the sounds of rides ambiently kind of... Uh, flying through the air uh and as you guys are standing there you hear footsteps approaching here sup bitches oh, no. uh, i've missed I, that i i i cup nefane's ears with my hands <laughs> yeah you just fuck over her head as you all Hello, turn, you, see, you see costa meyer um she is looking great actually 
Um, the first time you met Kostmeyer, uh, she definitely did not present herself that well. Um, no probably shit, she beat us up. <laughs> yeah. Um, she is wearing, her hair It has, like, volume. It's like a proper, like, shade side mohawk now with actual, like, volume to it. The color is extremely vibrant. Um, and notably, she actually has kind of, like, a pattern trimmed in the side of her hair now. Like, actually been <laughs> properly cut. Um, she is wearing a, uh, like a kind of a nice, like woman's cut shirt, um, which kind of fits her form quite well. And she's wearing a thick leather jacket with studs in it. It's got studs kind of on the shoulders running down the front. It's kind of like a, like a metal guitarist jacket. Ooh. Um, she's also wearing like pretty heavy duty jeans and like black boots, like really nice polished black boots. Hot. Um, yeah, she's looking pretty good. Um, and yet next to her, almost wearing her Sunday best, is Taryn. Um, <laughs> she's wearing, her. like, a sky blue tank top with a white silver, sort of over, like, coat. Oh. Um, it's thin, though. It's not that thick. Um, and she's wearing, um, like, shorts. Like, not short shorts, but they're, like, you know, above the knee kind of shorts. Um, and she's wearing, like, these really nice, like, white sandals. Uh, and she's got like a bag on her side too. And she's just kind of like waving like, hello. She also looks way better too. It sees that she's gotten a haircut. And uh, I mean, when you first met Taryn, she, out of the two of them, she was the rougher one. Um, but now Isn't here it? she looks, she looks great. Honestly, she, she looks probably the best you've seen her even after the, you know, meeting up, up with her for food, Gibby. Like she's looking really good here. Taryn, um, hey. <sighs> Hi, Gibby. I go, I'll give her a yeah. big hug. She runs up and, and gives you a hug, and Kostamara begins to approach. She kind of smells the air, and her eyes just shoom, immediately catch on Breeze Rod, who is just, like, sweating and hiding behind you, Kel, at the moment. And you just see her eyes, which are usually very humanoid in nature, just kind of turn into those lizard-like kind of slits. And she just kind of starts just, like, looking towards you, and she goes, what is he doing here? I just kind of go over to her. It's like, hey, Kostamara, hi. Give her a big hug. Like she's she kind of she she like arms are at her side and she leans away and she's just like like staring murderously towards you, <laughs> Kel and Breeze lot like like half acknowledging the hug like don't touch me but also being like mm, anger. I just I just kind of whisper it's okay he, he's with Kel they're friends he's not gonna cause any trouble. This is you the guy who was underneath the about. window. No, I, yeah, no, he know, he knows he shouldn't have done that. It's okay. it's all right. Don't worry about it. Oh, I'm gonna make him know. She just kind of growls under her breath. <laughs> Don't make me hug you tighter. I won't let go. You will have a monkey on your back the entire night. Uh, you watch as Terry kind of walks over. Goes, we could have two. And she just kind of looks down and she kind of. <laughs> <laughs> he rolls her eyes, just like. Ugh. It's gonna be real hard to get on the Ferris wheel with both of us on your back. You watch as uh, Breeze Rock kind of tugs at your at your shirt. Kel and just kind of goes, he goes, I want to live. <laughs> Do not worry. <laughs> Things will be perfectly fine, Breeze Rot. Mm. It was a misunderstanding what happened between the two of you. Mm. You watch as he puts his hand over his mouth again and seems a little bit more distressed. <laughs> he seems okay, but he's just like worried. You get the sense. But yes, hello to you, Miss Costamire and Miss Sivum. She kind of gives you a head shot and goes, What's up? Kind of looks down, and she looks down, and she sees Nefene, who just kind of gives her this incredulous look as well. Nefene is the master of incredulous look, apparently. <laughs> um, and she just like Nefene looks and goes, "It's you again." And she kind of, Cosmar kind of looks down and goes, "Yeah, sup, child?" <laughs> I I <laughs> give her a look. You, you know, like that anime, like the one glowing eye through the sunglasses. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, before yeah. she's before she says that last word, she just gets that look. I'll be <laughs> staring through her, <laughs> drilling a drilling a hole through her head with my laser vision. <laughs> like sands, da da da, da <laughs> for like half a second. <laughs> Cosmere actually looks a little like like oh shit, like kind of like <laughs> scared a little bit, and then kind of like eases up. Kind of goes elf. And uh, she looks towards you, Bryant. You. You. 
Mm. <laughs> she kind of looks back, and Tara kind of pats her side and goes, Kostemeyer. And she's like, what? I gotta make them know who's in charge. And she's just like, Kostemeyer. And she's like... <sighs> Do we hear like, that? Yeah, they're just kind of chatting. Oh, Kostemeyer. Bryant? She looks towards you very seriously. What? She's cute. That's adorable. Find the biggest dick and suck it. <laughs> Cup in the ears again. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Find the world. <laughs> I mean, he did bring Tannis a flower. You missed that. Oh, you two are dating now. Cute. Yeah, man. I'm I'm all about that elf ass. Head over heels. <laughs> Tannis is dead pants. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. Okay. Oh, no, Taryn. Oh, no. <laughs> What's happening? Taryn, Taryn like cl cl claps her hands together and smiles. She goes, "Oh, I'm so happy for you." Uh, line and sinker. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> oh, you guys will make a great couple. She kind of smiles. Yeah, you know how hard it is you out here for single dad. She's just got her fist in her mouth. She's like, "Oh my god." Yeah, you. you it's, Taryn is like biting her knuckle. Like not Taryn. Sorry, Cosmo is like biting her knuckle and looking away, just trying not to laugh right now. Like. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna wink at Costumizer. <laughs> she gives you she gives you this look like this is funny, but don't make fun of my fucking girlfriend. <laughs> she like, got this after. She's like, haha, yeah, it's funny. Don't take it too far. I will end you. <laughs> so, are we good to go in? Um, I think we're still waiting for um Durza, but uh, well, I think the rest of us are here. You watch as uh, Taryn kind of smacks Kostmeyer's side, and she kind of looks over. And she kind of points towards Gibby, and like does a little bit of like a like a like a mimicry of like a heart, just kind of like oh, they're they're, they're a thing. Kostmeyer just kind of gives you this weird look, like narrows her eyes, like what you? And just, it's a weird uh, non-verbal communication between the two of them. Wait, she gives me that look, like you you have a date? Yeah, like like this, like fucking Gibby has a date, like just like surprised for some reason. Costumer is, you know, prickly. No. Um, Did Costumer already forget about the "we both like green things" comment? <laughs> Potentially, I you don't know. Um, you guys mm. wait another five minutes, um, and Costumer is getting more and more impatient the more the minutes pass. But Taryn's able to keep her kind of like calm. Um, Breeze Ross just happy to be included. <laughs> he's just like, he's like, this is it's pretty nice. Outside isn't that bad. Um, uh, Nefene is I'll... losing her mind. Like, she is like, 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 she's like holding your hand, Tannis, but like leaning towards all the fun. Like, she cannot wait another minute. She's like, mm, like yeah. moaning. <laughs> um, maybe I'll just shoot him a text real quick and see where, what his ETA is. So I get uh, okay, I th and I'll just, uh, shoot Durs of a text. Th like, on your way yet? I think the little one uh, is getting too impatient. How about I go on ahead and check out some things and then I'll relay what's fun. Oh, Tanny, uh, you don't have to go alone. I can go with you. As you send the text message, literally turning the corner panting. <laughs> like the moment Aww. you said and said, you're like, oh shit. Uh, you see currently carrying on his shoulder, Amelia. Uh, is Durza, who is <laughs> wait, just like... Wait, wait, wait. Is she, like, is she, like, sitting on his shoulder? Is she sort of slung over his shoulder? Like, you know, her <laughs> legs are on, on the front of his... The legs are by the front of his chest, and the rest of her is on the other... She's like, wee -hee! Like, Uh, she's sitting, so she's not being, like, fire... Like, carried. She's actually, like, sitting on his shoulder as he's, like, running, and he looks... He's like... He's like... Whoa. Um, Durza is wearing, uh... -huh surprisingly for the first time you've ever seen him he is not wearing a suit jacket um but he is still wearing black pants because that just seems to be his thing uh he is wearing a sort of um like t-shirt it's like a salmon colored t-shirt with like this really cool design on the front it looks very like Durzum's not a cheap man when it comes to clothes let's just put it that way um, and he's wearing over that like a really 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 nice and cool kind of like um black not leather jacket, but it's like a black, almost, it almost looks like a biker jacket, like something you'd see a motorcyclist wear, but it is clearly made for his size. It's custom made. Um, <laughs> nice. Very cool looking. Um, and he has like folded, similar to what, how Tannis does it, he has like folded in the, the kind of the crook of his, uh, his shirt. He's got like black sunglasses currently sitting. Um, he looks very well groomed. He clearly took more time today, which is surprising because usually he is. Um, and you see the ring on his finger is just 
glittering shiny. Um, and Amelia is wearing a kind of like a past the knee kind of like white and bluish dress with kind of a flat on it. Um, she also has a backpack and like a hat. She's got like a little sun hat. It's very like um, French girl out on Lee town sort of look to her. Um, it's like one of those, probably... those paintings with like the sun swept wind and she's just off uh -huh. looking at the beach and stuff, you know, with, with, like you see her back and it's like almost anime-ish. Yeah, it makes you wonder if she chose the outfit. Um, it is a nice outfit, though. Um, but you watch as, like, Durza, like, looking, spanning over the crowd, notices the gaggle of people and comes, like, moving over. And he kind of puts down Amelia, who just, like, is, like, ooh, a little dizzy with vertigo. Um, and he goes, oh, I'm so sorry, I'm late. Um, the boss was really, you know, chewing me out on rules, things like that, because, you know, the kid's here. And he kind of pats Amelia on the shoulder, and Amelia's, like, ooh, like, looking a little rushed at the moment. Um, hey, he, he kind of smiles towards you, uh, Gibby. Hey, um, you, you look good. Oh, yeah, he kind of, like, pats his, like, you know, pats his head a little bit, just kind of clean himself off, because he clearly ran. Uh, <laughs> I probably looked a bit better before it was a bit sweatier, but, um, here I am. Uh, oh. he kind of spans over and now notices, um, uh, Taryn, who's just like, oh, hello, a friend again, like, you know, recognizing him. Uh, Breeze Rot, who has, you know, is just like, oh, cool, another friend. Kostemeyer looks, like, frozen at the moment, staring at Durza. Like, there's, like, her eyes are wide, her mouth is, like, gritted, um, and there's this sort of, like, pause to her. Um, Durza kind of turns and goes, uh, Bryant? Kind of gives you a nod. Durza. Uh, hey, Kel. He kind of gives you a nod. Hello, Durza. You clean up nice. Oh, he kind of takes the front of the jacket. It's, it's unzipped at the moment. It's like, you know, it just kind of like, kind of grabs either side and kind of pulls it down like stiffly. Like, <laughs> and he goes, thanks, you too. I like the, you make the white shirt thing work. Yes. It matches uh, my scales. Uh, tennis? I stare at him and say nothing. Right. Um, hey, uh, Amelia, you kind of like, kneels down and kind of pushes Amelia for her. Why don't you go run around with your friend, huh? We can go pay for the tickets. And Amelia kind of just, like, steps over and walks over. And at this point, Nefine is kind of, like, stopped being, like, oh, fair, and going, oh, friend. Kind of walks over and goes, hey, Amelia. <laughs> <A> friend. She's, <laughs> she's like, oh, this is... she didn't know. Um, and the two of them head inside. I assume you guys, like, walk, uh, and you guys buy your tickets. Um, I can't remember if I wrote down the price because I can't seem to find it in my notebook. Did anybody? Don't worry, Kel's got it. Okay. For the sake of this, <laughs> don't worry about taking the gold out of your inventory. Uh, we'll just deal with that later. Um, okay. All right. I, it's only Kel that I, has to worry about it. Because I slept in, and this is my own damn fault. Um, I mean, you joke, but I was going to. I'm not joking. <laughs> I'm legitimately saying I'm not worried about it. <laughs> uh, it is a two for one. Uh, Our call so, I mean, Kel Zorin always pays. So, Tannis and FNA, you guys, you pay for the two of them. Gibby yeah. and Durza, you two, two for one. Uh, Kel and Breeze Rot, two for one. And Bryant and Amelia, two for one. Yeah! Two for one. Taryn and Kostemeyer, uh, two for one. As you guys enter inside, you see uh, balloon towers and uh, notably no clowns, which is nice. Um, they're cute little mascots that are like, you know, like little, uh, like, you know, a little king and queen kind of design. It's very cute. Um, you know, fiberglass statues of like bears showing you where the, where the bathrooms are. As you walk in, um, you can't help but notice customer is kind of like acting a bit weird. And as you guys are walking, she kind of walks over to you, Gibby, and she goes, um, hey, uh, Gibby, um, hmm? can I talk to you for a hot second? Uh, uh, yeah, sure. Um, like, like now? Uh, um, yeah, no, it's okay. Um, uh, just one sec, guys. Uh, Dearson kind of looks over and goes, "You gonna be okay?" Oh yeah, 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 I'm good. I'm gonna. Yeah, she's gonna be. She's gonna be great. Cosmar just grabs you by the arm and just drags you away. Inside check. <laughs> okay. Yeah. The yeah hell. Yeah. Uh, all right. Kel over here thinking, oh, custom, I made a new friend. Yes. Tana <laughs> totally oh, yeah. understands what's going on. And she's, like, dragging, like, Gibby by the arm. Ten. And, like, looks being dragged. Uh, ten? Above game I know, but in game I want to know if I know. Huh. Cosmar is acting weird. Unfortunately, Wait. you can't tell. Fucking damn it. I want to... Mm. 
Uh, you watch as she drags Gibby away. Tara, just like, oh, Cosmo, it's like, stay near Brian. And she just kind of like walks away with you, Gibby. That'd be another reason to insight check her. <laughs> You want it? You can if you want it. Yeah, if, if that's another like no, that's not right. That's wrong. Eight. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome on. back to Prince Division. Welcome back to the Prince Division. You don't have a clue because right. the is rolling well. So I'm sorry. Uh, Gibby, you are being like not. You're being dragged at this point. She's like not being nice with you. She's not trying to hurt you, but she's you know, dragging. Okay, um, I think we're out of earshot by this point. Yeah, she flips you around and immediately like an anime, like two hands on the wall and you and you, you're, she's on either side of you and the wall, like you're between her and the wall and she puts, bam, slams both hands up against the wall and she looks down at you because she's, she's quite tall. She's actually, um, I'd say she's slightly shorter than Durza, but she's still tall and she kind of just looks down at you with this like really, not angry stare, but just this, like bewildered look. She goes, what the fuck are you doing? Um, I guess you mean Durza? That's a red ring. Yeah, no, I'm aware, I'm aware. Are you aware? I, um, I, I okay, not sh I mean, I, I get the reticence, I assume, but, um, why don't you tell me? Oh. My God, she just like leans back, lifting her hands off of like either side of you. And she just kind of like brings down her face. That's he's the highest rank fucking goon that Baron Jamar has. No, I, we had some dealings with the Baron. And yes, I am aware. Trust me, you I had, am aware. You had some dealings with the bit. Fuck me. Okay. I'm gonna let you in on a little bit of information about the ring on his finger. Mm hmm. You notice that little item? Yeah. Well, he said he he got that because he s saved the Baron's life. <sighs> she she kind of like like looks aside and goes, yeah, that checks out. I need you to understand something. Okay. That's a commitment. Not the relationship, obviously. She kind of rolls her eyes at that. Do you know what happens if he dies? Um, okay, that I'm not aware of. Okay. If someone were to say kill him, mm -hmm, the bear would know who that is and would track him down to the ends of the earth. Wow, that's... Is that a magic thing? The ring? Mm -hmm. You mean? Mm-hmm. Um, okay. I mean, I guess that makes sense, but I mean, like, yeah, I'm, I'm aware the Baron, the, the orcs, I, we, we've gotten a pretty good education on these guys. Trust me, I am aware. Roll a persuasion check. Okay. 24, Holy soft. Shit. You look at her very seriously and you're like, no. She kind of looks at it and she goes, <sighs> she kind of sighs, just like, Okay, just look. It's I get it. It's, it's it, it is complicated, and it's not just la 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 happy or human relationship. We there's still stuff we're talking out. He there. The, I've made him aware. There are things that he works on that I'm not very cool with. I don't know how that's going to affect things. For now, we're seeing how it goes, and I do trust him. I have told him what I am. He knows. Well, at least on that affair, you're probably fine. <laughs> but yeah, I, I, I get it. It must have, it's a little bit of a surprise, probably. If Yeah, I'd say it's a surprise. Um, you know, when Taryn said you had an orc friend, I thought it was, you know, a half orc. No offense, but I did. Um, <laughs> wait, you watch his customer stops for a second and then slowly turns up with realization. When she spent time with you last time, where did you go? Oh, well, um, we did actually go to the stronghold for a bit. You watch his cut, like, you can see the hair raising up on her body. And she looks and she goes, do not tell Acid back. Right, right, right. We, um, we just went to go visit Amelia. Um, 
Uh, and she kind of she she grabs you by like the cuff of your jacket, like like she pulls you in close, and she goes, "And never take her there again." Am I fucking clear? Okay. Clear. Those two, the Baron and Asabak, are big players. Her going there could cause a lot of trouble. Do you understand me? Okay. Dragons aren't the only one who kidnap princesses, you know, for an edge above and up the competition. Capiche? Got it. No, I don't think he would. I don't think the Baron would either. It goes against their principles about magic and stuff. They don't need a princess. You don't think, but... You don't know. She lets go of you. Fair Fuck, enough. dude. Fair enough. Fair God. Enough. And, and I thought Taryn was reckless. Jesus. Fuck. She just kind of starts walking away. Uh, um, uh, oh my God. I'm like, Hostemeyer, hang on. She kind of stops and turns. Then, then you should know that, again, that little girl, that friend that, um, that, um, Derza brought. That is the Baron's child, technically. You <laughs> watch her face just go pale. What? Yeah, I mean, she's a good kid, but you know, if you wanna, you know, be more cautious, just be aware of that. She's just like like a like a machine, just <laughs> turns back and just starts walking away. <laughs> oh no, I've broken her. That's probably the first time you've actually seen her, like, legit- Besides Acid back, like, legitimately, like, fuck me. Um, oh, I broke Kostemeyer. <laughs> as you guys are kind of walking through and seeing the sights, you now see as Kostemeyer emerges looking- You'd think that it would be Gibby who would be coming back looking pale and distressed, but yet it is Kostemeyer somehow who is returning to the group pale and distressed. Uh, and she walks over and she just like hugs Taryn and Taryn's like, what? Ow, what's wrong? And she's just like, nothing, I love you. And she just kind of hugs Taryn and just kind of pats her. And Taryn's like, oh, okay, you look kind of pale. And she's like, it's fine, my glamour's just acting up. Oh, oh okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> lean into Tannis and just go, damn, man, Lauren Gibby ain't nothing to fuck with. Hmm. I just sidle back up to Durza, be like, hey, sorry about that. Hey, you okay? Yeah, I'm great. How are you? Okay. Oh, yeah, I'm doing great. A little hot, but it's good. Uh, he kind of turns over. He kind of crouches over. He goes, okay, media, you're going to go play with your friend? And media's like, um, yeah, if I'm allowed to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, actually, uh, Brian. Uh, yeah. You want to show him? He kind of, kind of turns over to Amelia. Amelia goes, Oh, um, and she kind of goes into her pocket and she pulls out a phone. It's brand hey, new. Hey, communication. Welcome to the real world. Yeah, the real world. Um, she kind of like very like like a child figuring out technology kind of like plunks around on the buttons and she kind of hands the phone to you. A have you not set it up yet or what? Oh, it's a contact. She hands it to you, and it's like the little Oh, I thought she handed me the phone. Oh, she, oh. she did. She did oh, hand okay. you the phone, but it's it's on, like, the contact thing, so she's asking for your... Oh, your all right. I'm going to input my digits. All right, you input your digits, your name, uh, and you hand it back to her, and she goes, okay, thank you. And there's a guy goes, okay, now if you see anything weird, if anyone talks to you, you don't, don't go with any strangers, don't eat anything off the ground, even if it looks delicious... Don't lick any of the railings. Make sure you're tall enough to go on the rides. Make sure you eat more than just candy. Like, he's just, like, doing the full, like, really shitty lecture uh, to Amelia. And every time Amelia's like, yes, yes, yes. It's like, make sure you don't fall down the stairs because you'll die. Like, all this stuff. <laughs> Miss Amelia. Don't tell her that. And Kel's so going to kneel down by Amelia. Hi. Regardless of all the instructions in the world that there's a good read off, I hey. sincerely hope you have fun. Thank you. You watch as uh, Nefane kind of grabs her hand and goes, Come on, let's go! If you let him go. All right, all right. Yeah, well, well. All right. let's go. Let's have some fun. The I'm going to put my arm around Tannis's shoulder, and we're going to walk in. 
I look at Durza, but you'll I'm notice like, Tannis is just a few degrees colder. <laughs> <laughs> Watch as as this happens, Taryn turns and she's like, gives you a thumbs up, Brian, and like a thumbs up, like, oh, this is great for you. <laughs> like she's. Totally I'm gonna, I'm gonna give. I'm gonna give her a thumbs up, and then again, and wink at Costumeyer. Costumeyer is just like Costumeyer is actually not looking at you. She's looking very like straight ahead and kind of like like there's math going on in her head right now. Like what the fuck? Can I inside? Because she's acting really weird. I need to figure out what she's doing. <laughs> you need to Go figure ahead, this roll out. Inside check. Come on, Brian, get it this time. I'm not. I'm not built Incoming to roll Incoming Metro One. Shut the fuck up. Don't you need to that. shut your whore mouth. It'll happen. <laughs> God! Oh my God! <laughs> yes! <laughs> this number, this this natural Hold one brought to you by Arkhal's clairvoyance. <laughs> oh, wait a second! Hold on! You listen! Time out! YouTube! Chat! Monty, why is nobody yelling at Arkov? Why do I only get yelled at when I do that? Because Arkov's a good egg and we like Fuck him. that! No! <laughs> this is hypocritical! Damn it! Damn it! You should alright, so oh, Brian. Brian. Uh, yeah, Tannis, you can go ahead and roll. Okay, don't yell at me. Don't fucking whisper you. Oh, uh, I will roll as well. Here I go. All right. Uh, 16? Okay, yeah, you beat, you beat the nine that Costamire rolled. Um, oh, Brian, wow. maybe, maybe, maybe Gibby has this guise about her that she's kind of like, you know, quiet and soft-spoken, but holy shit, she might be a secret badass just like that you don't know about, like able to make Costamire oh. come up with the skin. Uh, Tannis... Costumeyer is a little freaked out by uh, by definitely Durza, but, but she's definitely more freaked out by Amelia. You get the sense. Um, mm. But she's just kind of trying to keep it together, and it's just like every time, like Taryn's like, "Look at that thing!" She's like, "Oh yeah, yeah, yeah." <laughs> like, oh, no, Tannis can put two and two together. Mm -hmm. Oh Jesus. That Doppler effect in my headphones was weird. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Uh, as oh, you guys proceed, as you guys proceed forward, immediately um, you're met with a uh, a gentleman going, "Come right up, come right up, and test your strength." And it's one of those like hammer like bell games. Um, and you watch as like a gnome is like, "I've got it," and goes over and does a decent enough job. Um, notably, the mallet actually, as the gnome takes the mallet, it, it kind of becomes the size that is necessary for the gnome to use it. It's very like, oh, wow. completely magical. Yeah. Um, and there's like a whole plethora of prizes. Um, there's like, there's one that's like a stuffed dragon with like these big eyes, and like Breeze Rot and Cosmar just kind of look at it incredulously, like, mm, that's kind of racist. <laughs> just like looking oh. at it like, mm. <laughs> like they're like, they're like, is that? No, we don't know. Like, it's just kind of like, because like, they're like talking to each other actually, and like Breeze was like, Well, there's human ones there too, so I guess it's okay. And like Cosmer's like, Still, the giant eyes are a bit, you know, and he's like, Yeah, but they're it's just kind of like they're, time. yeah, they're actually getting along. They seem to be tolerating each other, um, notably. Notably, uh, Costumeyer is not letting Taryn stand anywhere near Breeze Rot. Like, there, she's always between the two of them, no matter what's going on. To be fair, um, Breeze Rot's probably not inclined to stand near Taryn anyway. No, he's actively trying to avoid her, and Gibby, to an extent as well. Like, he's trying to stay out of trouble. Um, yeah. You know that about him, that generally he's the kind of person to be like that. Like, he worries about them, but he's not willing to get in trouble for it. He's he lacks Costumeyer's extreme competition. Um, he's definitely way more submissive than than any other dragon you've met. Even your mother, like he's he's a lot like your father somehow. Um, but that's how it is. Um, that would be with dragons. You see this half elf who's just kind of like you know handing off this uh, this hammer to people, and they're trying, and some of them are winning, like you know like bubble wands or like you know like a balloon. Um, but, uh, did you guys want to play a game? I kind of want to try. Sure. Kel's going uh, to, uh, you know how when people say magic hands and they wiggle their fingers? Mm. Who wants a little bit of help? Because these I... things are always rigged. 
so I do not feel bad about this. Not this, not this place. This place you know would notoriously be not rigged. It's what makes it kind of special compared to other fairs that would probably rig these to shit. This fair is a little bit of a mystery. Um, I would say everybody roll knowledge history for me. Oh boy. Do I have to? You don't have to. Oh. 15. Okay. Yeah. 18. Okay, 15. Come on, Ed. I'll give Brian guidance. No, I don't want it. You can keep it. Fuck you. <laughs> I don't want it. <laughs> Joke's on you. I'm uh, concentrating on it for a minute. Two. Fuck you. Oh you can't my help me. God. You can't uh, help me. Technically, Holy that's shit. a three minus one. Um, so, Kel, roll. Kel and Gibby, you guys being excited for this event. You guys did a little more research into this fair. Um, you guys have also lived in the city for a while, probably longer, and, you know, had been more attentive to these sorts of things. No one really knows who owns this fair. It's kind of a mystery. Some believe that it's actually um, an embodiment of the god of fun that just kind of travels around, um, <laughs> almost like a weird supernatural phenomenon. So, um, like, others... it's not really set up by humans. It just sort of comes in and then suddenly it's a rumor. there's a fair. It's a rumor. Some say the actual person who owns it is the god of fun who hides and, like, you know, melds into the crowd or whatever. It's all, like, you know... <laughs> It's all like rumors and stuff like that and theory crafting because the nature of magic in this world is, is you know, a little chaotic. Um, but what is known is that the rides have never mal malfunctioned at all. They've always worked to pristine tip-top shape. They're well maintenance as well. Um, and the games are never rigged. They are actual games of skill. They are difficult, but they're not cheap. So um, that is one I take back also, the magic hands thing. Yes, if you cheat, you get kicked out permanently. Um, so any use of magic to cheat in the games is prohibited. There are signs that are actually up saying that. Um, the general use of magic is not allowed. Additionally, because of the various different races here, uh, flying is not permitted either. Um, so, you know, Costumeyer and Breeze Rod, if they want to transform and fly around, they can't do that, even with a flying license. So um, there is nothing in the air, in the area. So, yeah. Makes sense. Mm -hmm. Give me some more um, She's like, I kind of want to try. Oh, I'd love to see that. Dursa says, kind of giving you this smile. Give him a poke in the side, being like, ah, oh, I'm, that's not that's expected a soft to do well. I just want to try. You don't poke me in the soft bit. You gotta just like gently <laughs> rub his aside. <laughs> Parts the soft bit, sort of patting him on the pat him. They're like, well, where's the soft bits then? Ow, ow don't you bully me. He just kind of like pokes you back. <laughs> All right, you want to approach and, and do it? Yeah. All right. Oh, step right up. All right, ma'am, here we go. And he kind of smacks his hands together. Um, and he hands you the mallet. Uh, it's sizable. There's a lot of prizes on the wall. Um, and he has, here you are, ma'am. And the moment you grab it, it's like super heavy, but the moment it touches your hand, you can hear it, like you can feel it go shoop perfectly into size. It's still heavy in your hand, like, you know, relative to your size, but it is like not massive anymore. It's manageable at least. Sarah. Okay, so what do I roll Sarah, for this? What? What? For the sake of everyone watching and my own sanity, please don't roll a 20. Please, I can't. Roll in that 20, please. I can't. Please don't. I can. Please no, don't. Shut up. So what am I rolling for this? Uh, acrobatics a or? Athletics. Athletics. <laughs> okay, to be fair, Ed, I can't roll a nat 20 because I'm negative one on athletics. So don't roll a natural 19. All right. Here we go. Technically, it'd be a modified. I'll roll. take it. Yes! Oh, yeah. no! Let's go! Zero! Natural zero! This game is fucking cursed. I love it! <laughs> the hammer flies off and literally kills so, somebody. So, it's Gibby, not, as it's you not just me. It's not just the me. hammer, you're like, it's like, you know an anime where they do like the crazy speed line, like like scratchy style of like the swinging of the sword, like violently, and it's like kind of that rushing sort of like fire effect. You know the one I'm talking about? Yeah. That happens. It's just like, and like even Durza's like, whoa, and like Cosmar's like, oh, like everyone's like holding open their mouth, like watching it. Like it literally goes up like maybe two centimeters and like clunks back down. And you watch as Durza just kind of like puts a hand over his mouth and just goes, oh no, that's just adorable. <laughs> just like looking at you. I, I'm like both like trying not to laugh, but also just like, shut up. Just, just shut up. I don't want to hear it. Just shut up. You watch his costume, it's just like, <laughs> You too, I hear you! <laughs> he just kind of looks, she just looks away, and you watch his breeze, watch, just like, 
You did your best. Just gives you a thumbs up, and Taryn's like, Yes! Yes, I yeah, did! Yeah, Gibby, that was not bad. <laughs> <laughs> I just give the hammer back, and I do my little walk of shame back to Thurzuk. <laughs> it's very like, sad. It's like, it's okay, I just want to You should try. take a shot, Thurzuk. Me? Uh, Wim's gonna look on your date. He, uh, he kind of looks over towards Kostamar, and he just goes like, yeah, I could probably win something for my date, and kind of like gives her this look. Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh! Oh, the gauntlet has been oh, thrown. Shite! Hey, hey, don't poke fun of Kostemeyer, even though that's probably true. Uh, you watch as like, he kind of gives her this like wink, and Kostemeyer, like, any pretenses Kostemeyer had is now gone. Like, she's just like, what'd you fucking say? <laughs> like, your eyes just like, like, it's like a light switch going off. She's like, Fucking, fucking challenge me. Um, you watch as Durzab kind of walks over and kind of <laughs> spits on either hand and rubs it together. Uh, and he takes the hammer. And I need to grab the stats real quick. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Yeah, the orc stuff. with a greatsword punch. Let's see how much strength he has. Well, it's, a, it's an athletics check, so. God, I knew I was a squishy wizard with no strength, but man. <laughs> just really, that was perfect. That was really funny. Oh, God. Right, where are you? The fuck did you say to me with your eyes? <laughs> uh, oh, interesting. Okay. It's gonna be plus... Hold on. Oof. Oof, my boy. Okay, he's a strong boy. Well, yeah, he was punching ghouls. Okay, that's a, that's a 16. Uh, you watch as he... Whoosh, hits it, and it shoot, goes up. Um, and it does hit the bell. It ding, hits the bell. Uh, and it comes thunk, comes back down. He kind of swings the the very easily as if he kind of knows this weapon. He kind of swings it over his shoulder and kind of gives you a bit of a like this this smile with a little twinkle to the teeth and like this kind of grin. Like look what I did. Um, and the guy goes, "Well, pick a prize, sir." And he kind of he's kind of like, "Oh shit, there's a prize." He kind of turns. He goes, "Give me pick something." If you don't uh, want, well, you, you said there were something. dragons, or um, what was it? Yeah, there's like, there's like, um, like, like there's a there's a blue dragon, a red dragon, and a green dragon. Um, there's also like those big snakes that you can get. Um, there's like a giant sheep. Um, there is like some, you know, some cartoon characters who are like really little kids. Um, are there any cats? Uh, there is, yes. There's like kind of like one of those. Um, uh, it's like those tube cat plushies, you know, the ones that are like the long tube and they're kind of fuzzy and have like the face on one end and the tail on the other. You can kind of use them for like a reading pillow on the back of your neck. They have those. Then Kel will want to turn at this once this okay. is done. Um, okay. I'll take the sheep. Take the sheep. It's like, like it's like fuzzy sheep. It's kind of like, have you ever seen those alpaca toys you get at conventions? Yeah. It's like that. Yeah. Except for that. It's like, it's Yay. like, it's probably about, probably two feet long and probably about a foot tall and it's like really fuzzy. Um, and you go and pick that one out? Yes. Alright, you watch as the, uh, the half-elf walks over and he kind of plucks it off of it and takes the tag off of it and hands it to Durs and he goes, Good job, sir, and kind of hands it over and he's like, hey, and he kind of hands it, he goes, here you go. Can I pretend I want, can I just pretend I want it? <laughs> <laughs> you want to pretend you want it? No, I, like, I say this to him, it's like, can I just, while we're walking around, pretend I want it? <laughs> well, you want this? He kind of points to the sheep. No, just, I'm joking with him, just being like, it eases the pain of my failure. Ah, don't worry. He kind of, he kind of like pats your head, and he's just like, don't worry. I mean, you gave it a good old college try. Uh, I kind of, not exactly hug him, but I sort of bump my forehead against his collarbone, and be like, meh. He kind of pats you on the head and goes, honestly, I'm surprised your arms didn't snap off. Oh, shut up. <laughs> he kind of rustles your hair. Just gonna push the, the I'm gonna push the sheep into his face, like, meh. You watch as Kostomar kind of rolls her neck and cracks her knuckles um, as she makes her way up and just kind of stay, like, the entire time staring at Durzab. And Durzab just kind of gives her this, like, really cheeky, kind of mischievous grin. Um, and she's going to try for it this time. Where's my dragon stats? Hold on. I should have tabbed this out. But here we are. Oh, that's It right. is combat of a sort. Kostomar are actually stronger now because of her proximity to Terran. Oh, mm -hmm. shit. She's boosted. Yeah. She's boosted now. That's gonna put her at. Uh, where is athletics? So I call foul. Uh, it's cheating. Seven. Okay. I can't believe she's juicing. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. That's gonna be twenty-two. Wow. Damn. <laughs> yeah. 
you watch as Cosmar just takes the mallet and just wham, like no deliberating, no showing off, just hits it. And the little weight just rockets up and clang, it hits it. It's incredibly loud. Um, it almost dents the bell as she kind of swings it over and slams it to the ground, crosses both of her arms and just like turns towards Zerzum and just kind of gives it like the head jet of like, yeah, now what bitch? Like kind of look towards him. <laughs> and he's just like, Zerzum's like kind of like, <laughs> he kind of leans into you and goes, friend's um, a little intense, huh? <laughs> he's not great with teasing sometimes. Gotcha, dragons. He kind of gives you a bit of a, a wink. Um, and and Terrence Racist. like- Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, Dragons tend to be that way. Um, you watch his Terran like claps like excitedly, and Cosmar just kind of goes, just like pick something, <laughs> like just like pick pick something. Terran, and Terran kind of runs over, she picks the green dragon. <laughs> oh, she does. <laughs> yeah. And she like shields is like, look, it's our child, and Cosmar's like, feel like I'm experiencing a microaggression right now, and Terran just starts <laughs> laughing. Oh, it's our child. Anybody else want to play? E sure. Here I go. Okay, Tannis, you kind of go up and you grab it. Uh, you grab the hammer and you kind of like, you know, roll your shoulders and you hold on. Roll an athletics check for me. All right, gang. Here I go. I swear if it's another natural one, I'm going to walk away. Uh, 22. There we go. Nice. Wow. You, wow. Okay. You kind of walk over and like you watch his Kostemeyer and Terzabur like, you know, this should be good. Like kind of looking at the little skinny elf going up with the mallet. Uh, and like, just in a stroke of absolute, like, aggression, you're just like, so fast. Like, even, it's hard to notice the, the, the mallet actually going, like, <laughs> you hit it, and it, <laughs> exactly the same as Kostemeyer. Um, and even Kostemeyer's like, I loosen it up for you. Just kind of leaning back, and Taryn kind of smacks you, just like, come on. Just like, fucking, okay, whatever. <laughs> just kind of, like, I did it. Um, you can pick a prize. What would you like? Uh, uh what's there? What, what are my choices again? Uh, they have like those giant long snakes. They have like the sheep and the llamas, similar to what um, uh, Durza picked out. There's there's the three dragons. Um, there's like some cartoon characters and like you know like and the cat, like the long cat pillows as well. Hey, hey Tanny. <laughs> I'm not <saying> sweetie. <laughs> I'm Did not you even, pick I'm out not, one of the dragons? I'm not even acknowledging him. <laughs> I'm not even pretending like I heard him. <laughs> Uh, would would any of these cartoon characters I recognize would be one of uh, Nefane's favorite? She's a little older for these characters. These are like, you know, like, ah, maybe like your Dora the Explorer equivalent, and your daughter's, you know, definitely outgrown that sort of phase. I'll, I'll, I'll get her one of those long cats, then. Okay, you get her one of the long cats. They come in a variety of colors. You get, like, probably a tabby one she'd probably like, you think? Yeah. You get a tabby one, and like it's it's soft. It's kind of like um, it's not super like super duper fuzzy, but it is very soft, and it'd be probably perfect for her, you know, with reading or whatever. She'd probably prop it under her neck. Hey, Captain sweetie, look at that one, yeah. You turn around, she's gone. She ran off with Amelia a while ago. Aww. Oh, <laughs> Tanny, I tried to tell you to get one of the dragon ones. She's already she took off. Oh, well, I know. I'm sorry. I'm she'll love it. I'm sure. But why not the snake? Doesn't she have a snake? Doesn't she like snakes? Well, she's already got a real snake. What, what would a stuffed one do for her? Aesthetic? Hmm. You watch this Cosmo just kind of shakes her head. And she kinda, like, her her. A typical human all about the looks. He watches Durzab's like, eh, it's not just a human thing, to be fair. I'll I'll stuff the long cat into my jacket and I'll, I'll zip it up. And so its head is poking out of my chest. Okay, that's perfect. <laughs> Anybody else want to give it a try? Kelly, you voiced interest. Mm-hmm. Athletics, oh. correct? Yeah, athletics. <sighs> I don't foresee this going well. Don't say that. 14. Okay. Unfortunately, you <laughs> you give it your best try, and it just slightly does not hit the bell, and shoot, comes back down. And the, uh, the half elf goes, oh, sorry, friend. Good try, though. Good try. Yeah, it's okay. Still fun to Good do. effort. Good effort, Cal. Better than I did. Uh, Breeze Rot kind of goes, Can I try? <laughs> I would sure. say so, yes. Comparably, Breeze Rot is not as strong as Costumer. All right. Probably not. Oh, that's sad. No. Oh. 
He watches, he like, he hits it, and it goes up like maybe three inches and <laughs> comes right back down. He's like, oh, he just looks very sad. <laughs> uh, Taryn walks up. She kind of rolls up her sleeves. And uh, you watch as she kind of rolls up her sleeves and she's like, okay, my turn. And she grabs the mallet and like drags it over and Cosmar is just like, oh my god. Like, there's a, there's a sense of admiration, but also like, oh my god, this idiot's gonna get herself killed. I just, I just <laughs> kind of say to Cosmar, she can't do worse than I did. I Here we go, this is the big one. Arms. You're not gonna believe me. Nat 20. Got natural yes. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. <laughs> I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Goodbye, guys. Thanks for playing. Wait, Taryn. It was hard to tell because this dice, like the, the the actual like graphic of the two on the twenty, is like slightly not legible because of the colors. But yeah, it's a twenty. Shit. Okay. Um... Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Uh, so like. Like, kind of knowing that this will probably go nowhere, uh, Durzib is kind of engaging in conversation with you, and Cosmar is just looking on, like, oh, this should be cute. You guys watch in, like, like shock as not only does Taryn hit it, she uses the weight of the hammer to her advantage, and that sucker hits the bell and almost knocks it off the game board. And, like, if if Costumer could just rip off her shirt and be like, take me now, that would probably encapsulate her look right now. <laughs> you watch as Taryn, like, turns around and goes, oh, my bones must have healed stronger. And gives, like, this big <laughs> smile. And Costumer just, like, grips her face. And you can just see her face going red right now. <laughs> she grips her uh, own face? Yeah, Cosmar's like, mm -mm, like grabbing her own face, like an anime character, almost like, like, and like you could see the face just turning red right Trying now. Trying to just hold back like, the nosebleed. Oh yeah, like just kind of probably turned her on a little bit, like just like, Ooh. just go uh, and give Taryn a big hug, being like, yes, redeeming us, squishy humans. Yeah, you guys like high five each other with two hands and kind of clap and like just have a little celebration. Um. What is she going to pick? I didn't actually expect her to do it because she's a commoner. She has no pluses. Um, what is she going to get? She'll get a long snake. She's going to get a long snake. Um, she 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 takes a long snake and she kind of drapes it over across to Meyer's shoulders. And she's just like, it's it's our son's pet. <laughs> she kind of holds up the, the green dragon. <laughs> Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Enjoy the rest of your fair. And he watches the half-elf nods. Bryant. What do you want, Kel? You should try it too. I have a bad premonition about swinging this mallet. Nah, I believe in you. You can do it. No. Why? Don't be like this. You watch as Cosmar turns over to you, Kel. He goes, oh, don't blame the human for knowing his limits. Give me the mallet. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say something, but I don't have to now. I don't want to roll Monty. <laughs> What's the check? Just make up athletics. Board. Athletics. <laughs> you can do it. I don't want to roll. Come on! I have a plus thing. <laughs> you have got to be kidding me! That's my plus thing. Eight. Everybody did better than me. That I'm sad. <laughs> Feeling the pressure of Durzub kind of looking down at you and Kostamar looking down at you, but Taryn cheers you on because, you know, she's nice. Um, you grab the mallet and you swing down and just the pressure kind of gets to you. And it goes up probably about, you know, two feet, but that's about where it ends. And it comes back down to the ground and the uh, half-elf goes, Ah, oh, good try, friends. Good try. Can I swing it again? If you can pay at this point. You're going to have to start paying at this point. I want to swing it again. I'm mad. <laughs> I'm right. really mad. Five Kill, put down the money for it. Fine. Oh, Jesus. Okay, go ahead and swing again. Uh, I'm going to swing it hard, and I want to, it, when I make contact, I want to divine smite it. Oh, my God. Yeah, That's magic, cheating. Remember? That Damn it! Cheating. You cannot use Damn magic. it! Yeah. Right. Yep. Right. You can do it. So you would divine smite a minigame. I can't. I'm done. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> You go to swing again, and it goes up two feet and a half, and it comes back down. And at this point, Cosmire is just snickering, and Taryn kind of walks over and he's like, 
Um, you can have the snake if you want, Brian. I don't mind. We already have the dragon. I don't want the snake. Okay. She just like slowly like kind of shrinks and she backs up. Just poke Brian and be like, hey, nice. No one to hold him. No one to fold him. <laughs> you watch his dirt some kind of smiles. He goes, do you want me to win for him for you, Brian? <laughs> but to swing this mallet at your head. <sighs> I would love to see you try. <laughs> kind of gives you a smile. Brain is not smiley. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. This is a fun day. It is. All right. I feel so. a little better. I'm having a good time. What about you two? And he kind of turns over and Cosmar and Taryn. They're, they're holding hands and like Cosmar's like, <laughs> he watches Taryn and goes, I think we're having a good time. And she kind of winks towards the rest of you guys. Uh, what you guys about proceed you, forward. I have so many people. Uh, uh, he's just kind of sweating. Mm. Um, maybe we could do a ride. Ooh, yeah, that would be fun. Watches Cosmar kind of scoffs and goes, "Um, we can fly. What could these dinky human rides possibly do that us flying couldn't achieve?" Is you there a sign it? that says "No flying" nearby with an eye shot? There is, yeah, they're everywhere. I go, I point to it and I go, well, you can't fly here, so. I just mean the thrill of flying, Gibby. <laughs> I mean, what could this metal box possibly do? And she kind of points towards one of the roller coaster and Taryn kind of grabs her hand and goes, oh, we should go on the suicide. The what now? And you watch as Taryn just drags her away, leaving you guys behind to kind of break off. Does anybody want to do any rides? Uh, what, what, what rides do we got? You got like spinning teacups. You have like the big, um, I don't know if these things have specific names. I've actually only ever been to a fair like once. It's one of my, I really want to go to an actual proper carnival fair-ish. I have a very important question to ask before I get on any of these rides. Mm -hmm. Do they require rolls? Uh, the rides, no, they do not require Okay, rolls. then yeah, maybe I'll actually um, want to ride. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's Would like bumper the cars require cups. rolls? Maybe for oh, the teacups, it's like a constitution cards. roll. Bumper cards, yes. Um, anything that involves a lot of spinning with the intent to Our make club, you extremely no. dizzy, maybe a constitution roll. Um, but only, I'd say, if your constitution's quite low to begin with. I would just probably take your stat and just leave it as is. Our club, um, no. There's also, like, you know, like, the big swings in the air that spin around. There's, like, the, the death drop thing. Um, there's, like, a ton of roller coasters as well. Like, there's, you know, from ranging from, like, you know, baby's first roller coaster to how is this legal um so you know <laughs> there's a good variety here uh to choose from you can we'll um, see what ride breeze rod wants to go on okay breeze rod is a very calm individual spinning teacups and bumper cars are his his energy yes then michael bryant no. i challenge you to bumper cars i hate you are calm i fucking hate you i hate everything <laughs> about you ah uh! Okay. I'm going to assume the bumper cars might be actually a bit too big for Durza, or too small for Durza. He, yeah, you're noticing here too, um, as you're walking around, there's a lot of really pissed off looking, like, Goliaths as well. Like, um, it seems like while they've been, been able to manage things for the smaller races, they definitely have been, it, it, like, you know, disregarding a lot of the bigger races, unfortunately. There's a few bulldogs here that seem to be just kind of enjoying food, but... What, what rides you know. are, um... Maybe okay for a guy, uh, uh, per, for a person during the some, time. Some of the roller coasters are fine. The Ferris wheel will probably be fine, but that feels like it's a little too early for the Ferris wheel right now. What about uh, that death all, drop? The death drop? You could try the death drop because Costumer could fit in that one. So if you mm. wanted to go with Costumer and Taryn and, and do the suicide, you can. Oh, is that what it says? Like, um, how about that that thing that Taryn and Costumer were gonna go for? Uh, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That sounds fun. Yeah. We're gonna go, okay, you guys enjoy the bumpers. We're gonna go for that. Before I go to the bumper cars, where the fuck is Amelia and whatever Tannis' kid is named? You have no idea. Oh, great. Aren't they like eight? They're like 10. Yeah, I was gonna say, I wanted to see if I could keep track via GPS of, of my daughter. Wait, what? what? <laughs> Couldn't you just text her and be like, I was hey, gonna say, I'd like to text, I, Brian would text Amelia to make sure that they're okay, because I'm terrified that something's gonna kidnap them again. Yeah, he'd, he'd, he'd text Nefane and be like, you okay? You need some money? Where are you? Uh, she responds with, at Dark Game, we're fine, having fun. 
Okay, stay safe. There's no reply. Get the sense she's probably playing a game. <laughs> well, need to get like one of those, like one of those tag things, like one of those blue for dogs. Tag yeah. Oh, jeez. By the phone. way, those things do not work. By the way, those dog tags that are like a GPS thing, like they're Damn. actually shit. Yeah, we used to sell them a lot at the store, and they always, I got it. Sorry, I completely get a in a side. That works Welcome better. to D D. Let Monty lament about her job and how often people returned a specific item every single fucking day. I hated those things. They <laughs> them eventually, because they never worked. Anyway, uh, so Gibby and Durza are going on to a ride. Uh, Kel and Brian are doing bumper cars. Yeah, I guess we are. Tannis, what Breezer do you want wanted to do? to do bumper cars as well, didn't he? Breezer wants to do bumper cars as well. Tannis, what would you like to do? Hmm. Uh, let's uh, let's go on the ride with with everybody. Which bumper one? cars. Bumper cars or roller coasters? Suicide dropper. I said I said let's go on the ride. Which one? There's one two rides. The, the oh. Yeah. The, there's, this, there's... The, the the drop with with. Uh... Okay. 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 All right. What so we'll start with we'll start with the with the with the roller coaster. Um, notably, as you guys stand in line, you, you see as Taryn and Cosmire turn around, and Taryn's like, oh, you guys are going to go on it, too? Yeah. Um, I mean, it's kind of nice. Back where I came from, we kind of had smaller carnivals, but we never had one that could support a ride as big as this, so. Yeah, no, it's very exciting. I, um, I'm from a small town, too, right? So this is, like, I think my second time being to this fair. I was really young the first time, but I loved it. And this ride, this ride's good? Oh yeah, it'll it'll put the fear of the gods in you. <laughs> you watch his dirt subs like, hey, is that so? <laughs> mm. And he kind of pulls at his collar, and Costumer is just like looking at it. And she's like, I don't get this. She's like, I don't understand this. <laughs> like, she looks like she's like studying it, and she's like, Why is this fun? I don't get it. I mean, it's not like there's needles on this ride, so. It's yeah, that's true. It's not about the. It's not about the speed. It's about not being in control. Buh. God turns around and they all turn and see you now, Tannis. Oh, <laughs> he ninja up with us. Uh, you watch Hi. as the previous group that was on the roller coaster kind of come into a slow, and you watch as, like, various different humans and dwarves. Like, there's a dwarf and his beard has just been blown backwards. Like, it's permanently, <laughs> like, rushed past his face, gets off. Um, and you watch as, like, the, the, you know, the, the worker kind of opens up and, like, they all step off and, uh, leave. And, like, you watch as there's one person who gets off, like, this one elf who just, like, uh, like, his legs are shaking. And he kind of, like, just goes over the side of the railing and just throws up, like, immediately. <laughs> and you watch as Jersey goes, <laughs> looks like fun. Um, you don't have a weak swallows, stomach or right? anything, do you? No, no, I'm, I, I'm totally like this. Nah, not a big deal. It's fine, you know. It's great. <laughs> I mean, mm. if you're sure, you don't, you don't have to come on to you. No, 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 no. I can't let you go by yourself. You know, it's fun and <laughs> that sort of thing. Okay. Uh, you watch as the worker goes. Okay, well, next up. And you watch as you guys walk past, kind of like you have to be like, you know, this size to ride. Um, you guys, or you have to be over an age. They have to be, like, if children over, you know, this size can ride, because young kids aren't allowed on it, like, even if they're gnome size. Um, you guys load up in, uh, Tannis, you're put in with, like, a random person, like, this random dwarf lady, who just seems to be very touristy. <laughs> She's got, like, a fanny pack and everything. Uh, the bars come down on you, and there's kind of, like, a front sort of, like, backpack thing you guys have to put on, too, just to, you know, reinsure, like, it kind of flips down on you. And then the bar gets set in front. It's very secure. Um, also, very high quality. Notably, despite having other people in it, it feels like it's brand new. Like, they're pretty quick about cleaning things up. Even the guy who threw up, you watch as, like, a team of cleaners kind of come over and very quickly remove the vomit. It's very quick and fast. They seem to have a really good sort of system here to keep things looking very nice. Hmm. Um, but as the bars come down on, on top of you, Durzab's, like, kind of, like, it's, like, doing that sucking breath, just, like, with the kind of keeping his cool. Durzup, are you sure you're gonna be okay? Oh yeah, I'm a I'm a brave boy. I can't I, I can't I guess I can't like hold his hand or anything. No, you can. You absolutely can. It's within our. I'll, I'll reach out, sort of take his hand, and be like, just hold on to me. Don't don't squeeze oh. too hard though. Okay, you watch as his cheeks go a little pink. Um, 
and you see like Kostamara, and she's like, now I'm just uncomfortable. And Taryn's like, just give it a minute. <laughs> like, uh, and immediately you watch as Tannis as well. You kind of are sitting there and you, the dwarf is like, oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> just kind of sitting there as slowly it is like bringing you up. And the moment it reaches the top, like you can feel everyone hold their breath as it's just like almost a 90 degree angle shot down. Like it's just all of a sudden. <laughs> and I need all of you guys to roll wisdom saving throws for me. Wisdom saving throws. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, become frightened. So, 13. Oh, wow. I don't have, huh. That's weird. Okay. Wisdom saving throw. Here I go. Here I go. <laughs> 15. Okay. Uh, everyone is fine, except for Kostmeyer, ironically. Oh, no. Perfect. <laughs> oh, I thought Jelly uh, was going to pass out. No, Durisip squeezes your hand. He's very careful, though. He doesn't want to break your hand. Uh, and he does yell. Like, this is the thing. None of you guys are, like, completely cool as a cucumber. You guys are yelling, but you're not, like, passing out or vomiting or freaking out. You guys are all keeping your cool. Kostemeyer, however, is like, yeah, I really don't get that! Like, just starts screaming her head off <laughs> as you guys start doing loop-to-loops like at mock speed. And you notice ahead of you, Gibby, as you're like holding on to Durza, you notice like Kostemeyer's hand is waving, looking for Terrence, like, ah, ah, like trying to find some security in this panic moment. Uh, and you watch as eventually she grabs her hand and you just hear Terrence cackling. Terrence rolled the highest out of everybody. <laughs> Gotta love Terrence! <laughs> Yeah, she's just like, wee! Gossamer's like, get me off! Get me off! Get me off! I take it back! I take it back! And she gets like, 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 fins and shit, and even Durson's like, like, just like yelling out. It goes so fast, and it seems like it's not gonna stop. It's a very long ride as well, and as the, uh, as it comes to a slow stop, like a cuckoo, 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 like, uh, Tannis, you turn to the side, the dwarf's passed out. Um, she's gone. <laughs> um, she's like, Ugh, like fading in and out of consciousness. And she's like, what happened? Oh, no. Um, I'm, I'm like, I'm like fanning her off with one of my hands. Yeah, <laughs> Just like, she's, she's with yeah, you, okay, but she's a bit out of it. Oh, yeah, I'm fine. Oh, man, we paid money to go on the ride. I just slipped through half of it. <laughs> um, the thing comes to a stop and you watch as like, some people get off wobbly. Uh, Dursim is kind of like wired. He's like, whoa, ha, that was, and you see how we did the loop to loop, and oh my gosh, it was wild. Oh my gosh, and the, and the, that flip at the end, oh my god. And he watches, like, he watches Terrence, like, you okay? And he watches Cosmar, just takes two steps, and he's like, uh, uh, uh. You good? You, you need some help? Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, she's gone. You watch as she walks over to the exact same railing. It's just like, Bleh! and you watch as Taryn is just gently patting her back. Just like, uh -oh. just, just let it all out. It's okay. And she's like, oh, humans are fucking crazy. <laughs> she just starts vomiting. I just look at, I look at Durza and just like, woo. Jeez, I thought fun was bad. I get to know it as the... <laughs> Dragon vomit seal of approval, and you watch this cosmo is like, Shut the f <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, at the bumper cars, oh goody, it about to go down. Yeah. <laughs> you guys have been set in your bumper cars. What color do you <laughs> choose for your bumper car? I'm saying thematic, mine's white. Okay, Bryant, what color bumper car do you choose for combat? Red. For murder, nice. Breach Sweat takes pink with flowers. <laughs> that sounds right. <laughs> yep. All right. So, as do, do, do goes off, I need all of you to make vehicle checks for me. So that is. I'm sorry, be, what? Um, yeah, vehicle checks. <laughs> uh, so that My is going life. to be. Unless you are trained in vehicles, which I don't think any of you are. No! Um, that's going to be a wisdom check. Just a straight wisdom roll. I don't have a... <laughs> nice! It's... Oh, fuck you, cleric. Tonight, Bragant. You. 19! Oh my god. <laughs> I don't wanna... Come on. 19! Oh! Oh! Yes! Oh! All Let's right. go! Freeze Rod is doing donuts and having a good time. Kel and Bryant, you two like run into each other head on. Like, like, 
you, these are bumper cars, but like it's like the moment that thing goes off, it's like and like people are giving you a wide breath just because of the intensity of the competition. Go ahead for me. That's a tie. Go ahead and roll for, for me and roll another wisdom. Card. No, don't let me do it again. I'm. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's part twelve. Of it. Come on, Brian. Let's go! Oh! Don't fuck with me. Okay, okay. As you guys get a break from each other and you spin around, Arkolf, he's slippery. You're like, you're trying to like do like donuts and stuff to get into position, but by the time you get in position, well, bam! Immediately in your side comes Bryant with a full like T-bone attack. Breeze Rot's like running into children and is apologizing in the in the background, just like, oh, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead. That's one victory for Bryant. Let's go! Witten to right. zero! Seven. Best, two, best two out of three. Seven for Kel. Fifteen! Kel. Bryant has got you beat. How do you, how do you finish <laughs> off, Kel? How do I finish him <laughs> off? Yeah. I wanna, I wanna spin him out by bumping into the back side of his car, and when okay. he's trying to readjust, I wanna slam into the very front so I can watch the fear in his eyes as I send him crashing back towards the wall. All right, you get kind of cornered, Kel, and like at a, a certain point, like you're like, oh god, you're like a sitting duck, and then out of nowhere, Breeze Rock comes in and assists and like crams you into a corner. So the two of them got you like crushed up against a corner. It's like, like all congested in one corner of like the of the the bumper car alley, and like all the kids are like running into you. It's like this really weird like chaotic scene, and eventually it goes beep boop boo, where it ends, and like people get out of the bumper cars and like, Cal, your neck hurts. You got hit pretty hard, like despite all the safety and whatnot. That was <laughs> that was some ferocity from your good friend Brian, and a nice little attempt at the end by Breeze Rot, who actually did hit you. So. Feeling better now, Michael? That's what you get when you talk shit. You get hit. Taunt to body, Zell. See what I did there? I put your last name with the first name. Dramatic mm. thing. Yeah. I got nicknames for days for you. But that's what you get. <laughs> I'm proud of you. Yeah, you did. Wait, why are you not upset? Why would I be? You had fun. But you lost. I did, yes. Be sad fun. for me, Rex. I'm begging you. Having fun. If you want to have fun, uh, happy. <laughs> Go make I'm fun of Costumeyer. <laughs> you guys reconvene all together, um, including the kids. Um, Amelia and um, your daughter show up. Somehow, uh, somehow, uh, Amelia and uh, Nefane have won this obnoxiously large teddy bear. Somehow. <laughs> um, Wait, I just look down at the cat in my jacket. Uh, it looks like Amelia won it, not Nefane. Uh, but they've been, like, carrying it together. It's, like, it's not the Costco bear, but it's, like, probably about half the size. It's definitely bigger than the kids. Like, the fact that they've managed to carry it this far is very impressive. Uh, you guys sit down. Um, <laughs> poor Taryn got Costumeyer a drink. Um, and she's just like, she's looking a little, looking a little more green than usual. <laughs> yes. I was about to say, was her vomit like caustic? Did they have to get a specialist over? Yeah, it was, it was not, it was, her, she breathes poison gas. It's not like acid, like a, like a, like a uh, black dragon, but mm. it was a little gross. They had to, you know, they have masks for that. So it's, it's fine. They're not the only dragons, by the way. Notably, as you guys are, you know, walking through the park, Gibby, you do notice there's a few characters that do kind of give you a bit of a side eye, but they don't really, you know, they don't follow you or anything like that. They just kind of like, you know, sort of like picking up the scent. They're like, hmm, and then they kind of turn and see you, and then they notice your entourage, and they're like, nope, <laughs> like not do they at all. Like well, glamour dragons. Clearly, she's or? not the only princess here. No, Taryn's here as well. Um, but she has the dragon no pool. Notably, yeah, Taryn has the dragon pole, and there are a couple <laughs> dragons that do kind of like. I mean, they turn and notice her more than you, but there are other creatures that do also notice you as well. Um, but again, seeing you, you know, flanked by a fucking orc built like a shit brick house and a dragon who, despite looking sick, could probably kick their ass. You know, a bunch of people who look like they could kick their ass, not worth it. 
the children they could fight, but Wait, again, you, the emotional toll. Does Kostumeyer still look sick? Not Nefene. Yeah. He oh, watches, like, yes. Uh, Taryn got her, like, a ginger ale, and she's just, like, sitting there. You guys are kind of in, like, a food court area. None of you have gotten food yet, but, um, like, Taryn is just kind of, like, you know, rubbing her back, and, like, Kostumeyer's like, oh, fine. And she's like, not fine. Don't be mad. And she kind of keeps patting her back. She's like, okay, I take it back. Humans are fucking wild. I, 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 oh. I told you. Yeah, just, do, do, wait, do, do we hear this? Yeah, That's you not... guys are all sitting there. I'm sorry, one more time for the people in the back. Shut the fuck up. Right. Oh, easy there. You might need a bucket. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Just no, it's all right. Listen, ale. listen. If I, if, if I, I don't even have wings, and I, I could have told you that that was going to be a big drop. <sighs> you watch this hair and kind of gives you this look, Brian. Not like she's just kind of like, she's kind of like, stop being mean. Like, come on. Well, she she would well. do the same thing to me. <laughs> you watch this Taryn's like yeah actually fair yeah fair and like Cosmo's like hey and she's like you would and she's like yeah I fucking would <laughs> it's, it's a little it's different like when you. you can't control it huh it's the thrill of not being entirely in control that I hate it danger. don't like that it's great uh, you watch this Jersey kind of like Gibby you want something to eat uh yeah I could uh can we do, do you, any of you guys want something would you like something, Breeze Rot? My treat? Uh, oh, My treat, yeah. there, Zib. Uh, kinda, he kind of leans over to you and, like, uh, he's going to whisper something to you, Cal. He leans, he goes, look, man, I get you trying to be nice, but I kind of want to, you know, kind of juts ahead towards Gibby. Be a gentleman, you know? You could do me a favor. Why okay. the crowd stop? These I will allow. <laughs> Follow your heart, there, Zib. Oh, there they go. Hmm? It's just everything died down for a second, like 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 he was mind melding. <laughs> all the the crowd just stops and looks at us. <laughs> yeah, everyone's like, oh. all. <laughs> uh, Gibby, what do you want to eat? They got like churros. They got deep fried butter. They got burgers. You know, oh, dogs that are hot. And, uh, maybe that's a bit much after an intense roller coaster ride. Um, what, what, what about it? It's been so long since I've been to a fair. Uh, it's I'm pretty sure they have pigs in a blanket. Lots of lots of lots of street esque food. It's not just like you know carnival stuff. There's like you know like oh, do they got like one of those um those one of those potato spirals? I freaking love those. Oh Ooh. yeah, they totally do. Yeah, the potato spirals are awesome. They're not like the they're a little they less. Also, they also have like the blooming onion too with like the, the oh the yummy oh mm -hmm. what's a blooming onion. You oh, okay. So blooming. what they do is they cut an onion and they make it look like a flower. So like they cut it from the top, and then what they do is they like they they deep fry it. They batter. They deep fry it. it. They batter it and then they deep fry it and then they put the sauce in the middle and then you like basically rip off the onion. You dip it and you eat it. Yeah, it's you, like, never oh, a, so you never had a. You never went to Outback Steakhouse. It's like an advanced. It's, really it's like a, a complicated onion ring. Guys, head on really over to twitchtv slash archive where you could donate just a single cup of coffee's no. worth of bits to help him get a blooming onion. No. no, it's just like archive. You've never been to an Outback Steakhouse before. There are none in my area. There are, do you realize uh, where he lives? Yeah, but I mean, it's Outback Steakhouse. We don't have it here either. We just have we have onions, though. Yeah, so, fair yeah. enough. Fair enough. Mm. I mean, but yeah, anyway. that, that that would be the reason. They, they're kind of most other chain restaurants don't. It's kind of purely a back out bleh, outback steakhouse thing. But they're easy to make if you can just deep batter fry an onion. Uh, you watch as like you know, Zeros was asking you what you want. You watch as Amelia kind of looks him like kind of looking like like sad, and he just kind of goes, "Oh shit, right, Amelia." Um. What do you want? He kind of gives her a smile and she's like, I have a hot dog and um, a hot dog, just a hot dog. And he's like, yeah, 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 I could do that for you. Um, he kind of turns back. I kind of, I kind of bend down to Amelia too. It's like, hey, Amelia, you want to, you want to share a funnel cake too? Yeah. She kind of smiles, this big smile. I'd like that a lot. I, got, I stand up. It's like, all right, let's just be horrible to my body. Give me um, a <laughs> couple of those potato things and a funnel cake, please. I am on it. You watch his doors of salutes and he runs over. Do they have ice cream? They do. They have soft serve. Uh, they also have ice cream where they, they actually take the hard ice cream and they like, they push like cookie into it. Like, like they kind uh, of like grab a cookie stone. and they, they sh yeah, they basically do that. Um, it's not cold stone. It's basically like, it's like, it's like a, you know, like scoop serve and then they take like cookie to it and they add like, you know, like strawberries or like. So it's similar to what? It's essentially, it's essentially yeah. what it is. I guess, yeah. Since what killed me back in his ice cream truck. Mm -hmm, yeah, very similar. Then he's going to judge them harshly as he goes to get ice cream for him and <laughs> Breeze Rot. 
I will roll. I will roll ice cream check for the, the person. That's <laughs> ice cream check. This they game, really man. Well. They do really well. They're 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 on par with you. They're not better than you, but you're equal. You know. They definitely are Yo. experienced. They're very fast. If there's anything to be impressed by, it was the speed and the ah, uh, yes. the accuracy. Given that they probably do just this all the time. Um, Kel will look them dead in the eye. Um, they appear to be a. Uh, they appear to be some some sort of elf of some kind. Um, probably probably wood elf, similar to Tannis. Um, they just kind of like hand you off the ice cream, and go here here you go, <laughs> just like looking at you intensely, staring at you, just like kind of nervous. <laughs> you are a dragonborn. You have a bit of a scary mm -hmm. face. So, Gel will say, "I respect your skill, fellow warrior of the scoop." <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Get the fuck out of he's here just, with that He's just like, look, man, what there are the people fuck? in line behind you. <laughs> then you know yeah, that yeah, thing yeah. where people point to their eyes and then at someone? Yeah, 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 you do Kill's going to do that as he's backing up with the ice cream. Oh, Jesus. Arkov, I can't with you right now. I'm just a cat. <laughs> well, uh, right, you get. Then. You get like a cookies and cream ice cream with like actual like chocolate chip cookie pushed into it. And there's like a chocolate chip cookie on top. It is delicious. This is some high quality ice cream. What did uh, I get for Breeze Rot? Uh, Breeze Rot uh, would have probably asked for a Rocky Road. He's a Rocky Road guy. Mm -hmm. Respectable. Mm -hmm. I like moose tracks. That's Monty talking. Not oh, Monty. yep, yep. That's the oh, best one. Moose tracks. Moose, I like them. Moose, moose tracks and uh, mint chocolate chip are my two favorites. We do actually have that here. You are so tracks. far beyond the realm of my knowledge. I know. <laughs> well, it's like. It's like chocolate bits, and the chocolate bits have like peanut butter inside, right? You should have fudge in, fudge or peanut yeah. butter. Yeah. yeah. I love moose tracks. I actually have found those in the store, and they're, I was like, they're, they're they sound awesome. They're, they're shaped like little hooves. It's so yeah, cute. Yeah, it's so cute. It's so cute. Anyway. What do you say, If it starts melting, let me know. I can hold it for a bit and chill it for you. Because oh. I'm cold. Yes. Oh, yeah, that's right. You're half white dragon. Mm hmm. I'm a pretty uh, cool guy, ye. Yeah? As you guys eat the ice cream, Breeze will actually ask you about your parents and how they met and stuff like that. He's actually genuinely curious. Um, notably, Kostemeyer also seems to be listening in as well. But um, what about you, Brian? What would you like to get? Meat. Okay. They Lots have, of hot uh, dogs. And... They have gyros. They have, like, shish kebabs. They have, like, like grilled seafood, stuff like that. They have everything here. It's it's a Need on a stick for this man. So give me a gyro. I would love. Do they have? Do they have like Mexican food? Okay, I'm gonna say yes, but you need to understand that we don't have Mexican food up here. Or at least All right. Have, do, okay, have you ever, ever heard food? of a uh, 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 quesadilla? I really do. Yes. Okay, so two quesadillas, uh, a a taco, uh, a burrito one of those gyro things and then probably a hot dog okay uh you come back with a pile of food while um, he's up there uh tannis is going to lean over uh sweetie could you pick up me and the little one something as well thanks <laughs> he's <using> the, biggest, <laughs> the biggest shit eating grin which is just like the corner of the mouth just sort of curling up Nefane is like, ugh, which is like, it's like embarrassed. It's free food. Honey. The chat seems really angry for some reason. I'm not sure. <laughs> Stay out of the chat. I have to monitor it. Kurt's not here. Uh, Nefane also wants a hot dog, but she also wants curly fries. Yes. Oh, this uh, she girl, wants a she hot understands. dog and curly fries. Hell yeah. And I want a hamburger. Thanks, sweetie. Bosco? Hmm? Do you do this? Yeah, I'll get, absolutely. I'll get her a hot dog and curly fries. I'll also get curly fries. Uh, and the hamburger. There's a wait, everybody... question. Hot dogs are grilled or boiled? Uh, they're grilled. They are not boiled. Mm -hmm. oh, All right. I'll just... Yep, there you go. There's like, they have like barbecues out here. It's not like, you know. They pass. It's not like it's not like a dirty water New York hot dog. Oh, it's, really it's damn like, it! And these aren't like these aren't like your two cent hot dogs from the grocery store. These are like proper like you know kind of smoky style, thick uh, acceptable. hot dogs. Acceptable. Acceptable. Yeah. We will get two. Um, as you guys come back and you present the food, um, I'm gonna say, hmm, who would notice this? 
I have good uh, passive perception. I am. I have food. Well, I will your, fail. What's your passive insight? My passive insight is yeah. exactly the same as my perception, sixteen. Which, which is sixteen. Holy shit. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Wisdom. Um, as the food comes back and is placed down, um, Tannis, you can't help but notice Taryn actually starting to like act weird. Um. Notably, like, as Kostemeyer is listening to Breeze Rod and Kel talk, like, she's kind of not facing Taryn, and you notice Taryn is actually, like, looking down at the floor, visibly sweating, and looking very off at the moment. I'm gonna grab Nephany's shoulder. I'm gonna kiss her forehead, and I'm gonna say, stay here, sweetie. Enjoy your meal. Be right back. Okay. Ah, she just, like, takes an oversized bite of the hot dog. <laughs> like, way too ambitious. I'm gonna slowly walk over to, to Taryn and gonna try to not draw attention. Okay. You and just see, like, as you get closer to her, you can see, her, you can hear her breathing, just like... <sighs> if, if I... Could I try to insight her to see if she's having some sort of medical issue or a panic attack? Uh, yeah, insight. Ooh. Pretty good, 23. Oh, yeah, yeah, you know. Um, you remember when she was in the hospital, um, you guys did visit her quite frequently and you would note that she had a very bad reaction to fast food. Um, oh, it seemed right. to have been a trigger for her because when she was, you know, with, with Ozomirk with heavy quotations, but when she was, you know, taken by Ozomirk, that's all she, all he fed her was fast food. So, um, uh, notably... Yep. Yeah, she seems to be having an episode right now, and she's just trying to, like, she doesn't, you get the sense that she doesn't want to bother Cosmer because Cosmer is having fun. Um, and so she's trying to, like, kind of keep it under the table, but you, you just, you can tell just the way her eyes look, the way that she's breathing. Like, she's, she's, like, gripping the table really hard, and, you know, she, she's doing her best, but mm, yeah. I'll take my glasses off and I'll put them into my tank top front, and then I'll lean down. I'll cut my hand over hers. Hey. She kind of looks at you, and you see the eyes, and it's just like, it kind of hurts to look at. And she's just like, uh, I'm so sorry. I'm not feeling so good. Um, what I... You want to take a walk? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay. I'll, I'll go over, and I'll uh, get, I'll sort of, like, help her up. And I'll okay. have my hand on hers, and I'll I'll just help her move. I'll go over to where they're like selling bottled waters or something, and then I'll I'll grab okay. her one. I'll grab one for each okay. of us. As you kind of like turn, you know, it's Costumeyer. No, turns. I goes, Sarah, and you, and you just kind of like wave Costumeyer. Um, okay, yeah, she, she's somehow perceptive. You need that natural twenty for the roller coaster girl. Um, she kind of looks at Taryn and you, you know, Cosmer has always been kind of like, you know, rough and tumble, even, you know, at her weakest points, but you see genuine concern on her face. Mm -hmm. Um, but she, at the same time, she kind of looks at you and she kind of gives you the sort of acknowledging, like, you know, I think she's like, I really want to be there, but she's like, I probably would be best if I'm not. Like she's able to discern yeah. that with the natural 20. She kind of sits there and kind of looks nervous now. And she kind of looks, you know, Similar sort of like fuck, 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 like worried, but you do manage to walk Taryn over to like a, a water station, and you guys get a bottle of water, and you know she takes it and she just starts drinking it, and she's like, <sighs> "Sorry, I'm really sorry. I didn't mean no, to no. bring There's down no the mood." To be sorry. There's no need to be sorry. Just let's breathe, and I'll I'll motion for her to breathe with me, just sort of deep breaths. Just the burgers remind me of. Oh, she kind of grips her arm a little bit. The one that yeah. is broken. Yeah, I got you. You're gonna be okay. She just nods. Thank you, Mr. Tennis. Mm -hmm. You can call me Vera. Okay, do you want me to? Not. Do you want me to get you like a salad or something? I can um, try to see if we can find something not... Yeah, dirty. yeah, I think that'd be good. I think that'd be good. Okay. Uh, I'll I'll look around and I'll okay. try to see if uh, I can find, like, a salad bar or something. 
yeah easy enough there's like a little salad bar attached to like you know the, the one of the other stalls and you're able to just like ask for like a tray and like they're like you don't want anything else and you're like no i just want a salad they're like oh okay <laughs> like they charge you like two bucks <laughs> they're like, they're like oh, we don't really know how much to charge Oh, yeah, you managed to, like, cobble together a decent salad. It actually looks pretty good. Being, in a, being a wood elf, I know how to make a salad. Oh, yeah, yeah, you definitely <laughs> make a salad. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll throw together something that's that's as little grease and junk foody as possible. Yeah, it's pretty easy. Um, you even ask, like, some of them to, like, you know, put chicken on it or whatever, just add some protein to it. Yeah, um, you kind of you kind of bring it back over to her, and as you do, you notice now uh, at this point the rest of you would notice that Cosmara has gone up and left, and has followed behind. And the moment you kind of regroup, you see Cosmara just like holding Taryn, like yeah, you know, head chest, you know, pressed to the the chest, and just like kind of like you know stroking the hair, and very comforting. Um, similar, but you know a little less funny than you know when when Cosmara got off yeah. the roller coaster. Same sort of tenderness and whatnot, um, and like. Cosmar looks like she just feels a little guilty, but you kind of walk over with the salad and she kind of gives you a look, but doesn't really acknowledge you. And Taryn just kind of like, oh, thank you, Tannis. Um, Vero, sorry. She kind of holds out her hands. <laughs> Call me whatever you like. <clears throat> okay. I do like Mr. Tannis. It sounds cool. <laughs> Makes me feel like a dad. Well, you and are. I'll... Sure am. Sure am. And I'll hand her the salad. We're gonna go sit down over there, and Cosmar kind of juts ahead towards like a field where there's like, you know a bunch of parents sitting like picnicking with their kids and stuff like that. Uh, we'll meet up with you later, okay? That sounds good. If you need anything, let me know. Thank you, Tannis. You watch as they walk away. You just hear Cosmar go, "I'm sorry, I didn't, I forgot." And she's like, "No, no, it's it's okay. I should have said something." And they just kind of walk away out of out of earshot. <sighs> I'll watch them leave, and I'll I'll make sure they're they get to their seats on on without any problems, and then I'll turn around yeah. and I'll walk back. You watch as they you, you watch as they sit down, and like uh, Cosmar takes one of the cherry tomatoes out of the salad, throws it up in the air, tries to catch it in her mouth, and just gets hit in the head. Taryn actually kind of <laughs> smiles at that, and like picks it up and like kind of offers it to her. It's very cute. Uh, you guys come back, and as you do, like Jerusalem's just kind of like, what was that about? Um. Nothing. She's fine. It's just, it's it's not, not really not ours being, to talk about. I'm not being too scary, am I? No, no, it's not you at all. Taryn likes okay. you. Oh, good. <laughs> she seems nice. You two look kind of similar. You ever think about that? <laughs> what, because we're both blonde? Human blonde, you know. Oh, well, kind of... that seems a little unfair. What a, can't say that about you and another orc, can I? Well, hey, <laughs> he just kind of like raises up a hand like... Okay, fair enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess that's fair. Mm. Are you having huh. fun? Yeah, I'm having a blast! Thought I was gonna die earlier, but, you know, that's <laughs> be part of, you know, most of my life, to be fair. But uh, how about you? You having fun? Yeah. I mean, like I said, I, I, I've i been to smaller versions of this, so getting to a big one like this is really fun. Yeah, usually when I go to these things, I'm usually doing work. Yeah? Just, like, escorts? Yes, yeah, more like looking for people who, you know, targets. Oh. <laughs> Do they usually go to these? Rich people like to spend money, you know. Um. Sometimes they like to lose us in chaos, too, when it comes down to it. I had a chase once in one of these, and he, like, points up to one of the balloons, and he points up, and you notice there's a giant patch on the back of it. Pretty sure I fought on that. <laughs> they, they didn't fix it? I would have thought they'd replace it. What well, floating, so I guess they did. But, uh... Yeah, sometimes work gets a little weird. Um, but, uh... Yeah, no, it's nice to be here. You know, he kind of turns over and he sees Amelia. Currently, Amelia and uh, Nefane are, like, sharing the curly fries. And, like, they're doing, like, a game where they grab one and whoever has the bigger... Like, they, they like hold two ends of the curly fry and then they pull and then whoever has the bigger end wins a point it's very cute um he kind of turns over and goes it's good for the kid too um actually yeah. which reminds me uh hey brian uh yeah We're so probably... um i talked to the boss about your proposition we call it oh hold on i'm gonna stick the fool out of yeah all right <clears throat> yeah i'm listening well, he thought about it before getting offended, so, um, you know, <laughs> uh, 
Um, you know, he appreciates the sentiment, but um, he questions your opinions of him being a father, so that was a bit awkward, but... Uh, I mean, I could talk know. to him myself. Uh, I mean, I... <laughs> Dursa gives you this look like, why would you do that? Like, just so, like a little... Dursa, here, here's the thing about men and i think you'll appreciate this when oh, great. you want to mm -hmm. when you want to talk to somebody either because you have a disagreement or an opinion you want to share you talk to the other person like a man and i don't really use the middleman now out of the respect for your whole family situation to let you take it up the chain but if he just wants to talk it out and let me know what he thinks man to man he knows where to find me i'm just gonna be perfectly honest with you brian sometimes the language of orcs is a bit violent so let him throw me against a wall. I don't give a shit. <laughs> That's your idea of violent, all right? He goes and just starts eating a burger, just like unhinges his jaw, just ah, <laughs> just eats the burger. He packs, he can pack away food. He's not the only one just destroying his body today. Uh, <laughs> I, I mean, I like the idea. A lot of the boys, idea, but you know, the boss is nervous and all that, so you know. I'm sure he is, and I'm sensitive to that. But at the end of the day, he's got to ask what's best for you know who. Yeah, yeah. He watches. Turns up not even subtly. Just turns and looks towards Amelia, and Amelia kind of looks at him and just turns back to Nefane and pretends to not hear anything. Yeah, Gagnol's back, by the way, uh, Tannis. Good. Mm. Awkward. Okay, I'm this keep... story of how my father beat my mother in arm wrestling contest. Wow. I thought it, you know, your father sounds very interesting. He sounds a lot like me. That's weird. Huh. It is a bit strange, I've noted. Mm. Well, um, thanks. That's really a good story. Yes, it is this one moment of pride. Because usually she is the one in control. Hmm. I wish I knew my parents. Do you remember anything about them? Or was it I just remember, never met? I remember my mom a little bit, but, you know. Once you hatch out of that egg, it's pretty quick. Must be nice having a human dad. He just kind of sips his drink. Like, it's very awkward. I imagine... I imagine it was a bit difficult for him because, uh, you know, half dragon. Especially when, you know, the old breath thing came in. Kind of oh, awkward. Yeah. Wow, yeah, I never even thought about that. I always forget that half dragons can breathe like us. Not as efficiently, but, you know. I used to use mine, like, deep in the summer when it's miserably hot, back in school. I would use mine to make it nice and cool for my friends. Little glittering jewels of ice in the sky glittering down on us. You know, it's really interesting because, like, dragons, at least my age, we don't get a breath weapon until, you know... He watches, he kind of turns over and looks towards Gibby a little bit, and then, like, immediately shoots away when Durzab just kind of like gives him sort of like a stare not aggressively like Durzab just kind of is like acknowledging and I'm like looking back at him and immediately Brios was like oh shit I shouldn't look at her either I guess like it's just like mm -hmm. <laughs> like scared oh hmm. you know that right uh, that your breath right. doesn't come in unless you I need a breath this you have to age a lot or, yeah, be near a princess for a time. But it's permanent once you get it, unlike other stuff with princess. How long would it naturally take you to get breath? I think about two months or more. I can't remember. Not that I ever would wanted to, to do that. Like, he just kind of, like, cowers a little bit. Oh, no, I, I didn't mean, like, the someone like me i mean like if you naturally burned it oh, how many, you got how it, many you know. years would it take i think at least 200 but most of the time dragons if they live that long they usually by accident are exposed and eventually get it hmm. 
There are other facets of magic that can cause it to... So did you have the same kind of learning curve with your breath as I did mine? I don't have breath. Oh, you don't? No. I could have sworn he was near Mr. Trilby. Dad... Dad Trimley, whatever his name was. The Prince. They were in college oh, together. You're right! I am wrong! You are actually fucking correct! I'm a big, stupid, dumbass idiot. Thank you. Holy shit, Arkal. I'm actually a moron. No, Sorry. you're fine. It was quite I a think, while ago. I know it was a while ago. I'm like, oh shit, you're completely... His name was Paul. You're right. Yeah, his name was Paul. Um, you I'm watch as he... Paul. Retcon, I'm so sorry. I got him confused with another dragon. I was thinking of the fucking green one. Um, God, my, I, I'm so embarrassed now. Gosh. Don't look at me, chat. Don't look at me, chat. I forgot my own campaign. Yes. Monty, you run two campaigns. You're allowed to forget one thing. Oh, I know. Still. Anyway, retcon that. Yes, he does have a breath weapon attack. Um, he kind of nods and goes, yeah, usually it takes about 200 years without exposure, but with exposure, maybe a couple months. So, did you have the problem where it would just come out without you meaning to? Because I broke so, a lot of TVs that way. I, so my breath's acid, so pillows are, mm, it just kind of gives you this look of just like. Oh, yes. Yeah. A lot of holes in the floor made getting a place pretty rough. Better about it now, but when I was younger, I drooled a lot. All right, you guys eat your food, enjoy yourselves, and you have more carnival to enjoy. There are plenty Ooh. more rides, plenty more games um, as you guys begin to move. Mm -hmm. So what next? Well, you know, there's this one ride that we could mm. go on. Huh? Yeah, which, which one? Points over there, like, love boats. With, like, the swans, like, the stereotypical, like, swan boats. Oh. <laughs> yeah, You know, if, okay. I don't, if, I don't, if I don't sink it, <laughs> kind of laughs. No, it, it looks like it could probably be okay for him, right? Yeah, yeah, he's just kind of joking. Um, you watch as Kostamire now and Taryn have come back, and Kost like Taryn looks 100% fine now. Like she's smiling and laughing, and Kostamire's just like, and I just decided that it would be a good idea. Anyway, that's how that neon sign broke. No, oh, hey guys, she kind of walks back up. <laughs> I think um, we're gonna go some ri more rides, more games. Um, uh, me and Durza might go to that one. Uh, give me roll an insight check, um, and. Hell, roll an insight check for me. Oh, okay. Inside, who am I inciting? Is this Durza or you're Kostamire? inciting? You're inciting Kostamar. Cal, okay. you're inciting Breeze Rot right now. Like uh, this 13. is the one thing I'm actually decent at. So please roll twenty. Fourteen. Okay. I have a plus six. Roll twenty. Give me something. Kostamar kind of like goes to say something but stops. Breeze Rot's eyes, kind of tense. You notice his shoulders kind of tense. Um, Tannis, Can I incite him too? Uh, you were inciting. You were looking at Kostamire when this happened, so unfortunately, uh, okay. no. Mm -hmm. Um, Tannis, go ahead yeah. for me and roll a perception check. All right, here I go. Herc, not great. Twelve. Twelve. Ooh, you notice your brother. Uh, Tannis sort of lowers his, his sunglasses. Jericho? You notice him walking uh, with two other individuals. Um, there's a man in the middle, um, and then there's a, another man pretty tall on the other side. Um, and again, another bodyguard, you look, it looks like. Um, your brother appears to be wearing, you know, his normal work attire, sunglasses over the eyes, uh, and it seems to be keeping an eye out. Um, but you notice between the two of them, the other one is also wearing like a really nice, almost like Hitman style suit. He's got bald head, glasses. Um, and they seem to be escorting this one guy in the middle. Um, and you see them kind of just walking through and notably Kostemeyer and Breeze Rock kind of turn over and look towards the three of them immediately. Yeah, I'm looking now too. Okay. 
Do you want to approach or are you going to stay where you are? I'm just going to stay where I am. I'm going to watch them for a bit. What is wrong, Breeze Rod? <laughs> you watch as Breeze Rod actually shrinks in place and looks very scared. Do we need to go? He turns and he looks at Gibby. Um, and Kostemeyer. I, noticed, I do notice this by now, right? You do notice, yeah, you do notice. You notice Tannis looking towards, you know, this elf, this human, tall human guy, and then another human in the middle. What, um, what's happening? You have seen my brother yet. Hmm? What's going on? Breeze Rod? No. I was just, I was just noting that nobody else in the party has seen my brother before. Um, you're looking at him, and at this point, they probably would be able to kind of track where you're looking and see him. They're, they're walking clearly through, like, kind of the centermost point of this sort of street or space. Um, so it's only a matter of time before they get closer to you. Um, Breeze Rod is shaking. Uh, Kostomar also looks pretty scared right now, too. Um, notably, you watch as Kostomar grabs Taryn and kind of shoves Taryn behind her really quickly. What's going and you on? Watch as, you watch as Kostomar kind of turns up towards Durzub and goes, hide her, hide Gibby right now. And you watch as Durzub, like, for a moment, it's like, what the hell are you talking about? But it just immediately listens. And Gibby, you're just kind of grabbed by Durzub and he quickly just kind of pulls you behind him. Um, I'm uh, just gonna, like, I'm, yeah, if, if I can sort of look, I will, but if it's safer, I'm just gonna, like, keep myself behind him. Okay, yeah, you just kind of, like, you kind of, like, duck behind him. Notably, uh, as you're standing there, Tannis, you notice as Jericho, who's, you know, doing his job scanning out, does notice you in the crowd. Uh, and you kind of see him, see you, and he actually drops down the sunglasses. I'll sort of look between him and then the guy he's guarding. Okay. What, it's, what does the, he look like? The guy he's guarding looks like this. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God, right, we get a character go. portrait. Okay. It's pretty unassuming. Um, he's wearing like a you know black uh, t-shirt. Um, very nice designer jacket. Almost goes like slightly past the hips, um, slightly above the knee. Um, very nice pants, nice dress shoes. And he's, he seems to be enjoying the carnival. Um, his hair is kind of this slicked back auburn with streaks of kind of like this strange orange. Um, he's got sort of like a, like a speckled rough sort of beard chin combo. Um, generally. I mean, I, it's so hard to describe his face. He looks very normal looking. Um, slightly bigger is... nose. Um, but from this distance, it's hard to really read anything else in the face. I clearly noticed that the people are shirking away from this particular crowd. Is there anything I can gauge based off of his appearance that would give away what he might actually be? Um, I would say roll... I, I, Say roll an insight check? Okay, here I go. The fact that insight. people are afraid of someone so normal looking means his glamour is on point. Soft 20. Soft 20. He is definitely not human. You know that for sure. Um, notably, your brother, unfortunately, is not that subtle. Um, and notices Jericho kind of staring at you and giving you a bit of a nod. And you see them. Ex you can see them exchanging words, and Jericho kind of is like, you know, like, no, 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 and that's like, no, 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 let's go talk. Uh, kind of jutting his head in your direction, uh, and the three begin to approach. The other guard on the other side is very stoic looking. You can't really read him. He also has like um, his face, like his mouth, is very like. Um, how do I describe it? It's like straight across, but then, like, the two corners of the mouth just go straight down. He looks like Stein, uh, Sten from, like, Dragon Age in his face. Like, just, like, this weird mm. pout look. Are, are, they, are they pretty much focused on, uh, uh, Tannis? Yeah, they're focusing on Tannis as they approach. Um, um uh, I, just, I... just for the record, I don't have my weapons on me, correct? Uh, you guys, I, I assume, always carry your weapons on you, unless they oh, okay. otherwise. Alright. If yeah. I can, if I can manage it, I can just very whisper but loud enough be like Kostomar should we leave? Don't move a muscle. Uh is Breeze Jericho, Rock still shaking? Breeze Rock is like shrunken and he's like you can feel him trembling slightly. He's trying to hide it. Kostomar is doing a better job but Breeze Rock is trembling a bit. Then can uh, Kel reach out and take hold of Breeze Rock's hand? 
Okay, yeah, you grab his hand. Yes, this is a comfort of, thing. Oh. Yeah, he, he squeezes it tightly back. You watch as these three individuals approach you, and uh, Jericho kind of gives you the sort of, like, nervous smile. And he's like, how you doing, bro? Didn't expect to see you here. You Jericho. watch as Nefine runs up and is like, Uncle! And he's trying to, Uncle Jericho! And he's just like, hey, you know? And he kind of picks her up and gives her a hug. And this man kind of walks up. And as you get closer to him, roll an insight check for me again. Okay. This is the same leather jacket dude, right? Yeah, same kind of. It's not really leather. It's just like a really nice designer jacket. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, 16 on that one. 16. Um, notably, as you kind of just give a quick glance at this guy, under his skin, there's like hues of green that kind of change and, and, and move around. It's weird. Um, his glamour is very good, but there's something slightly off about it. Um, sometimes when he blinks, he goes from having one pupil to three, and then it goes back with every single blink. Okay. That's a little weird. Uh... Mm -hmm. But he smiles at you, and he's just kind of smiles and goes, "You must be Jericho's brother." Vero Tanis. I'll if if he does anything after that, I'm going to keep my hands to myself for the time being. He kind of gives you this smile, um, you know, eyes kind of turned upwards, you know, cheeks kind of like dimples kind of going up, and he goes, "Nice to meet you." Jericho never told me he had a brother. Hmm. Jericho kind of turns and goes, uh, "It just." never really felt that important. Um, Tannis, this is my uh, employer, uh, Kine. Kine. Do I know that name? History check? Boy, I'm trained in this. Huh! 15. Doesn't ring any bells, no. Uh, he kind of turns and he sees... Feeling I know who this is. He kind of turns towards Durzup and goes... Hey, one of the Baron's men. And Durzup's like, yeah, um, you know him? And he's like, we've dabbled in business before, yes. Um, Immediately no, I, I look at Jericho at that. I haven't seen him for a while. And Jericho just kind of gives you this look, just like, don't don't acknowledge it. Like, just kind of giving this sort of like, like, don't worry about it sort of glance. You watch as he kind of turns, this man kind of turns around back behind uh, Durzup. Uh, looking for you, Gibby. I, I mean, does he... Is he sensing me there, or does he know I'm that someone's there? He seems to be leaning as if he knows that you're there. Go ahead and roll a stealth check for me. Oh, God. Mm -hmm. Seven. I mean, it's hard to hide behind a person, really. Um, you watch as he... You watch as he kind of leans over, and he, you do actually catch his eye, and you see that same similar sort of, you know, blinking every now and again. The eyes aren't quite right. Um, and he kind of he kind of gives you this smile. Um, go ahead and roll an insight for me, Gibby. I know what this is. Yeah, I think I do, too. 18. Um, looking at him, um, you get the sense he's just, you know, trying to be friendly. He doesn't want to scare you legitimately. You know, he sees how nervous you are, but he's kind of giving you the smile like, don't, don't worry about it. It's fine. And it seems somewhat genuine. For the sake of the tone of this moment. Uh, no, we're going to do this instead. Hold on. Oh, man, I can feel my heart beating in my ears right now. He watches, he kind of smiles and breaks off eye contact with you, Gibby, and then kind of turns back up to Durzup and, and uh, slowly he turns towards Taryn. Uh, Kostemeyer notably, like, actually bares her teeth. Like, you can see some of her glamour kind of, like, drifting away as she just kind of, like, kind of twitches. And he kind of gives her this, doesn't even care, just kind of gives her this smile. Uh, and he goes, oh, relax. <laughs> and he watches, he wipes his mouth. Um, Bryant, Tannis, Kel, because Gibby, you're hiding. Roll insight checks on him again. 19. Again. It's a 19. four. I'm eating. Okay. Yeah, you're eating your, eating your hot dog. Um, 
Tannis and Kel, he just wipes saliva off of his mouth. He's drooling right now. This man. <laughs> he seems almost like um, annoyed by it in a way. So, um, Jericho's brother, Mr. Tannis, what do you do? Are you also a bodyguard? I used to be. Hmm. I retired recently. Uh, what was the... What was the name of my my last job? The, the, the harpy lady? Uh, the Siren. That was what she was called. She was a singer. I used to bodyguard for the Siren. The Siren? Oh, she's quite the performer. Very impressive. Sad to see that she's not really much in the entertainment business anymore. I really like no. her work. No, she... <laughs> she decided to call it quits while she was on top. No, she was a, a friend and a confidant. I'm glad to see her living out the rest of her days in <sighs> relative comfort. I never get that. You know, if you're in your prime, shouldn't you be doing your best constantly? But, um, hmm. Kind of shrugs. You enjoying the fair? Kind of just smiles at all of you. Notably, Breeze Rod and Kostamire are visually quite distressed looking. Um, but he doesn't acknowledge it at all. He just kind of sort of smile, almost fox-like smile, like where he smiles, his eyes are almost closed. Kel will squeeze Breeze Rod's hand. Do I notice anybody acting weird at all? Yeah, you are noticing that there is a very tense moment happening right now between all right. everybody. I apologize in advance. <clears throat> oh, no. Okay, what the fuck's going on? Why is everybody being a creep? A creep? He kind of turns towards you, Bryant. Yeah. You're being all weird and fucking wrecks. Your buddy's all quivering, and I got Costamire over here. Looks like she's ready to. Well, you always want to keep somebody's ass. Bryant! What? You watch as this man turns back, and as he blinks, you see again the three pupils kind of show up, and he turns towards Costamire and goes, Now, now, there's no need to raise your voice. I already have one. You're fine. Or more, she's fine. And her. He kind of nods towards Gibby. It seems I've made people uncomfortable. It might be best if we move along. A pleasure meeting all of you. Jericho. You watch as Jericho just kind of puts Nefane down without breaking eye contact with you, Tannis. And as they begin to, to leave, um, Jericho kind of just quickly puts a hand on your shoulder, Tannis, and goes, forget this happened, and keeps walking. I just watch him. I, I keep my eyes on him like a hawk the entire way until he's out of sight. I sort of subconsciously reach down and I grab Nefane's shoulder. I just pull her close to me. Dad? Dad, you're let's, shaking. Let's, let's go meet up with everybody else, sweetie. I'm gonna go over to Kostemeyer. <sighs> Who was that? What the fuck? She turns towards Bree Ross. What the fuck? And Bree Ross is like, I don't know. I, 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 I don't know. Why the fuck is that thing here? Does what somebody do you want to clue us in? What the fuck is going on? Nefane, why don't you, uh, why don't you go run off with Amelia for a little bit? Are you sure? I'm kind of scared. You just, we, we'll be right here. You can just sit on a bench and you can talk with Amelia. We'll be right here. Okay. Amelia also looks pretty freaked out, and Durza is like really confused. I I'm gonna say to both, it's like, you two are okay, it's fine. Uh, why don't you guys, I'll stay with the kids, they seem kind of scared. You guys. Yeah, yeah that, that'd be a good idea, actually. Yeah. If hey, you wouldn't kids, mind. Come on, let's go, piggyback rides. He kind of walks over, taking both their hands, and kind of takes them over to a, you know, like to like a ride or something. As soon as Bryant sees that Amelia was freaked out, Bryant is immediately gonna whip his eyes and move towards Kostemeyer and look at her so with a very that. stern that a, eye. Kostemeyer, was that a dragon? Shut up, shut up, that was not a dragon. What the fuck was, was that and why did it scare the kids and everybody else? They both turn to each other and they look towards you and go, that was a tower. And that's, we're gonna take a break. Fuck. What? Oh my god! I I I had a feeling. I had a feeling. I can't I, I, believe oh, it. That was. I thought it was an ancient dragon we hadn't met. Holy shit! Nope, that was a tower. I was worried it was either a tower or a dragon when you said three eyes and went, ah, oh, shit. 
That is I, why Breeze Rot was shaking so bad, because he lost Paul to a tower. I... I thought initially it was a beholder, because of the multiple eyes. It was pupils, not multiple eyes. So it was like... Oh, like multiple blinked. pupils. It was multiple pupils in the eye. So where there'd be I one, still like... I still would have initially assumed it was is it was a beholder because of the pupil thing. No beholders but, in this universe, yeah, unfortunately. Ah, but, okay, yeah. yeah. But Remember tower was my other it. assumption. Yeah. <sighs> right, okay. Go grab some snacks, guys, and we'll get back to fun carnival time. I gotta go feed the cat. Jesus, hear me. Moisten that frog. Now, we gotta keep this in mind. A tower is something that even Acid Back is wary of. Mm-hmm. I love the way he looks, though. Yeah, I was gonna say. Jack the fact that the glamour... The also, I love that so Jack, normal. that Jack, you cheeky fucker, I saw you in the chat. Don't <laughs> think that somebody didn't probably say, oh, here it comes. And here it's comes fucking that our Jack. What were you gonna say, our call? Sorry. The fact that he looked so normal, yet everyone was afraid of him, told me that he had a very powerful glamour. Mm -hmm. So I knew he wasn't actually human right away. He was just piecing together what he could be. All right, well, that's a hell of a way to start the halftime show. Jesus. Everybody, make sure to get up, stretch your water, drink some legs, absorb Laqueef, whatever you'd like. Let's see what we got here in terms of some bits that I can call out while we were playing the game. Let's see here. Man, he's We've he got had one. two Cobalts. Thank you for the tier one sub. DRK Gannon. Thank you for the Twitch Prime sub. Ty of Nerdlandia with 5,000 bits. How do you measure a snake? In inches? They don't have any feet. Oh, boy. I don't... Why did you dad joke me? Uh, Furret07 with 100 bits. Been listening to you and the Unexpectables for two years. Though never can listen live, just want to say, awesome to listen to you when I'm working and helps make the day pass quicker. Ty of Norlandia with another 100 bits. Super early episode title, but all's fair in carnival games and funnel cake. Uh, we got Crazy Mans and Chief Tomahawk. Thank you for the Twitch Prime sub and the Tier 2 sub. Game Howlers with the Tier 1 sub. Guide guide you to glory made may the d20 guide you to glory got it now there we go oathbreaker john with 100 bits i'm sure nefane is thinking if bryant makes any more looks on or moves on my dad there's going to be hell to pay starting with the kneecaps <laughs> or something like that stellar coyote with 100 bits meanwhile amelia fills neth in on gibby and Durza's relationship neth she touched the tusks oh my god that's so wrong tell me more Game Master Anth with 500 bits. So a carnival run by a god of fun. Monty, you sure this place isn't actually a rock dodes carnival? Mr. Nanny with a Twitch Prime sub. I propose we change the name of the Prince Division to the Curse Division. I mean, give us a minute. Uh, we got Dread Hunter with the 200 bits. Holy shit, you guys just met a possible big bad enemy god. B-Bag. That's what I'm going to call it. Uh, Ran Kosak with 100 bits. So what's it feel like having a threat of the magnitude tower over you? Oh, don't. <sighs> yeah, the magnitude of that towering over you. I get it. You're you're funny, Ran. I, I appreciate you, Jim. The, the man who... You can leave, Ran, and come back when you've thought about what you did. Burn out long with 100 bits. Welpy holders don't exist. Hurts me. But the uncertainty had me on the edge of my seat as I went through all my mental stat blocks. You forget, Monty's homebrewed some stuff. Hellfang with 100 bits. So Brian is now on the hit list of an eldritch entity, even Dragon Sphere. Of course, because it wouldn't be an episode of Drag or if Brian wasn't a fucking moron. Uh, Okazar with 500 bits. Episode title, All Along the Watchtower. Ooh, that's not bad. Zenlita with 100 bits. Can't wait for Brian at the end of the episode to go, wait, you thought I was kidding? I asked you on a date. <laughs> Uh, 20 BMG with 100 bits. You know it's a Monty fair when there is good food and tension. Dave Reward with 100 bits. If players read people in chat trying to backseat, the hints division. Fucking damn it. <laughs> Nene with 110 bits. OMG, a tower. Ah. He said he already had one. Yeah, he probably already has a princess. 
Yeah, but the, the drool especially, and the story seem to imply that the towers eat princes and princesses. Which means he probably ate one recently is what he means. I already had one as in I already ate. Well, he said have, not had. Oh, I Present thought he said had. Oh, well, then that means that one's going to die. He said have. I already have one is what he said. Oh, well, there yeah, you go. So he's just going to eat that one. Uh, Ran, I thought about what I did and I regret nothing. Long live the puns division. 100 bits. How dare you? Dread Hunter with 300 bits. Possible episode title, The Tallest Tower. Uh, that Archex said he said he's already got one. Can we see it? <laughs> uh, Cairo or Curio the Adventurer with 200 bits. No message, just bits. Thanks so much. Also, you can find that art jack on twitch.tv slash that art jack and also at that art jack on Twitter. Did you, you already call out nightshades? Uh, did I miss nightshades? Thousand bits. bits. Uh, I did because I wasn't looking at the sheet. I just caught those two. Uh, Cosmosis with 100 bits. He's eating a limb at a time, maybe. Shudder. And then we've got uh, Shade with a thousand bits. We love you, Brian. Bad rolls and all. That's a mistake. Ugh. I didn't even want to think about that. That's gross. Uh, Burnout Vaughn with a hundred bits. Don't talk to me about homebrew stat blocks. I would give you night terrors. Don't talk to me about homebrew Burnout Vaughn. I don't want to hear your war stories. Hmm. Wonder how badly we can freak out Lucy and the captain by saying we met a tower. Oh, I'm gonna. Do you think Brian is gonna go walk up and tell him, be like, "Look, bitch, you thought we were safe? Fuck off! What happened?" Oh yeah, the last Prince Division was supposedly killed by a tower. Killed by a tower. So he's gonna be like, "Did you did you think this wasn't gonna happen? We have a princess in our division. Did you think it wasn't gonna happen?" Blackfoot Fair with the 420 bits. A nat one is as good as a nat twenty for narrative enjoyment purposes. Or to hear me fucking lose my damn mind. I didn't roll over a 10 for half the episode until we got to bumper cars. And then I couldn't roll below a fucking 15. That is why I challenged you. Because while I may antagonize you, I also try to give you chances to shine. Really? I know you were fucking trying to make me miserable. Don't even try to cover it up. I don't want to hear your bullshit. I heard you smirking when you offered. You wanted me to fucking fail. No. Genuinely. Yes, you, no, lies. I don't want to hear it. Outcome. You are a liar. Go to twitch.tv slash Arkov. He loves the patronage. He absolutely loves it. Fuck off. He loves it. The more you shill him and the more you talk about how great he is, the more he'll love you forever. So my goal now is to make you roll for anything and everything possible in this game. Twitch.tv slash Arkov, where he is playing Halo Reach, trying to help Shiru get through all those games. Also, check him out tomorrow on the Murder Cave. I'll also plug him at the end in case you miss it. But in case you're ducking out early... Definitely check out him, Shadow Dancer Bob, Grizzly Adams, and Codename Chess tomorrow on the Murder Cave. Lots and lots of fun. That Art Jack saying, Arkov, he feeds off this, I swear. I did it to I did it to Jack, if it makes you feel better, Arkov. Every time somebody wanted an autographed Jack print, I would just be like, and here's a print from that Art Jack you find him on Twitch.tv. <laughs> to the point, and Citric had it on like a copy-paste command. Oh, I love it. It was so good. I just saw bits fly by. What happened? Am I crazy? <laughs> Uh, no, there were two. Yeah, there were two. Three, actually. Uh, Gray Monkey with 100 bits just finished my very first session as a DM. What did I miss? I don't want to spoil it. You missed a big plot hook at the. We just took a break. Yeah, cool. You You're going to want to listen. Huge thing, I think. You should just listen. Nobody spoil it. Uh, oh, Rank cool. Kostak, the moment the spoiler arrived, everyone got so scared they became the Flinch Division. Also, 420 from Blackfoot Ferret. I already got that one. I oh, did? Yeah. Ah, cool. Uh, Dragon God, though, with 500 bits. I have an idea for a center life cleric uh, specializing in diseases. Sneeze on your fist to inflict poison damage. It's true. Shattered Enzer Bob brings up a good point. When we were signing the autographs, it was a challenge between the mods. Who could post Jack's info first? <laughs> And if they won, they got to draw his ire. Get it? Draw? Because he's an artist? Aha! God, I'm so clever that no one laughs. Shell, it's okay. Citrix very quick on the draw. 
My ire lives on a beach. Must be nice. I wish I could live on a beach. No, I don't, actually, now that I think about it. Yeah, have fun with hurricanes. Yeah, def well, it depends. Depends on the beach. Defective Sheep, thank you so much for the five tier one subs. We got the hype train going now. Many Nightbot commands were launched that day. They sure were, Grizzly. Monty knows why. What do I know? What's going on? Why do you know that his ire lives on a beach? What? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's, a, it's a, I guess, an inside joke at this point. Dragon guy with another 500 bits. A center for disease control. Oh, gosh darn uh. it. Okay. I get the joke. Well, you did kill a lot of bots, Burnout. We got, we got a spammer, and I'm it was looking. like 250 bots. Because bang, 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 bang. Zaka was having I'm a good day. Uh, I'm looking at a... Uh, looking Damn at it. the live chat right now. It's really interesting seeing people guess what that was. Ran Cossack with another 100 bits. If Bryant and the others, why do you lead with Bryant? It can just be the Prince division. You don't have to lead with Bob, but that's fair. <laughs> Brian if Bryant and, and the others were to ruin Christmas, would they become the Grinch division? Damn it. Go away. Stop donating. I don't want to read anymore. Cosmosis with 100 bits. I suspected Ancient Copper for a couple of minutes based on the art and his uh, coloration, but they are tricksters much more than creeps. A lot a of people point. thought he was an ancient dragon, yeah. I actually, my initial thought was Beholder, and then when I kept thinking about it, I'm like, wait, I'm pretty sure you mentioned in the Q&A that they don't exist. Yeah, we actually had it in the original trailer. We actually had an art, like a Beholder in the background, and we actually had to get that changed because they're not in this universe, so. Also, Beholders are cool. copyrighted. They are, yeah. Obelith, so. Obelith would have also been a good guess. Brian became a chef, he'd be in the men's division. Get out! Stop! Is everybody back? I think we're still waiting on Sarah. Damn it! Burnout Vaughn with 100 bits. If the gang needed to lift something with a rope and pulley, would they be the wedge division? I feel dirty now, so we hurt together, Bosco. No. No. If we broke, if we broke our legs, we'd be the splints division. <sighs> <laughs> After meeting that tower, I'm pretty sure with the clinch division. Our trousers are going to need to take a trip to the rinse division. No! We've had the rinse division <laughs> so many times. Damn it! Yeah. You're right. There's a lot of overlap because there's not that many things that rhyme. Oh, man. Sorry, I'm reading the live chat in the Discord right now, and someone got it immediately. And the moment he showed up, someone's like, I think, I, oh god, what if it's a tower? And I'm just like, good, good job, awesome Link. Good, good attention. It's fun. If this were, uh, if, if this game took place in the WWE universe, we'd be the Vince division. Nope. If they went to Kinko's, they'd be the Prince division. 100 bits from Cosmosis. If you had to make posters or flyers, you'd be the Prince Divisions. We just, you can't, you just cop, no. Oh my god, fucking. <laughs> I'm sorry. God, I love you, Prince Division meme channel. You give me life. Oh, so the Nefane yeah. one? Oh, they're all good. Taryn, we should go on the suicide, Kostmeyer. The what? <laughs> Foxley foe with 100 bits waiting for a time if Bryant meets Remy. Never. That's a bad idea. Yeah. Remy's a good bean. Bryant's a bad bean. Don't mix the two. No, Bryant's good. No, he's not. Dang, he is out of gold. He cannot escape that. Oh, Jesus. Novi Jen with uh, some bits. Can we see the art again? I missed it. Uh, sure. Yeah, I can show it again. If we worked at a Do key, it. we'd be the Prince Division. We already said that. Damn it. We're running out. Literally <laughs> verbatim out of the chat. They said that. Did they? Yep. Hang on. Yes. There's really not that many things that rhyme with Prince. Honestly, there's, there, is one word, there is one word that nobody said for good reason. Sarah, come back. You can blame, you can it, blame all. it all on Bosco. Oh, no, what? 
Mad Monk, thank you for the 100 bits. Mile long run sprints division or long stints division. Arkov, don't forget, you need to get Bryant with the Dragon Girl Hell Fang with 45 bits. Well, that wink is still, isn't it? He's still in his interview. I know, and I hate it. <laughs> I'm going to use it as an attack on, on somebody. Monty, I cast breath. Kiss. There's a video. Hold on, I got to find it. <sighs> oh, if all of our hey. breath was fresh, we'd be okay, the back. division. Welcome back, Sarah. Are you on a thesaurus right now, Connor? Yeah. You fucking asshole. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, you th I can hear you thinking. <laughs> Novi with some more bits. If you were all landlords, you'd be the rents division. Uh. If we all had degrees in color theory, we'd be the tints division. No, get the <laughs> fuck out. <laughs> I had to stretch for that one. I think I pulled something. <laughs> You know, if we washed our hair regularly, we'd be the rinse division. Hold on. Hold Whoa, on, we've hold done. On. Hold As on. I've... I found this is this is Brian. This is what Brian's gonna do to the the kit the the blown kiss in his inventory. I'm putting it in memes in our personal channel. But you better watch this, Bosco. This is absolutely what you would do. All right, I will. I will look in just a second. That being said, though, if we want some sugar-filled pancakes, we'd be the blends division. <laughs> that is what he. God damn it. Watch that video, Bosco. <laughs> a hundred, hundred bits from Daver Boy. No, Connor. If you wait, if you wall, wall wore sunglasses, then you'd be the tints division. What am I looking yeah. at? Memes. Yeah, go into memes. Unexpectables. Or no, sorry, uh, Prince Division memes. The video, Monty. Monty linked. All right. If we all run away from a fight, we'd be the sprints division. <laughs> That's brilliant. Holy yes, shit. Rank Costa with another 100 bits. If the group turned into That's birds, awesome. I bet they'd end up as the Finch division. Get the. Stop, please. Can we right. play D&D? &D? Yeah, let's play D&D. &D. Thank you. All right. So. Kostemeyer uh, turns and stares at you all um, and Breeze Rot. I mean, you guys don't know Breeze Rot as well as you know Kostemeyer, and even Kostemeyer is kind of a bit of a rogue element, but she looks very serious. You haven't seen her look this serious since the whole thing with Azamark before, and like even Tyrion looks very scared right now. I'm just kind of holding her wrist at the moment. So that was a uh, power. She nods. Hmm. One Breeze supposedly Robert. killed our predecessors, so nice to know what they look like. I mean, well. it's obviously glamoured, right? No, oh, very much so. Yeah. You watch Tannis's his hands are both. Sorry. No, go ahead. No, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Tannis's hands are both balled into fists, and he is shaking. Kill will squeeze uh, Breeze Rot's hand and say, no, you all right? Breeze Rot looks like he's ready to cry. He kind of... Kill's going to pull him into a hug. Yeah, you give him a big hug and he hugs you back. There, yeah, there. It is okay. For now, it is okay. He watches Kostomar just kind of like pulls onto Taryn a bit and... Karen's like, what's wrong? She's just like, it's fine. You're fine. Oh, God. I, I hate to ask this, um, especially of you, Breeze Rod, but do either of you know that specific tower? Uh, he watches Cosmer and kind of goes, I've heard stories about them. I've never seen them before. And Breezar kind of turns and goes, that's the one that took Paul. It's only ever been the one. Oh, Breezrot. I am so sorry. It was a lifetime ago. Besides, it's not like I could kill him. 
They don't die. Then why does he need bodyguards? To blend in. But I don't know. He seems to blend in fine, and what would anyone be able to do to him anyway? I don't know. Kim will squeeze tighter. Just affirming. Watch as Cosmar turns back to you, Gibby goes, at least we're lucky. Fuck. Yeah. What in every hell did you get yourself into, little brother? Stupid kid! Like is not, we've met the one thing we will have to reckon with, eventually, given our line of work. Kind of the be-all, end-all. But for now, the day is young, and people's tensions need to be, uh, relieved. So, I would say, let us enjoy the fair. Life will not end today. If you wanted to kill us or do anything, you would have done it by now. Precisely. He watches like Cosmo just runs a hand down the back of her neck. God, I didn't realize it felt that bad. <sighs> felt? Yeah. It's like a stink. Can you smell it? No. Roll I assume. Checks. Roll a perception check, Cal. Um, everyone, roll a perception check. <sighs> Seven. Here Twelve. I go. Sneak Eighteen. The air. Four. The onions on your hot dog have scuttled your senses. <laughs> I'm gonna eat the hot dog. <laughs> Gail is just under the assumption it's like the prince princess thing where they can feel it, but he can't. Tennis. Yes. There is a smell in the air. It's subtle, but you can you can somehow through all the all the everything else you can smell it. Um it smells like it smells like the way, like, metal tastes. Ooh. Like, with a mixture of, like, mud. It's weird. It's a very weird odor. It's not bad, per se, uh, but it's not good, either. It's a very, very strange smell. Um, and it lingers a little bit, but um, it's nothing like you're like, oh, it's so clearly this. It's just like, you kind of smell, and you're like, yeah, there's a bit of an odor. You wonder for a second if it's some sort of, like, rustic cologne, but it very much is not, you know, a pleasant smell, but it's not a, you know... One that makes you cover your nose, either. It's just a strange, strange smell. They smell it. Ugh. Ugh. It's like metal. Dirty and stagnant at the same time. Is it, is it like similar to when you sense a princess? You watch as the two of them turn to you and they're like, no, 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 not at all. And Cosmar kind of crossed her arm and goes, it's like, um, I guess both would be a feeling. Princess is like, you ever give like a cat catnip? And you watch as Breeze starts like, mm, like nods, like he's like, oh, he totally understands. <laughs> it's kind of like that. It's like, um, what is there, an aphrodisiac? Not really, that's kind of weird, but like. It's kind of addictive. It energizes you. Yeah, yeah. Um, like coffee. Sure, yeah, yeah. Co coffee. Fucking whatever. Um, but that was like... I don't know, it's like... It's so hard to describe. It's just like... It had the same smell of just knowing something's not right. You know, when there's a shift in the weather and you know a storm's coming. You know, it doesn't... Ah, it's so hard to explain to humans! And she just kind of grips her hands. Yeah, I think I get it. Still, why the fuck is he walking around? Maybe he likes the fair? <laughs> Somehow I fucking doubt that. 
He was so casual about it, too. Of course he is. He probably doesn't want to make a scene. He was drooling when he saw Gibby and Terran. And still I wonder what the necessity of those bodyguards were. They weren't just for looks. I know that much. It's not what I pictured a tower being. Hey, Tannis. What? If you killed the last Prince Division, and you found out there was another one, wouldn't you want some collateral over them? You think he knows we're a part of the Prince Division? Yeah, I do. Would it really be that hard to find out? Considering so we were in newspapers? So not hard. He came, so you think he came here for us? I think he just put on a show. I think he just let us know that we're in his game. We're just playing it. Why do these evil sons of bitches have to keep getting my fucking family involved? You watch as Taryn walks over and puts a hand on your shoulder, Tannis. Mr. Tannis, it'll be okay. He's just got the 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 glasses have sort of fallen away from his eyes, and he's just wild look in his eyes. Tannis, in a second, we, we got to go back and meet up with your daughter. So you should, if you can, try and calm down for her. If you need help doing so. I do have a spell that can help. I'm fine. I'm fine. No, you're not. We could make something up. We could we could cut I things will short. Be. We could leave. Just sort of cups his hand with the other one and sort of forcefully pulls his fingers away from being a fist. His knuckles are white. I'll be Elf. fine. Cosmar kind of turns to you. If your brother is half as strong as you are, I'm sure he'll be fine. Why did he get himself into this, though? He might not know. How could he, he know? knows? He's not. Damn it, Jer. You guys turn over. You see Amelia and uh, Nefane currently being entertained by Thursa, trying to juggle. Not going great. Um, seems like he bought them snow cones in the meantime while you guys are all talking. You get the sense that every now and again, nervously, Thursa is kind of looking over just to make sure you can see Tana's getting upset. And it's just like every time Nefane kind of turns, he's like, oh, look at that. It's a cool thing, isn't it? And Nefane just kind of gives him this look like, you know, he's clearly trying to cover, but <laughs> he's doing a terrible, terrible job at it. She's too smart for her own good. Yeah, she's not an idiot. <sighs> he sort of puts the glasses back over his eyes. And... C come on, everyone. You watch this Taryn kind of let's, let's just have fun, okay? Right. Yes. That's why All we're here today. In time. And we're safe. We're going to keep being safe, okay? Yeah. Yeah. Gibby keeps, Gibby keeps sort of looking in the direction that they went. With this, she just feels really conflicted about it. Like, she, she's scared. Are we, but she's are we still like, around the food court? Uh, you guys were walking at this point, so you're kind of in the middle of the sort of walking area. Darn it. Why? Well, well Tannis is going to go get a beer at the first stall he finds. Okay. <laughs> Show your ID, you get a beer at one of the stalls, and you, you come back. And you guys, How old are you, sir? 100. Oh, uh, it's a dwarf. The dwarf gives you, the, gives you the hard shit. No, wait a minute, wait a minute. Would they adjust for elf age? 
like, you know, round it out. It's like, you know, <laughs> like, I'm an 50, adult. like 50 in elf age is like maybe only like, you know, 16 in human years. No, no, Come no, on, no. I'm an adult. I'm like eight <laughs> years over 100. Uh. It's, a, it's a it's a body maturity thing. Uh, so elves, I believe, are fully. It, it says in the book. Um, yeah, a hundred is a hundred is like officially you're an adult now, but yeah, you're you know. officially sort of an adult by like social standards. Um, you grab your beer; it's very strong. The dwarf just looks at your eyes, is like, "Nope, I know," and he goes in the back and gets you the good shit. <laughs> um, you guys reconvene with Durza, and like uh, the moment you guys reconvene, like Nefane runs over and gives you a big hug. Uh, Tannis. Hey, did you say goodbye to your uncle? What? Yeah. When you went, when you left, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How you doing, uh, kiddo? You yelled. I don't like it when you yell. Oh. Well, that's why I try not to, kiddo. You haven't yeah, yelled she's... since mom. Nah. There's nothing you need to be worried about, kid. Roll a persuasion hey. check. Fuck! I'm off. <laughs> <laughs> Here I go. Oh. Uh, okay. Six. Could be worse. Okay. Can we still have fun? <laughs> of course we can. Hey. Look what I won. Look what I won you earlier, and I pull out the cat. <gasps> she, her face just brightens up, and she takes it. Thank you, Dad. <laughs> Yeah, your dad's pretty. Your dad's pretty strong. He won that with that hammer game. Thank you. She gives you another hug, and she kind of walks, runs over and shows it to Amelia. And she's like, "Look!" Right. And Amelia's like, "Oh, that's really cool." Doris is just looking at the teddy bear, like, "How the fuck am I gonna get this home?" <laughs> 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 like, Doris is just like, "Shit." Uh, I just kind of lift the <laughs> sheep and wiggle that at him, like, ah "Tie that, tie that bitch to the roof." <laughs> yeah, uh, he takes a break while you guys reconvene and kind of just, you know, calm down, take some drinks and just, you know, catch a quick breath. Uh, Durzub does take the prizes to his car just so that we can put them somewhere. Um, it's very funny watching, you know, a guy like Durzub, who's kind of rough and tumble looking mafia guy carrying just like 50 stuffed animals <laughs> to his car. <laughs> um, but eventually he returns um and uh, kind of sidles up next to you and kind of turns to you gibby and goes uh so about that love boat um if you're up for it i mean if you <laughs> oh right um yeah 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 let's go okay cool uh does anybody else want to go to the love boats you watch as taryn looks up at costumer and costumer's like <sighs> fine <laughs> just like I'll what entertain this human thing. What about you, Tannis and Brian? You watch as you watch as Nephany looks up to you, Gibby, and just mouths the words, "No." <laughs> <laughs> I, I just look at her. I just like, I gotta. I just, I kind of mentally, I'm like, I gotta, I gotta, she I gives, gotta. She gives you that same angry child face that she gave. Like, I can't uh, pass this up. I can't pass yeah. it up. Why don't we all go? Yes, Amelia and Nephany can share a boat, and the rest of us split off as we split off. That sounds fine to me. <laughs> Don't worry, you can be in front so you can be a lovey dovey without us watching you. Okay, listen, you know, you don't have. <laughs> Kibby, don't laugh. You're making me. <laughs> I'm sorry. Warm in the, warm in the I'm face. Sorry. Come on. You kind of pats I'm your sorry. back. And... <laughs> it's just we're kind of re it's relieving giggles. Just like it's been a night. She's just like, <laughs> this feels good. You guys make your way to the love boats, get these obnoxious swan boats mm -hmm. um, that are just I have yet in my now. lifetime to actually ride one of these. Neither have I. I would like to do it just for the experience. I hope it is as cheesy and horrible as I always imagine. Oh, oh it's about to be. Get in. <laughs> <laughs> are you going to change the music on us? I don't think oh, I have please. music for this. I'm no! sorry. Oh, come on. Like some horrible uh, music I'll, version I'll, I'll of I Will Always I'll, Love You or something. I'll provide some. Baby, I'll pay to you. Put on a mini cover. That's, that, that's like a Whisper. really good song. Despacito. There used to be a green tower. Oh, jeez. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> 
Uh, sorry, I'm just trying to see if I can find stupid over-the-top romantic music, but there's not that much, to be honest. Didn't you have some for the panic scene? The there's like the weird ghost? guitar music. Hmm. Is there like a really bad parody cover of Careless you know Whisper anywhere? I wonder if I can find it here. Hold on. No, where is my boy Kevin McLeod? I need Kevin McLeod here. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta look up the number real funny real fast. Just look up what that song is. Give me half a second here. Gotta jump into the Unexpectables game real fast. It's very important, by the way, of course. <laughs> I wouldn't be deliberating so much if this wasn't the most key component to today's episode. Absolutely. Uh, where are you? Panic? It still, it still says Panic. Yeah, the first more... episode. As I figure is what it's called. Okay, hold on. All right. All right. Here we go. Thanks, Kevin. Thanks, Kevin McLeod. We love you. Thanks for making your music free. Okay. So, as you guys approach the uh, the boats, uh, there is a young halfling woman, very rosy-cheeked, curled blonde hair, uh, sort of tan complexion, uh, big hoop earrings, wearing the, you know, the uniform of the fair. Um, she's like, come on in, come on in. Two in the boats, two in the boats. No naughty business, kind of waggling a figure at a few couples, and they're like, ha, 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 like awkwardly getting in um, as you guys approach. Uh, she's like, hello, welcome, and Gibby and Dursa are first. Yeah. Okay, step right in there. Don't worry, you're not going to sink the boat. It's on a track. Don't worry. And she kind of gives Dursa this reassuring smile. He goes, hey, thanks. Side. He helps you in as well. He's being very polite, like kind of holds your hand as you step over. Um, notably, yeah, when he gets into the boat, it does not sink. It, it appears to be, like, a, an underwater track. But there's water around you um, as he kind of sits down and gets comfortable. It's not like a, um, you know, separate seating. It's, like, just one big seat that you kind of share with another person. Yeah. Uh, the inside is kind of water-stained, um, but it is of nice quality. It's not, like, super cheap and creepy. Like, the eyes on the on the swan look decent, <laughs> not, like, a thousand yards there. You know how creepy those water shivits <laughs> get after the water hits them and the eyes get really, like really like that one meme of the really wet eyes it's freaky anyway they've seen shit yeah you get on and slowly uh the track sets off who would like to go next i vote tannis and bryant no no <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna have to go eventually. Eventually. Now the answer is the question is whether or not you guys want to spy on shit. But if not, Costum Iron Terran would like to go next. There you go. All right. Go for it. Costum Iron would never it. spy spy on Gibby. Costum Iron gets onto the Swan boat. Just in the far off distance, you hear liar. Uh, literally, like similar to Durza, um, Costum Iron just like lifts up Terran and puts her in the boat, like just like. Whoop, <laughs> like, and uh, Terrence like that's kind of unnecessary. And she goes, I don't think so. She kind of sits down on the boat. Oh, that is adorable. She took her over the threshold. They're getting married. You watch this customer just goes, Why the fuck are humans obsessed with birds? <laughs> they just start going. Who would like to go next? I suppose Kel and Breeze Rot, since the other two aren't volunteering. All right. You get on, and, and Breeze Rod gets on, and Breeze Rod immediately, like, he sticks his head over the side, and he goes, turns to you, goes, I really like water. Ooh, I do, too. <laughs> it is there. nice and refreshing. I love swimming. And ponds. I wish I had a house so I could have a pond. But big enough that I could fit in it? That makes it a pool, right? And it just <laughs> begins going. Fuck. <laughs> You could technically use your bathtub like that. It's not the same. Human it's bathtubs cool. aren't big enough to accommodate a black dragon. Ooh, we should go to a pool sometime. There's bound to be one in the city. We should. An anti-glamour one. Or one where you, you can be out of your glamour. That would be great. Yes. Hmm. Although I might uh, make it chilly for some people. Who would like to go next? Well... There aren't really a lot of options left. All right. Tannis, as you go to go in, Nefane and Amelia are like, my turn, my turn, and they just run past your legs. <laughs> and, <jump laughs> and Nate sets off. 
leaving you and Brian behind. In the next <laughs> <laughs> well, now there really aren't a lot of options left. I mean, I, I would say there's no options. That is true. So. You want the, the halfling attendants just looking at you guys like there's a line behind you and she's just looking at you guys like waiting for like her her drama to come to like its turning point so, of the plot staring at you guys. If I put my foot in, they're gonna think I'm the bitch. But if you put your foot in first, they know you're the bitch. So why don't we just so go ahead and put your foot in? For okay, first of all, that's <laughs> Why don't we just step in at the same time, all right? Because it's getting weird with the line. Okay. Okay. We're just gonna step in the boat at the same time. Are we gonna hold hands while we do it too? I swear to God, I will throw you in the fucking water. This was your idea, motherfucker. Yeah, but I'm trying to be sympathetic because you just fucking lost your mind. Do you really want me to turn it back on? <laughs> all right. All right. All right. Good, you're on, on 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 three. So one, okay. two, three, and then on the three you step. All right, here we go. Mm -hmm. All right, one, two, yep. three. Dexterity checks both of you. I was what? hoping you'd do that. Yes, I knew it. Yes. Why? Oh straight, yeah. Straight dexterity checks both of you. Not acrobatics, just dexterity. Because oh, you're trying to get together. Natural oh, one, Monty. <laughs> yes. Thank you. <laughs> Wait, you still just... got to roll. You still got to roll. Uh, still. Just why? Why would you? He's still gonna do it. Here I go. Eight. Oh, it's so good. So I, I just, I just wait for him to step in. <laughs> no, you guys went at the same time. Oh, okay. That All right, so we're going at the same upon. time. <laughs> okay. As you guys go at the same time, in your infinite wisdom, there's enough space for two legs at a time. So when two people try to get on at the same time and then try to go up the second time, you guys get congested. Bryant, you fall backwards and your butt kind of crams between the the step that you took to get on and the boat itself. So your ass just folds inwards into the water. Uh, <laughs> and you go with him and you fall face first. Uh, almost like a plank, like a gang plank from the boat to the side. You take no damage. <laughs> But there is a there's a, there's a laughter over the line behind you, and even the attendants like kind of trying to stifle a laugh. Tannis actually just starts busting out laughing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad that you are so entertained. <laughs> Brian, you That's cannot get out. You are you are stuck. Like your butt is like just stuck. Do this you need some point. help? <laughs> nope, I'm fine. I'm to mm -hmm. Totally fine. Fuck! I love D and D, man. I love D and D. Uh, Tannis will will step out briefly. Is there uh, is there a way we could get dried off? Uh, you're not wet, luckily. Uh, Brian. Oh. Your your ass is a little moist, but your jacket got a little bit like draping behind you is a bit wet, but it's nothing that a bit of air will help, but it is just very embarrassing. Am I able to pop my ass out? No, you need help. You're stuck. Natural one. I'll, I'll help him up. No, I, okay. I said I was fine. Roll, I said I was nope. roll, roll a strength check for just Fucking a get off. Here I go. I swear to God. If you... Let's try it. 12? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You grab him and you shh, you pop him out. You guys are both on the spawn. Yes. <laughs> this well, that is wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to go. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Brian, you take your jacket off. You put it in your lap, and the swans begin to move forward. Gibby. As you enter the tunnel, it is completely dark. This should work. <laughs> sure, this works. Oh, God, it's terrible. I love it. <laughs> oh, it's perfect. There you go. There you go. 
Uh, as you go in, immediately it's like pitch darkness and it's actually kind of scary. And you're wondering if you got on the wrong, like, it's actually secretly like a horror ride. Um, but as the curtains pull back, uh, you see just the most oppressive pink color you've ever seen in your entire life. Um, these bright sort of neon pink lights. Notably, um, there are petals on the water to add to the effect. Um, and there's these really obnoxious cardboard cutouts of like these cherubs just kind of bouncing up and down. It's like, this ride's probably a little old. Um, even by dragon standards, it's quite archaic. Um, there are sculptures of like, you know, these sort of like romantic looking gardens with roses everywhere. There's definitely a heavy flower motif. Um, and you watch, as you guys are like flowing through, you watch as Durza just kind of like looks around and is like, oh, geez, just kind of looking around like, <laughs> just like, oh, dear God. <laughs> this is, is a Hmm. Um, that's, that's a baby with wings. He just points <laughs> over to the cherubs and just float by. Yeah, just like, oh my God, this is. Wow, this is so far from her, man. Hey, hey, Kippy. Hey, Kippy. 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 Uh, you're in like six boats back. At Bright. No, you can't no, be saying Kippy. Anything. Kippy, this is, Kippy, this is your conscience. Touch the tusk. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh. Huh. Yeah. Um. I mean, the roses are nice. I like those. The flowers. Yeah. Pretty simple. Hmm. Uh, it was fun. Today's fun. I like today. Yeah. Good. Mm -hmm. I guess this was slightly different than what you were expecting. <laughs> you know, I thought Love Boat, I thought it would be like, you know, less scary. <laughs> just like, like another chair just floats down. And a little less creepy. What the fuck are those? <laughs> he just points <laughs> at the chair. Um, have, have you ever heard of Cupid? No. It, it's supposed to be like this a uh, god or something that like shoots little heart-shaped arrows and makes people the god fall of in love. Archery. And he just nods like he's completely <laughs> like encapsulated. I get it. Humans want the, you know, the children to be strong. You know, give them a bow and arrow. What could possibly go wrong? Uh, I saw and the I just go to sidle into his side and I'm like, yeah, yeah, let's go with that. I just Gotta can't stop it. I can't stop laughing. Just like he, oh brings, he brings his hand around you and just kind of like he kind of holds you close. It's, <sighs> it, it's it's definitely a novelty experience. <laughs> um, Costmire and Taryn, you guys don't know what's going on with them, um, unless you want to turn around and maybe look, uh, Gibby, or um, uh, yeah, like they. Just, I don't want Costmire to notice me looking. She'd take my head off. Fair enough. Yeah. But um, I, just, um, <laughs> I guess I'll just be like, thanks for um. Thanks for keeping Amelia and, uh, you know, uh, oh god, what is his kid's name? Nefine. I forgot to get that Thanks for ta keeping Amelia and Nefine okay. Yeah, yeah, kids are tough, you know, they're pretty good. Um, I just seemed like you guys had something important to talk about, and, you know, I'm, you know, I'm strong, I can carry myself, but I'm a little bit dense, you know, so. Yeah. She, she, she sort of hugs him a little closer, and she's she's still really she she's literally shaking a tiny bit. She's just like, if you if you ever see that guy again, don't just stay away from him, okay? Yeah. It's interesting though. He said he knew the Baron. Makes me wonder if the Baron knows him. Yeah. Um. It, if you could maybe find out about that. And let me know. Yeah, I'll look great for you. <laughs> kind of leans in. He kind of he actually like rests. Um, yeah, leans. He's holding back his weight, but he like kind of like rests his head over you. So like your your head is kind of in the crook of his neck. He just kind of sits with you. Um, <laughs> he watches like another cardboard foldout comes down. It's more chair. He goes, "Oh, for God's sake!" Meanwhile, yeah, it's a theme. Uh. The kids, notably Tannis, as you're sitting in the boat, you notice that Nefine and like uh, Amelia, every time there's any sort of motif of like people kissing, they go, Ooh! like they kind of boo it. <laughs> um, it's it's very funny. But you and you and Bryant are in the little boat. Hey, hey, Bryant. 
This is your subconscious speaking. Snog the butt off of him! The fuck is a snog? Hey, Tannis, this is your subconscious speaking. You are going crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, if only magic was allowed here, I'd use sending to mess with both of you. <laughs> you can. <laughs> it's, it's not allowed for the games. Cheating is not allowed, but I mean, if you want to... I will refrain for now. <laughs> Good like boy. Ways. Good boy. I'm glad you're learning to behave. <laughs> Emphasis on for now. Uh-huh. I never Coward. saw the appeal of these things. I think they're stupid. I also think they're... Not stupid, but... I just waste the time. Appeal. Yeah, I guess. Silly. Unnecessary. If the, point, if the point is privacy, you know, why are you even in a public place to begin with? Especially on a boat in the water with people behind you and in front of you that can hear you. Hey, yeah. Hey, check, check this out. What the kids say. <laughs> <laughs> I think you've raised your child correctly. I tried. Hey, Jay, hey, hang on, check this out. Wait, because it's a long tunnel. <clears throat> hey, Kostemeyer, quit making out on the boat! <laughs> you watch, it's like, you can see just slightly. Roll perception check. <laughs> <laughs> I hope she does what I think she's going to do. Oh, perception check? Yeah, yeah, perception How's a 10 do it for you? Okay, yeah, you'll see her with that. Uh, you watch as she... <laughs> You watch as she leans back and she just flips you the double bird. Yes! That's exactly what I wanted. Um, and as she does... Okay, thank God. She like almost slips out of the boat and then you just see Taryn's arm <laughs> grabbing her. She's like, oh, pull me in, pull me in! Okay. <laughs> she fell out. Good, Good catch! Dangerous. She's very slippery. These things are dangerous. I know, right? Not only are they stupid and a waste of time, they're also death traps. Especially for dragons, apparently. Hmm. Hey, speaking of dangerous shit that's gonna get us killed, you might want to talk to your brother. Yeah. At the very least, if you can find out when he started... Wait a second. Have you talked to him recently, like before today? Has he mentioned anything about a new job? How long ago was the dinner date with Jericho. Like a week ago. You guys got lunch, yeah. About a week ago. Did he mention he didn't anything? Know I, he didn't know I had this new job, but he... I guess he was acting a little bit strange about it when I told him that I was working with the Prince Division. And Well, I guess now I can see why. So he might not have put it together until that point, but you have no idea when he took the job. No. Well, do I? Did he? Did I? No. He just mentioned that he, he got a new job that pays pretty well. Um... He just mentioned that he got a job that paid pretty well. Well, if he got that job recently and it matches up with the timeline of when you were recruited into the Prince Division, you've got your answer. Sure, it could still be circumstantial, but it's a pretty good indicator. If not, then you're probably fine for now. And hopefully no. he doesn't mention it. He's not... He's foolish, but he's not stupid. I just... I don't know what would possess him to get into this line of work. He clearly knows. Didn't you do the exact same kind of line of work? Yeah, but I was guarding a singer on a fucking tower. And let me ask you a question. If a tower asked you to be its bodyguard, do you really think you would have said no? You know, the thing that eats princesses. Would you have said no? You said it yourself. He's smart. He's always been... I don't know. A bit of a loner. Hmm. Where do I know that from? Even compared to me. Oh, okay. I see. It must be a family trait. No, my sister's actually... Whew. My sister is very energetic. Wow! You like just kind of a semi-transparent like headshot of her, like <laughs> holding up pixie sticks and having a good time. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, 
uh, if you guys, you guys want to continue talking, sorry, I don't want to interrupt, but. I was, I was about to bring it to a close. I was... <clears throat> okay, go ahead, go ahead. Well, for what it's worth, I know I gave you a lot of shit today, but if you need any help with this, you let me know. I know it's a family matter, but you don't have to always do shit alone. I appreciate the offer. I feel like, I feel like I might need some help on this, if it well, comes to it. I got your back for what it's worth. And you got mine, and I got yours too. Yeah, that'll work. Just don't tell anybody I said that shit, because it's sappy and I hate sappy shit. <laughs> now you can cut away. <laughs> Breeze throughout this entire time has just like had his head over the side of the boat. Kill has two. <laughs> like you guys are both looking over and you're, you can, there's actually fish in here um there's like big koi fish that are kind of white and like there's no orange ones they're all like white koi fish or like golden koi fish or like the dark kind of black koi, koi fish just kind of swimming through the water oh Ooh. wow i didn't think they'd have fish in here yeah i figured that the mechanics would probably make it dangerous for them but they don't seem to care yeah live somewhere long enough you get used to it Yes, I wonder how they move them from place to place. Mm, I would assume magic, since everything here seems uh, fantastical. Yeah, that usually makes sense. Hey, um, Kel? Yes? Despite everything, thanks for making me go do this. This is fun. I'm happy that you accepted Brizrat. Mm. It's nice to have a friend again. I enjoy being your friend. If you ever need anything, I'm right across the hallway. So, as smiles and looks back over the side of the boat. Eventually, the ride comes to the end. The moment you guys leave, like, Gibby, you and Durza, like, Durza's like, 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 kind of stiffens up immediately, because, again, you're, like, in front of the eyes of the public, and the public just kind of, like, all gawking and staring. Um, I, I just am like, do you think a heart with heart-shaped eyes was too much? Yeah, it's like excessive. Hmm, yeah, creepy too. It's like that anyway. Mm. <laughs> Weird. You guys get off the boat. Uh, at this point, it's basically sundown. So I guess we just are, are we all waiting for the rest of them or all together again? Everybody gets off the boat. Easier to get off than to get on. Um, given that there's also not a line behind you as you guys all emerge off the boat. Amelia and Nefinir are like kind of giggling and laughing at their tomfoolery. <laughs> uh, you two girls have fun? Yeah, it was kind of boring though. Kind of gross, right? They both nod. Amelia doesn't really nod. She's like, just kind of nods, just kind of like peer pressure. <laughs> did all of you notice they had fish in there? Yeah, we did notice the fish. That place has its own ecosystem. But the decorations were gaudy, but the fish were really interesting. They were koi. Oh, yeah, well, there were fish, Terrence says. The customer's like, yeah, I almost made out with one. <laughs> Gross. Man, I just thought of an awful joke, and I'm not going to say it. <laughs> By the way, she turns towards you, Bryant. Fuck mm. you. What? Excuse you, language. You fucking ruined the moment, man. Fuck you. Language. Shut up. Cock ass titty fuck. She oh. stares at you just like blatantly. Oh, talk dirty to me. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> just cup in the ears. Costumeyer, <laughs> yeah. Costumeyer looks at you and goes, careful. That's it, I'm gonna let it go. I got my in. <laughs> This is getting a little weird. <laughs> oh. There are fireworks that continue into the night. You guys get ice cream, soft serve ice cream. Watch the fireworks. Midnight or late night Ferris wheel rides where you can see the... Sorry, I should probably get rid of this music. <laughs> <laughs> I realize. Um... <clears throat> You guys uh, 
go on the Ferris wheel at night, and again, it's it's way more romantic than the love boat. The love boat was very campy and a re little ridiculous, but the Ferris wheel is actually very very nice. Um, a little scary for you, Gibby, and also probably well left for Taryn because because Cosmar can fly, but for you, Gibby, a little freaky. Durs is a big guy, um, tiny, <laughs> tiny, tiny big guy uh, up above the air, really tall, kind of scary. Um, uh, it's an excuse to cling to him. Taryn does not look like she's afraid of heights in any capacity at all. Um, she seems very secure in that. I mean, she um, rolled a nat 20 on the roller coaster. <laughs> no, she rolled decently. She rolled an 18. Uh, she didn't roll a natural 20, but I mean, Taryn is, that's the one thing she's not really afraid of is heights. She's pretty fine with heights. Other things, not so much. Um, Brian and Tannis, did you guys want to go on the Ferris wheel together or with the kids or what would you like to do? I think at this point we should probably take the kids. Yeah, I'll probably I'll probably go with Nefane. Okay. You get on the Ferris wheel with Nefane and she's like she's she's like she still has that excitable energy, but you can tell like she is going to pass out in the car ride home. <laughs> <laughs> you can just already tell. Like she still has like some energy, but you can see her yawning every now and again, but she's still she's like, I don't wanna stop playing. I don't wanna I don't want this to stop. Yeah, but, yeah she keeps going. As you guys get onto the Ferris wheel. Um, she sits down and it kind of begins to rise up. <laughs> Dad, this was really fun. I'm glad you had a good time, sweetie. Did you have a good time too? Yeah. Yeah, I did have a good time. It's nice. Don't get very many vacations. This was a lot of fun. Can we do it again? I'm sure. She smiles and looks out. Dad, look, look, look. I think that's um, that's the aquarium right there. And then over there, that's the big uh, department store. Yeah, it sure looks like it. You got a pair of eyes on you like your old man. Yeah. <laughs> You're not that no. old. No. Nah. Only like a hundred. Yeah. Did you know that humans only live to be a hundred? I did know that. And dwarves can live long like us, too? I do that as well. We learned about it in science class. Science? He just sort of thinks to himself, it's like, what are they teaching those kids? <laughs> How long creatures cool. live? Yeah. That's like a biology thing, right? Yeah, anyway. she's in biology, you know that. She was uh, <laughs> a yeah, like dissected frogs and stuff. So. Yeah. Remember? Yeah. My mind immediately went to a dark spot and thought, this is how long you get to have your friends until you watch them die as you continue. Oh, Jesus oh, Christ! Oh. <laughs> but it's okay. It You'll be jaded. Living for a long time oh, my God. It must be really awkward for the humans to be like, okay, you guys live to be 100. The rest of you are going to live to be like, oh, God, like 5,000. Isn't it great? You're all going to die well, soon, though. Dragonborn or half dragon by Kale? It's okay. You'll be jaded long before that, though. <laughs> Dragonborn only lived to be about 80. Kel's got a what? shorter lifespan than all of you. Orcs only live to be about 60. Like they, they oh. But then again, the other thing to consider here is we're not in like a fantasy medieval setting. This is definitely modern day, so medicines do assist, so people do live a bit longer than average. Yeah, um, I mean, to be fair, in a regular setting, humans would usually only live to be like 50. Yeah, so take that as you will. Oops. Um... Yeah, as you, as you load in, like, Nefane is very giddy and she's just so happy. Like, she's so happy to be out and, like, hanging out with you and with her friend. It's like, this is, like, a, probably going to be, like, the best day ever for her, you think? Yeah. She seems very happy. Um, uh, Cal, you get in with Breeze Rot, and Breeze Rot's just, like, this is nice. Just, like, slowly rising up. The bumper cars were a bit too fast for me. You got me really good at the end there, though. Yeah. Sorry. I hit you pretty hard. Oh, no, it's fine. That's the entire point of it. It is a battle. I thought you were supposed to avoid other people. Oh, no, you're supposed to bump them. Why? He just starts tearing up. No. Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> this boy oh, is no. too precious. Why Protect must him. Cars... Why must the buffer cars fight? <laughs> <laughs> what is wrong with them? It is not so much fighting as they are making each other stronger. <laughs> anyway. Wow, way to go, Kel. Bryant and Amelia. 
Woohoo! How is she doing? She seems like tired, similar similar to Nefane, but uh, probably a bit more tired. Mm -hmm. um, notably, she's kind of like leaning on the railing and like looking out. Um, she kind of turns and goes, "Is your jacket dry?" Uh, it's it's getting there. Mm. I heard you fell in. No, I didn't, I didn't fall in. I didn't even no. In fact, he's got a little. You know, it's a long coat. You know how it is. Chance to give you a smile. Mm -hmm. Um, I have a cell phone now. I know. I'm really excited for you. Jersip it's a lot. Go ahead. Joseph says if um if I'm ever scared, I can I can call you. Yeah, I mean that that's why you have a cell phone. It, it's easier to get in contact with people. She nods. And that way, if you ever need me, if you ever end up stranded or something like that, I can swing by and pick you up and get you back to Durzu. Okay. He's a good guy, I think. He's too, sorry, that was me laughing, not her. <laughs> <laughs> I wish he could have spent some time with me, too. He's, well, you know about him and Gibby. She nods. And just think, okay. you're going to go home with him, so you'll be able to talk with him there, and then when you wake up, he'll be there. He's I mean, he's always around. Mm. I don't know how you do it. I commend you. What do you mean? <laughs> I couldn't do it. She kind of cocks her head. Do what? <laughs> live with Durzum? Well, we don't really live together. He just lives near me. But he Does says hello to me sometimes. And... Well, that's good at least. He does more than a lot of the other orcs do. But now that Yagnar's back, she kind of smiles. Maybe I'll be able to do more things again. That's right, because he, he typically takes you everywhere, right? Mm. He's scared to see Tannis, though. He... I think he's really ashamed of himself. Yeah, I... It's a difficult situation. Um, he can barely sometime... look me in the eyes, too. Well, I think he knows what he did was wrong, and he doesn't really know how to make up for it. Saying you're sorry sometimes isn't enough for some people. Watch as she kind of reaches over and, like, begins to rub that, that brace, like, that band on her arm, just kind of, like, shifting it. Trying to move it, but it does not move. Mm -hmm. um, she kind of grips onto it. They said because he's low-ranking, he had to do it. Had to get Nefane in trouble. I have to do that to Tannis. Yeah, they didn't, uh, they didn't really give him a choice. If he said no, it probably would have been worse for him. She kind of grips tighter on the on the bangle on her arm. It, it's a, it's tough, kid. It's uh, grown-up stuff isn't always as cut and dry as it is when you're a kid. I thought grown-ups knew everything. Grown-ups don't know anything. They've just done a lot more stupid stuff and can learn from it, that's all. Um. Thank you, Brian. For what? Being my friend, too. I mean, everybody needs a friend. Especially when you're unique. It's nice to know someone else who's like me. Makes it a bit easier. Yeah, and tell me about it. I'm a bit sad for you, though. Why is that? Because you can't talk to them. They can only really talk to you. I mean, considering the way I was brought up, it's probably better that way. Mm. A lot of them I, like you, though. I don't know why. I've spent my entire life trying to avoid them. I think maybe it's just because you're a nice person. You try and do the right thing? Yeah. I try, not being the key word. It doesn't always work. Sometimes it's enough to put them at rest, put them at peace. I mean, I assume that's what they all want. They just want to move on. Mm hmm. Sometimes they want to make the world better than how they leave it. It can be hard to let go. Yeah, but. You only get so much time, and then it's time to go. That's why you gotta make the most of it while you're here. 
Have you talked to Julia? <laughs> she will see Brian's head kind of turn away a little bit and sag. Why don't no. you like her? I tried to explain this to her. I guess she didn't really tell you, but it's not her specifically. It's just things like her. All of it. But she's good. I know. She's... It's it's not her. It's not rational. It's just... Sorry, I shouldn't be taking this out on you. It's okay. I never wanted this, and I never exactly had anybody to talk to about it, so I think it just messed me up, which is one of the reasons I don't want it to happen to you. But I have people I can talk to, even if they're not like me. Yeah, but do they know what goes on around you? Yeah, they are what goes around around me. Yeah, well, but maybe that would have helped. I didn't have that luxury. You could have it now. I can't hear them Why anymore. Why not? There are other ways. What am I supposed to do? Get a Luigi board? To leave it in my mm -hmm. house? You could get a... She does like a writing motion. The whiteboard. Can they use those? Mm -hmm. They can move objects, small objects usually. Sometimes big ones if they're stressed enough. If they're mad enough to. You see her kind of look down towards the ground. Hey, 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 why the long face? Well, it's just sometimes they can be scary. Yeah, tell me about it. There's this one lady that apparently only I can see that we sometimes go to her shop and she's terrifying. Really? Yeah. Oh, I've seen it's... some scary ones. Yeah, well, this one is like the scariest really yeah not even a bad person just scary looking like i already don't like the things to begin with but like ugh. i think the scariest one i saw was a person who was like in a horse in a horse yeah like their body was where you ride a horse but uh -huh. it was like she kind of makes like a like a flopping motion to the side and they were just dragging on the ground, and they had hollow eyes. And you see her kind of shudder. It was on the road. It was pretty scary. Yeah, that actually might top it. This one has, like, a flame body and, like, really sharp teeth and weird yeah, that's fingers. That's scary, though, too. That's scary, and, too. Yeah. It's, it was weird. It was really weird. Every time I go in that shop, I just try to close my eyes. Mm. She kind of looks sad for you. She kind of pats your hand and goes, it'll be okay. <laughs> of all of the people to be scared of this crap it has to be the one that sees it all right mm. I mean imagine how much more scarier it would be if you couldn't see them <sighs> ignorance is bliss okay. I wouldn't know about them mm. it must be painful to be ignored And the Ferris wheel comes to a close. You guys all get off, unless anybody else wanted to continue the conversation at all. Uh, Once, going twice, sold. Man. All right, you guys get off the Ferris wheel. Um, at this point, the park is beginning to close for the night. You guys, oh, we gotta get them out of here, right? <laughs> yeah, you guys leave through the front entrance. Um, and make your way out, and the people, the, the people are just like, thank you so much for coming, thank you, thank you, have a good night, everybody, don't forget to blah, 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 like, they're just kind of, you know, doing their whole shebang there, starting to close up, like, the, the food stalls and whatnot, and emptying out the fryers and things like that, uh, as you make your way out, uh, Kostemeyer and, uh, Taryn kind of stop, and they're like, Taryn kind of goes, that was really fun, guys, this is such a good day. Well, thanks for reminding us of it. Yeah, yeah, I thought it'd be really fun for everybody, and it'd be nice to, you know, see you guys in a way that's not work-related. Um, Gibby, you should come over sometime. Um, yeah, absolutely. I mm -hmm. give her a hug, just like, ah, oh, it's really good to see you again. 
It's really good to see you, too. Cosmo, you know, and goes, Later, bitches. And just kind of leaves. Like, ah, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna, ah, I'm gonna hug her, too. Like, mm. for fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Cosmo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love you, too. She kind of just grabs her head and pushes you away. She Wait, did she, did she say the L word? Yeah, but it's for me, not for you. Oh. Sarcasm, look it up. Uh -huh. No, I've heard. <laughs> Goodbye, right. Kostmeyer. Good night, Bryant. Uh -huh. I hope you both have a wonderful night. We will. Good night, ladies. They nod. And she kind of stops, stops and looks at Durza and just gives Durza like this nod, like just kind of slow nod of acknowledgement. And Durza's like, oh, I guess they're like this really eager wave. She's like, okay, off put by him. He's, he's, she's more jovial than she probably expected. Um, as she takes Taryn's hand and you watch as she actually drops her glamour, turns into a green dragon. Notably, she is larger. Um, she's grown in size. Not by like a massive margin, but she is definitely grown in size. She about the size of Azamark now? He's, yeah, it's probably slightly smaller uh, than Azamark. I mean, Azamark was a pretty big dragon. Um, but yeah, she's, she's getting up there. Um, you watch as Taryn actually just like kind of scrambles onto her back and holds on, and they both take off into the air. Uh, at this point, uh, Tannis, uh, Nefine is just like asleep on your shoulders. You can kind of piggyback, yeah. her and she's just like, like just ruling completely. Even Amelia is like kind of holding Durs of hand and is just yawning and rubbing her eyes at this point. Yeah, I'll just I'll just have sleepy Nefene as a backpack. Mm -hmm. uh, Durza hands off the uh, the prizes that you won, the little cat, and gives that back to you because he had it in his car. Uh, yeah. He kind of turns and goes, uh, "Hey, Gibby." Yeah. Do you want to? Uh, I. Uh, uh, do you want to come to my place tonight? Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I can do that. Um, let me, um, I think I just, um, dump this at home real quick and, uh, come over. Oh, I could drop you off in the morning. Oh, um, yeah, yeah, that'd be fine. Cool. All right. And he kind of opens up the, the side. <laughs> Before you leave, there's a... He freezes immediately in place, like, without moving, like, cronk from the Empress. You're like, uh, like, stop. <laughs> oh, so I'll, towards you. I'll have put... Nefene in my car and buckled her up before I went to go do this. I just wanted to say thank you for looking after Nefene today. It's the least I could do, you know. Hmm. I know you're not a bad person. I don't hate you. I hate what you do. And I hate what you represent. I hate your organization, but I don't hate you. And to some degree, I understand it as well. I just want you to know that. Kind of gives you a nod, just like, hmm. As you may be well aware now, I'm a man who takes my family very seriously. He kind of looks over and you see now as uh, Amelia in the back seat of his car is like kind of like hugging the big giant teddy bear and is just kind of like yawning. <laughs> he kind of turns back and he goes, it may not seem like it, but I am too. So I understand. Doesn't mean what I did was right though. And I agree with you. No, it doesn't. <laughs> Can I ask you for a favor? That depends. I sort of untuck my hands from my jacket and I slowly cross them over my chest. Yeah, no, the copper ring. What about him? He's an idiot. I know that. And I know that you're probably more pissed at him than you are at me. Probably not as much as the Baron himself, though. Not that it's supposed to make you feel better or nothing, but he really, 
really put up a fight for you. More than some would do for their Orkin brothers, so for what it's worth. He likes you. He was almost ready to die for you. I'll keep that in mind next time I talk to him. For Amelia's sake, think about it. I'll also keep it in mind next time I interact with your boss. I'll turn around and leave. He kind of raises up a finger, goes to say something, and is like, no, nah, I'm not going to say anything, and turns back to the car. I gave him a pat on the arm, just like, you did good. I don't blame him. You know, the boss is prickly, but I don't blame him. Uh, shall we? Order. Yeah, let's do it. Um, he kind of, kind of points towards the back. Might want to kind of puts a finger over his mouth. Keep it down, though. Right. <laughs> kind, of, kind of goes. He actually opens up the back seat of the car. And he, he actually goes into the trunk. Sorry, he pulls out a blanket. He kind of goes into the back seat and just covers Amelia with the blanket. As she's just already like she's gone. She's had a wild day. It's been like almost like you know eight plus hours of just nonstop carnival fun. Um, as you guys get into the seat. Uh, the rest of you guys um, get into the cars, respectively, and make your way home. Uh, Nefane, you just put down into the bed. She's just so tired. She's not meditating <laughs> tonight. She is sleeping tonight. Um, conked out. She is so conked out. She's gone. Um, you actually even have to, like, you know, put on her pajamas because she's just, like, uh, like totally, <laughs> like, exhausted. Bryant, you head home to your apartment where uh, Kobe meets you, kind of like, rrr, rrr, rrr. you're a little late yeah. for time, and he's like scraping up against the side of his little, little sort of like cutout area of the apartment. All right, all right, I'll feed you. Rrr, Come on. Rrr, rrr. He's like, open, oh, he's opening his mouth like a baby bird, like, ah, baby. I get it, yes, ah, 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 I'm hungry. <laughs> I get it, man. Come on. I'm going to go get like some of the rats that are frozen. Yeah, you grab one of the rats, you start thawing it out, and <laughs> eventually you feed him. He eats it in one go. He, he's very voracious now, especially now that he can see. He seems a little bit more, like, perky. And uh, <laughs> he definitely, you can tell now, like, is more engaged to play. Like, you can see, like, you get him, like, these little, like, dog toy, like, you know, footballs or whatever, and he's already mm. torn, like, a couple of them already just because he'll grab them and he'll start death rolling them for fun. Like, <laughs> well, like they're, not really, they're not really built yeah. for a basilisk. More like, more like an iguana, like an iguana, because he's a land-based animal. But yeah, same same deal. He like absolutely will death roll the crap out of anything. Jeez, you know, death for roll fun. for fun. Yep. Uh, Kel, uh, as you walk back with Breeze Rot, you guys are walking up the hallways of the same apartment, which is convenient. Breeze Rot goes, "Hey, do you want to do a baking thing on the weekend?" Ooh, sure. What did you have in mind? I have this cranberry scone recipe that I just really want to try. What is a scone? You eat it with tea. It's like the, um, I think the elves invented it. Mmm. I see. Mm. Yes. Right, that sounds like fun. Mm. Okay. We'll do it on the weekend. Yes? C certainly. That will work out nicely. Thanks for the good day, Cal. This was really nice. I agree. Thank you very much for coming with me, Breeze Rot. Mm. Okay. Good night. He kind of was. The moment he opens the door, you hear meow, 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 meow. All these cats. He's like, hi. <laughs> Just like slowly goes inside. <laughs> All right. Gibby. Uh, yep. You drive back with Durzib to the stronghold. Probably get rid of the carnival music now at this point. Uh... You guys drive back. It's really neat seeing like the city lights kind of streak past you. Um, it does start to rain a little bit uh, in the middle of the night as you eventually make your way to the, the familiar fountain. By the way, at nighttime, the stronghold is just lit up. It's like got a ton of people around it. There are carvelets and all sorts of other things going on. People in really nice dresses going in and out. While it is the home of the Orc Mafia, it is still a business and it is a very successful business. Um, as jurors have kind of like takes you guys around into the uh, parking garage or the parkade as it is known in La Canada. Um, you guys go into the underground parking and he parks the car and kind of leans back and looks at Amelia in the back seat and she's just gone. She's just like, 
passed out, drooling a little bit, hairs all tossed, uh, hugging onto that teddy bear. And he goes, do you think you could carry her? I think if we can try and situate it without waking her up and then you could take the bear. Yeah, I gotta let go of bear. it. <laughs> I gotta take the bear. That's a big bear. <laughs> You know, when that he steps out of the car and opens and when the door is open you can see like amelia kind of rouses from the sleep and is kind of like very again totally clonked out too um you open up the door and just go ahead for me and just roll a general athletics check with advantage oh god <laughs> oh with advantage okay that'll yeah, help me yeah let me give you advantage uh nine. Oh, 12, 12 i guess yeah 12 she's heavy and she's she's you know she's an older girl so you just kind of like shoulder her a little bit and like kind of carry her over and she's just like hands draped behind your back and she's just like like just gently snoring as durza just the exact same way grabs the big teddy bear and throws that over his shoulder and like how like, big are we talking i remember that ep episode of the office the valentine's day episode where phyllis got like this bear that literally was like twice her size three times her size and she walks so out with it like on her back like she could barely walk the pro with the limbs, if you have to outstretch the limbs, like it's probably the same height, if not slightly taller than Durzub, so it's quite big. <laughs> yeah, exactly. that was um, what I was picturing. <laughs> but it's not heavy; it's just extremely awkward and floppy and terrible for that reason. Um, so you know, as as you do, I'm trying to find. Uh, yeah, this works, I guess. Um, you begin to walk towards uh, the elevator that you're very familiar with. Um, notably, as you walk into the elevator, uh, there is a radio that's just duct taped to the wall uh, that's plugged into the outlet, uh, just sitting there. Uh, as you guys both load into the elevator, uh, you uh, slowly bend, make your way up, and you look out and you can see just the entire glittering cityscape. And it's made almost brighter by the rain on the outside of the glass elevator. <sighs> Ain't that a sight, huh? Yeah. You get to see it every day. Yeah, it doesn't get old, though. I don't know if it will for me, even if I'm here as long as you've been. <laughs> it's a million miles from where I thought I'd be. Yeah? Well, like I said, that place, that town I came from, you don't really rise to such heights, if I can be silly and poetic about it. You kind of make. Never... Sorry. Oh, okay. No, go ahead. Go ahead. You. you kind of make do with the middle ground, and everyone's happy with that. You come here, and you sort of have to be willing to stretch your wings a bit more. Mm. I'd love to see it. Yeah. I mean, where you came from, your hometown. I've never been <laughs> out by the city before, if you can imagine. Oh, my goodness. I would love to introduce you to my family and see their stupid expressions. Not a fan Not of normal. Wolf, I take it. <laughs> no, I think they'd just be surprised. And mm. frankly, I would love to see that for once. <laughs> <sighs> Man. You're lucky, you know. You watch yeah. this, ding, the doors slide open. He steps out with the, 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 he just drags the teddy bear out at this point. He's just got into chokehold and he's just dragging it across the floor. Yeah, I never knew my parents. It's kind of an orc thing, though. It's pretty common. Would you have wanted to? Nah, not really, honestly. <laughs> the Baron's basically like my dad. Makes it a bit awkward when Tannis doesn't like him so much, but I, I get it, you know. Mama yes. Rukiki was, you know, was my mama, <laughs> basically. She taught me how to dress myself, not be a slob. You're welcome. Kind of points <laughs> towards you. <laughs> I guess I... I don't exactly regret my, having my parents be who they are, but I do suppose I'd wish I'd had other people like you did as sort of parental figures, too. Well, you do now. You seem to be pretty close with your coworkers. More close than the average person. Well... They're not exactly parental figures, but yeah. a dad, though, he is a dad. <laughs> but not my dad. He's a pretty good dad, though. He has enough trouble keeping track of an F and A. You watch as now as like you can feel movement on your back as uh as Amelia kind of just stirs a little bit. You guys make your way down the hallway. Um 
immediately as you guys kind of turn the corner, you are met with just a wall of a human being. Um, well, not a human being, but the wall a wall of an orc uh, that is the Baron currently walking down the hallway. This is the top floor. Oh. Uh, and you watch as he kind of stops and acknowledges and Durzab's like, uh, it, boss! And kind of gives him a smile. And he goes, Durzab, what on earth? <laughs> just looking at the giant teddy bear. He's like, you're not going to believe this, but your kid won this at the fair today. He kind of turns over and he sees you and stares at you. This time, a little kinder in the face. Um, he's still, you know, the Baron. He's still pretty scary looking. Um, notably, he is like, looks like he's probably going to bed or he's going somewhere. Maybe I kind of just uh, readjust my hold on Emil and just nod to him like, Baron Jamar. It was, um, he kind of thinks for a minute. Lauren Gibby, if I'm yes. not mistaken. Yes, mm. sir. Kind of gives a side glance to Zerzib and Durzib's like, <clears throat> kind of gives him a smile and he goes, old habits die hard, it seems. He kind of walks over, do you mind? He kind of reaches out his hands to you. Uh, oh, Gibby. yes. Okay. I Are very gingerly transfer her to him. Yeah, it's pretty easy for him. He's, he's a bigger guy. Uh, he just kind of takes her and kind of just like shoulders her and she just like kind of, she's totally out. Like she's gone. Uh, he kind of just pats her back and goes, Take it, you're done for the night. And Durzab kind of nods and goes, yeah, yeah, we, we, well, um, Gibby's going to be staying. And Durzab just kind of, uh, D Baron Jamar, for the first time, kind of gives a little smirk towards <laughs> Durzab and towards you a little bit as well. It's not like a mean thing, but it's just like a, oh, young people, like, oh, the kids. <laughs> and he goes, stay out of trouble. He kind of gives you a nod, officer. Thank you, Baron. You watch as he grabs the daddy bear from Durzib too and just drags it behind him while also carrying Amelia on the other shoulder without any effort. He... <laughs> That's so cute. I wish I had a picture. Yeah, it's pretty cute. You watch as he like walks over and you know that the room that is Amelia's room based off of your investigation here last time kind of cracks open the door and walks inside with her, leans in through the door frame. Even despite this being his building, he still has, you know, he needs double doors, that man. <sighs> well... <laughs> Um, uh, shall we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You haven't seen my room. Okay, you gotta come see my room. He's <laughs> kind of like getting out. <laughs> okay. Kind of scampers forward. If he has and... a fucking race car bed, I swear to God. <laughs> <laughs> if he has a race car bed, you send us pictures. Oh my God, he's at, I get to see his record collection. I can't wait to see how expansive this thing is. So uh, he opens up the door. First of all, this is a huge room. Um, it is a proper apartment. Um, notably, there is no kitchen in this space. Um, it is like kind of an open-esque kind of floor plan. There is a bathroom tucked into the corner. Um, that's clearly a different room. Um, and the room itself is a large, almost like red carpeted room. Um, there is like some additional carpets, you know, put on top for decoration. Um, but from like wall to wall are just like records on display. Like the, you know, like the original, um, sleeves for records kind of all hanging out throughout the wall. Um, there is a bunch of workout equipment. Uh, specifically, there's a lot of like punching bags um, that look very, very well made. Um, you know, pull up bars, weights that are really, really heavy. Um, and notably, there is a massive wardrobe uh, that is open and inside is the identical suit, like over and over. <laughs> you have probably about 10 identical suits. There are a couple there that look like scorched, like burnt, and another one that looks like it's just been like slashed or shredded or melted or something. Um, the bed itself is massive. It's about the same bed size as Amelia's bed, which seems to be kind of standard for this building. Um, it's kind of got like a... Um, checker kind of like black and white sort of motif pattern um and it is it has a frame to it it also has a it has what do you call that not the canopy what is it like the thing with like the thing on uh, top? It, it is a canopy i think technically is it a canopy it's like a canopy but it's like got no nothing on it so just like the post kind of just come up and then it's got like a thing on the top but there's no real embellishment it just probably has just been adjusted from the original design um and it's actually surprisingly clean you'd expect a man like this would have a very dirty room but no it's actually quite clean um and it looks Not like a man that's well kept yeah and and like yeah he keeps himself pretty well and you probably get the sense that mamaruki he would beat his ass if he didn't keep <laughs> <it going. laughs> um and he kind of walks in it's a nice room it smells really good in here too 
Um, you notice there's like a humidifier in the corner, um, and he kind of walks over and he so he turns off the humidifier and walks over to one of the windows and just kind of you know checks it and makes sure that it's not open. And he kind of goes, "Well, what do you think?" How in the world did you stand being in my apartment for more than a day? That's ah, fine. I mean, I've lived in you know this is nice, but I'm a, I'm I'm mm, what's the word adjustable? <laughs> Jesus. I go and look out that window at this view. It's like, wow. Yeah, you can see, uh, that's a central ward right there. And you can see, you see right there? You see, like, moving lights. That there is the Sky Train that's going through. Looks like it's heading to the Fey Ward. Wow. I mean, yeah, color me impressed. <laughs> but I thought you said Mama Regigi taught you fashion. The Baron sets the dress code, though, <laughs> to be fair. Uh, he kind of looks down at his own outfit. This is, um, my, uh, my brother's kind of helped me pick this one out, so. Yeah? Got a, got a couple who got some really good sense for it, but, yeah, he kind of, kind of shoulders off the jacket and hangs it up on the post. <sighs> Does he have a couch or anything? Uh, there is a, there is, like, a couch in this room, yeah. There's a couch, and then there's the bed, um, and then there's, okay. like, a big wardrobe in the bathroom. The bathroom is massive. Like, the bathroom is, like, it's got a huge, like, um, it almost looks like three showers put in one. Um, it's just a huge amount of floor space. It's really tall too, obviously. Uh, and then the bathtub is not a bathtub. It's like a jacuzzi. Like it's like a hot tub, um, size bathtub. Like it's, it's a, it's a nice, nice room. <laughs> it's like a really like, you know, $1 million rented apartment in like a big city style sort of room. Hey, I'll go sit on the couch and sort of just be like, so what do we do? Watch a movie. Well, uh, eyeing him, eyeing him quite particularly, but how about I teach you more about orc courtship? You know, just so we're on the same page. Kind of smiles at you. I think you'll have to sit next to me at least for that, then. Not that you would think. Um, stand up. Come on. Kind of hold out a hand <laughs> okay. to you. Okay. okay. I take his hand. You watch as he, like, waddles on over to the corner of the room, and he pulls something out. You hear, like, a bunch of moving. You hear him kind of grunting. He's like, okay. You watch as he walks over with a record player, and he, like, places it uh, on a table. He kind of just adjusts it and kind of licks his thumb and just kind of goes, and you can hear him tinkering with it a bit. Okay. So usually, okay, you know, in orc courtships, if you were a female orc, we would fight each other right now. <laughs> like... Like physically, like fists, blood, the whole nine yards. It kind of, you know, gets things going. <laughs> it kind of looks a little embarrassed <laughs> by that. Uh, I mean, I'd normally be worried, but to be fair, I, I do a little fizzle of electricity through my fingers. I do pack a punch. Yeah, I don't want to die, and I don't want you to <laughs> die either. So I found a solution, and you watch as he kind of flips a record in his hand and kind of places it on and kind of readjusts it. And it's kind of this, like, jaunty kind of swingy tune. He kind of holds out a hand. Eh? All right, I'll give it a go. Okay, do I have to roll? roll? I was gonna yeah. say, what do I roll for this? For dancing? Performance check. Yeah, performance check for dancing. Goodness. All right. Eh, nine. Nine. It's you know, it's you're like oh, I don't know. I've never danced to this before, and it's a very pretty fast tune. Um, he's also not a great dancer because he also rolled like a ten. Um, but he does like spin you around and kind of like lifts you up at times and kind of dips you. He's trying his best. Um, it is very nice and the music is quite nice as well. I'd like to imagine it's it's both awkward but awkwardly fun because it's two people who don't know what they're doing, but they're having yeah, a good time. It's, it's it's like you guys are like laughing at like, you know, you're stepping on each other's feet and it becomes like less of like, oh, we're gonna dance good and I'm gonna try and step on your feet, like that sort of thing. Um give me one more performance check for me. All right. Okay, much better. Eight. <laughs> Even worse. <laughs> you're you're trying to still figure out. And at this point, Dursip's kind of hit his stride. Um, at this point, he's totally taking the lead. Like, you're almost being just kind of, like, moved around at this point. But it is fun, and he seems to be having a really good time. Um, and as the night progresses, eventually, um, you feel, like, his lips on your neck. And, like, he just kind of changes suddenly. And he just picks you up, puts you on the bed, and you do have a very pleasant night together. Whoa. <laughs> I need two rolls for me. I want you to roll a charisma check. Oh goodness. Okay. Oh god. Don't, whatever. Don't don't panic it. If you okay. say constitution, I, I will die. 
I mean, actually, that's my second best stat. <laughs> okay. Okay. Thirteen. And now I need a Constitution save. <laughs> oh my god! It's like oh that, yes. It's like that scene in Dragon Age. Are really you ready, tusk. kids? It's a really big tusk guy. Aye aye, Captain. <laughs> Eleven. Okay. Uh, so. You're both having a great time. A lot of communication between the two of you. Both of you have a very nice time. Durs is a bit... Well, Dursup is kind of like a goofy idiot. Um, <laughs> when it comes down to it, he scares you a bit. Um, but, you know, he's comforting and he takes care of you. And you two spend a very nice night with each other. And as the lights dim down low and the dawn takes all of you, that is where we're going to end the session for tonight. Something hey. tells me, I'll tell you what. Hey! Hey! Here, 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 here. Oh, here. All right. I get it. Oh, yeah. Bye, Goodbye, Austin. Austin. Goodbye, Austin. Oh, it's Austin. so good. This it's was a fun episode for so me. Good. I was really yeah. looking forward to that one. <laughs> Carnival fun intrigue. The Tower. The Tower of Terror. Oh my god. What the hell? This episode had everything. Episode 25. Sure is. 26. 26. 26. Oh yeah, it is 26. My thing is coming up weird. There we go, 26. Oh, ah shit. Uh-oh. Ah, beans. Well, I guess it's untitled for the, the moment being. Episode 26. Somebody's typing out the oh. shit. Wow. Go. Okay. Wow. We got to go around the horn. That was a lot of information. That was intense. Yeah. You can see that was, an, was, so that, was an, that was that was literally an emotional roller coaster. That we went fucking everywhere. <laughs> that was pretty good. Oh man. Hold on. I can't believe I cursed you with a nat one. That I can't was funny. <laughs> God, I fucking... that is so perfect. I can't believe you lost the bumper cars. I was rooting for you, Kel, man. Yeah, fuck off, Arkov. That's what you get for being a shithead. I was expecting it. After yeah, that natural one, you? I was thinking I'm sorry. bumper cars. Sorry. I just looked at the Twitch chat and someone said Durzum and Gibby held hands all night and I'm just like shaking my head like that is way what too is that? What is that stupid <laughs> thing? <laughs> it's, like that, it's like that High M Daisy comic. Man, what, what a it? passionate night of pants on hugging that was. What, what is it they say in it? <laughs> say in persona whenever you like it basically bones your particular social contact they're like you spent the entire night together collecting stamps and that's <laughs> it that's all nothing you did nothing else happened it's nothing like, else nondescript night together uh, 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 someone's got a pretty good title suggestion emotional roller coaster that Ew. yeah that's literally what it was I also saw one that says motion sickness Like emotional roller coaster because it kind of I, I'm it. down with emotional oh. roller coaster. Yeah. Chat is killing me right now. Let's go, let's go around the horn real quick, Sarah. Where can they find you? <laughs> In Durzup's bed. Yeah, oh! bed! Oh. Um yeah. <laughs> see I uh, I oh I forgot to do something with his ears. Oh, I missed that opportunity. <laughs> well, it let's made it. Let's not get too carried away. Let's not get too carried away. No, I know. It's like, hey, dancing's fine. Ears crossing the line. Tusks. We'll think about it. Whoa. Oh, there, was, there was a lot Whoa. of touching. There Whoa. was a lot. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. I will say that much. Uh, oh, sorry, I was You uh, touched his like, tusks a lot. I'm a Twitter at uh, um at Sarah with an H and with an E Willia. Yes. Is Gippy dead? <laughs> <laughs> that was what the con save was for. You passed your con save. You're fine. What are you legitimately doing? <laughs> yeah, you had to roll. No. You had to roll for circumference. No. Connor, you, Connor, do you want to do you want to explain what happens if you fail that check? Yeah, I, I can't believe I can't believe Gibby would have been transported to the afterlife and she would have seen panic <laughs> motherfucking grim tongue with a halo over his head. He would have turned to you and said, first time." <laughs> <laughs> No, you would have you would have probably death, been moving at half speed for the rest of the day. Death by snoo snoo. Death no, by you, snoo snoo. You would have you would have just Please. had half your movement speed what, for the next. What's that day line? So. What's that line? Body is willing, but the flesh is it's a Weak flesh and is spongy. <laughs> yeah, spongy. That's what it was. <laughs> Arco, where can they find you? 
<laughs> you can find me on twitch.tv forward slash Edward Bosco. Where on Fridays we do Friday Night Flashbang. Check out last night's VOD in particular. It was an amazing show. The pinnacle Ow. of editing and storytelling on Twitch. Shut up. <laughs> you can fucking, Monty, where can they find you? Hi, you can find me at Monty Glue on, on, on Twitter. You can find me at twitch.tv forward slash Monty Glue. Uh, tomorrow should be Final Fantasy Nine. Woo! Woo! I have hiccups. Hold on. No, oh, no, it was a burp. Never mind. I thought it was a hiccup. Um, you can also find me at uh, also streaming on Thursdays. We're playing Ocarina of Time. It's been a good. It's been a, a lovely time. Um, I ran into like some glitches and stuff too. I'm 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 having a good time of it right now. Oh yeah. Um, we're playing through the entire series, so we're starting with well, not the entire series, but like the 3D games at least. Uh, we're doing starting with Ocarina. We're going to do Majora's Mask. Wind Waker, and then um, Twilight Princess, Skyward Sword, and then Breath of the Wild, probably. So <laughs> Why did you say it like that? You sounded so resentful. Skyward Sword. <laughs> Skyward Sword is it's not bad. Skyward Sword's bad, all is it? motion controls. It's, it's, it's rough. It's definitely... It's not that bad. I it's not it. that I bad, but it's not I that liked good it. either. I thought it, parts of it are fine, but other parts of it are just, like, awful. B anyway. But Bagruz is in it. <laughs> Hey, Groose saves the game. Like, Groose is the, the entire reason why I suck with that game, because he's the best character. That's probably the best character development in any Zelda game I've ever seen in my entire life. Link Link has not learned anything. Groose had an emotional journey, and I care about that. Anyway, that's all for me. Connor, where can they find you? Uh, well, they can find me on Twitter, Twitch, and YouTube.com slash Distortion Devil, where I stream Tuesdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. Tuesday is Warhammer 40k Kill Team Night, although we might be graduating to uh, regular 500-point ninth edition uh, when that comes out for Warhammer. Or, uh, alternatively, we might actually be uh, learning me how to play Age of Sigmar because there's new vampire sets out, and I'm like, ooh, my Von Karsteins. Uh, so, yeah. The tabletop Simulator Night is what I'll just be calling it for lack of a better name. Uh, Friday is Friday Funhouse. I play a lot of fun games with my friends. Just do whatever I feel like. Saturday, play through uh, the entire Yakuza series. Right now I'm on Yakuza Kiwami 2 for the time being. And that happens shortly before either Gateway or Prince Division, whichever is which. Uh, and Sunday I play with, uh, I play games with the Harbingers, the community over at Dead House Sonata's Discord. And speaking of which, if you haven't heard of Dead House Sonata, all of the information you could ever want about the game is right here at the link I just posted in the chat. But if you want a brief rundown, it is a spiritual successor to the legacy of Kane. Dead House Sonata is a narrative-driven action RPG where you play as the undead to fight the living. You are an unstoppable force from Dead House, a monster among men dealing death and destruction on a massive scale. Uh... If that at all intrigues you, then you can click that link and purchase yourself a Founders Pack to get early access to the game before it comes out in the fourth quarter of this year. And you can affect the storyline with your actions in the first age. Ooh, it'll be interesting. Also, be sure to check out my DMs Guild, where I have some subclasses coming out. Uh, February, real soon here, uh, I'm going to have the Passion Domain Cleric that focuses on buffs, debuffs, uh, and also improving skill checks and giving you extra bonuses when you succeed in skill checks as well. It's a lot of fun. Hope you'll enjoy it. Uh, but that's all for me. What about our sponsor, though? Uh, well, our, sp our sponsor, uh, of course, as always, is the absolutely wonderful Die Hard Dice. Uh, Die Hard Dice uh, has a lot of great polymer metal dice, all made with non-toxic materials. Uh, I keep so you can eat them. Well, well, you can, no. but it's probably not recommended. <laughs> not recommended, but you could do it. No, don't. Bosco! <laughs> he is joking. Do not eat your die hard Do not dice. eat your dice. Do not They're eat much your die hard dice. You can't roll them if they're in your stomach. No. That's true. But you could technically spit them out to roll them. You guys want to hear some, you want to hear some quality right now? You hear that? Oh, oh, yeah. Is that them? Oh, yeah. those, are, those, are, those, are those all metal? Those are these are my brand new metal dice that I got based off of my Monty, Goliath. Monty, Which Monty, metal Monty. one? 
Monty, Monty, you should do Wait. an ASMR with the dice. Here we go. We're gonna we're gonna do the dice really fast. And okay, here we go. Dice ASMR. <laughs> <laughs> I said, don't eat them, Monty. Sorry, they look and, like candy. They look delicious. Yeah, Dresden, Dresden, win one seven four. Monty, because, you can't eat the look, dice. They look so tasty. Uh, well, they come in all sorts of fantastic and tasty looking colors. Looking. <laughs> uh. Fantastic designs. Uh, they also come with neat carrying cases and uh, folding magnetic dice trays that are uh, very much portable. It prevents your dice and your tables from getting damaged over the years as you roll them. Uh, highly recommend those. Monty also got uh, a fancy purple and felt uh, yeah, dice tray as well. Dice tray. It's so nice. I used it all day today and I love it. I like it all a bit more than the other one because it fits way nicer on my table and it's just like mm -hmm. longer. And that way I don't have to have such a big... Because I, I love my other one, don't get me wrong, the oct octagon one, but it's just kind of yeah. too big. So it's a very nice, comfortable size. I definitely would recommend this. And the color and is really like to, And if you'd like to pick up some dice or dice uh, carrying cases or trays yourself, then head on over to dieharddice.com and use the affiliate code EXPECT2021 um, for... Uh, I guess if people are watching this a lot, I guess it'll be okay to reveal the next code here. Give me just a second. But for today, for the people in the stream kneecap? right now... I don't want Diana to take my kneecaps. Oh, I think we'll be fine. I think we'll be fine. I think, I think we'll, we'll be fine. Be fine. Uh, Although I don't the think code... you can use it until next month, right? Right. The code The code for right now uh, is expect 2021 for January. Uh, that is uh, one day. You have one day left for this code. Uh, and next month... It's going to be, hang on, I need to open my Google Drive for this. Bear with me. I completely <laughs> neglected to. Whoa, whoa, no, whoa, 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 I'm scared. <laughs> it might not want to go You're scared of a drum roll? Anyway. <laughs> yeah, it was really loud. It scared me. Oh. A boo -boo 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 -boo. Where is it? I'll find it here. Read off some bits. I'll find the, I'll find the other <laughs> code. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Let's find some bits. Uh, where do we leave off? Uh, we just got Defective Sheep with five tier one subs gift to the community. Probate dropping 10,000 bits. If they ran a laundromat, it would be the Lince division. Get, why are we still doing this? Stellar Kaya with 100 bits. The team decides to focus on their vocabulary and work on their prepositions. They become the Sins division. Yeah. Fox. Flash, you know, this foxly foe fo with 11 bits and then shamrocks. Uh, Daver boy with 100 bits. If the gang polished all their gear enough, they'd be the glints division. Oh no. Huh. Foxly foe with some more shamrocks and some more shamrocks for 14 total bits. And now 20 more bits. Stellar coyote with 100 bits. So the session ends with a and then they fur. Uh, burnout Vaughan. With a hundred bits, so Bosco, you know the month we've had. How fucking dare you make me connect to Brian on a personal level in that Ferris wheel? Still, though, this is probably my favorite episode next to the pet adoption one. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah. Also, uh, I found that code. Okay, go ahead. Uh, for, for those of you who are listening in the future uh, to this VOD, the code for February is expect feb. Expect feb? Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, like the first three letters of February. Expect feb. Except Feb. I'm noticing a pattern. <laughs> I think I can guess what March is going to be. Yeah. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> I think that might be intentional so that people <laughs> don't forget the code. Uh, Oathbreaker has 100 bits saying, all I wanted was for them to kiss. Not intense hand-holding. It's too lewd. Shame on you, Monty and Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> don't blame me. Sarah's... Okay, I'm not gonna oh, hey, wait a there. minute! You, you, <laughs> we, we, what? No, I, I didn't. We talked. Okay, the I lewd dancing. This, there I was this out in the Q and A that we, you and I talked about this privately to ensure both of us were comfortable with this, and we were both like, "Cool, thumbs up." I even checked before we started too. I yeah. know. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm fine with it, but I'm just, I was like, "Hey, I didn't do the lewd dancing." I'm just saying. Was it faded to black, so whatever happened, just let your mind fade decide. To black, great. It's the yeah, it, happened, it's, 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 it's a great album. It's, it's Persona, and the, it's Persona. They spent a long time together. Yeah, yeah, collecting yeah. stamps, Doing, collecting and trading okay. stamps. 
Uh, Kami Tortoise, great name, with 100 bits. Now that's how you make a half orc. Oh, fuck. <laughs> uh, TXDXL with five bits. We have officially joined the Sins Division. And Mad Monk Montague with 300 bits saying, hey, Bosco, you got my name wrong earlier, so I'll see you with lots of bits and compliments at your next stream. Hashtag Team Arkov. Yes, you can find me if you want to donate all your bits at uh, twitch.tv slash Arkov and on Twitter at Arkov. Tomorrow I'm going to be hanging out with the Murder Cave, all those lovely cats and kittens, playing some video games. So come on by tomorrow and check me out on twitch.tv slash Arkov. Also, helping Colonel Shiru throughout the week beat up all the Halo games. We're on Halo Reach. Definitely come check that out. I like to stream some multiplayer stuff. So, yeah, definitely check out. I, I I really appreciate when people support me in any way, shape, or form, especially with their time. So, definitely come tell me how much you enjoy my streams. And with that being said, we need to raid somebody. Okay. Um, I want to raid Theropod. Just I do, too. Episode, he's probably listening to the episode. He's probably going to freak the hell out, especially yeah, at the end. he's probably going to freak out. So, are you guys cool if we raid Theropod? Yes. Yay! Yes. right theropod art all right thank you guys so much for coming to the episode see you on wednesday and next week will be gateway yeah goodbye goodbye everybody goodbye no Montague, i can no dodge you all i want get out of here no get them out in, in theropods chat, no spoilers yeah uh spoilers. what's the raid message no spoilers no spoilers is the raid message no spoilers nobody spoil anything all right go